Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have some fun today. Hope you guys are too. I see Scott Copper Spikes is here. Hey, what's up, dude? Good to see ya. Casper. The music is good. It's a little repetitive, but it is good. <laughs> to the moon! Ah, but we already have Command of the Moon. But now we just have to make use of it. All right, where is my button? I lost my button. All right. All right, let's check this. Where's my, where's my snare? I have no, I have no snare on my headphones. I think this is the one. I think this is the one. Yeah, there it is. Hey, ah, good morning. Good morning. A little early for me on a Monday, let me tell you. I'm, uh, I think this is probably the last Monday stream I do. At least until after hockey season, because normally it wouldn't be a problem. Okay. Reft three games last night. Uh, came home stiff. You know, I'm an old guy, but still good. Uh, and then uh, went straight to bed. Realized I couldn't get sleep anyway because I have a young baby. Uh, and now I've, I'm here with you today. Uh, with about four hours ish of, of sleep, completely, you know, like cumulatively amongst the interruptions. Anyway, oh boy! So needless to say, we have an energy drink with us today. I don't normally do that, but um, this one's the real healthy fit Gatorade, if there is such a thing. I mean, I don't drink coffee, so I guess I'm still going good that way, huh? Ah. Don't lose your button. I got my button. So how much trouble did you get into for running over dinner time last time? No, no trouble at all. Um, my wife was actually napping. <laughs> she doesn't have a clue. She just woke up and said, oh, did you eat dinner? I did, yeah, okay. That's it. I answered the question honestly, you know? Ah, uh, so, um, I think... We're gonna do a couple of things today. It's a little unconventional, and uh, I think with with the initiative, you know, maybe we could, there's an opportunity here, here and there. Let me just go into to load the game here with my YouTube 01 save. Got the knockout juice. Ah, forget hockey. No, no, I have uh, eight more games to Eight more games to ref this week. Mm. I'm having a blast doing that. I had to eject a guy yesterday, last night. Kicked him out. Kicked him right off the ice. First period too. Poor guy. If only he maybe had didn't have too much to drink and decided not to sucker punch a guy. You know, then he wouldn't have got kicked out. You know, at first he, he goes in and he cross checks this, uh, this smaller dude, which I mean, he, he felt he was being slashed. So I understand he's a little retaliation. I get it. And he probably was getting slashed. I didn't, I didn't see it, but he probably was, you know, these guys are rough like that, but you know, he starts cross checking him and like pinning him down to the ground. And so, you know, my arm goes up, you're going to get a roughing call. I know this. And my partner's arm goes up. We're both on the same page. And so he's busy administering the penalty. And uh, rather than going to the penalty box, this guy decided that whatever this other person just said to him, I, don't, I didn't hear it, but whatever this other guy just said to him was a huge insult, apparently, because he turns and just sucker punches him. And I'm just like, I mean, you were only gonna get two, but now you get 25 out get out of the game you know just ah, such a drag man hmm. this league though that i was that i'm reffing for i ref for like eight different leagues this league specifically has a uh a different clause if you will for ejections I can give game misconducts, which would kick them out of the next game so that they can't play the next game. But this league, 
which is what normally would have happened with this guy. Um, so he wouldn't be able to play the next game either. Um, but this league has a different way of doing things to where it allows us at our discretion to simply eject a player and not give them a game misconduct so they can play next time. I opted to do that for him because it was clear he had some to drink and uh, I wanted him to learn, but you know, he's an adult, the guy's like 30 years old, he can handle it. It's been a lot of fun to watch hockey at my school, so I can imagine refing is fun. It's fun. It can be a little stressful sometimes because everybody thinks you're perfect and you have to be perfect. But, you know, you're a human being who has a very specific vantage point. The hardest part is when, like, you make a call because it looks a certain way. And uh, afterwards, your partner comes over, you know, completely privately. Your partner comes over and goes, hey, I, uh, I saw that from the other side. Yeah, he, he actually didn't touch him. It looked like, I know it, I know it probably looked like he did, but he didn't actually touch him. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> like, you know, from my angle, from where I was, his stick came right on top of his hands. Yeah. What's up, Mordecai? Good to see ya. You're a ref? I am. It's a, a fairly new. I used to do it when I was younger. Um, but I, it's still a little new to me uh, recently, anyway. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. <sighs> so this is what I want to do today, okay? We've got. Uh, if you if you didn't finish the last stream yet, I get it. It was an eight-hour stream. Today might be closer to six. I think I'll keep today and tomorrow. We'll probably end at like 4 p.m. Eastern time ish. So it'll be like six hours long, probably. I don't know. Again, for all the VOD viewers, timestamps, which I know the last stream didn't help because it just said gameplay and then eight hours of nothing but that. But I didn't stop the whole time. It was just eight hours straight of talking and playing this game, which was, uh, I don't kind of, I kind of liked it. <sighs> Okay, so we ended. You can see that the time, the top right. If you got to the end of the last stream, then you'll know that we were picking up exactly where we left off in that sense. And uh, in the middle of a turn, so apparently Russia and Venezuela are going to war. Nope, sorry, they are already at war. North Korea is joining them. We need to get control of North Korea. We need to get control of North Korea. Uh, so, um, project management is complete. That's going to help my management capacity by five. Hopefully, I don't lose as much influence. I'm going to take a look at, like, what's our strategy going forward, okay? Because, see, there's there's kind of this, uh, I want to say it's an elephant in the room, more like an alien in the room. Um, and, uh, like, we're trying to get the overarching goal for our Illuminati playthrough is mostly just to use this chaos to become as wealthy and as powerful as possible for our own personal game, right? We don't really care who wins, just as long as we're on top, okay? Um, so we care if we win, but we don't care, like, between alien invasion and people, you know? Humanity doesn't concern us as much as, um, you know, us being up above everyone who, who everyone else. And so that mentality uh, is kind of cold. And it does mean that, you know, when aliens come in and they're starting to bombard places, as long as they're not strategically important to us, we don't really care if the aliens are there. Whatever, let them deal with it. Um, but there is this, like I said, alien in the room. And that is that, um, well, the longer the aliens are here, the more powerful they're going to become. And so, they're not really a problem now, but, uh, well, it's, it could become a problem later if we don't maybe start to think about ways to mitigate that a little bit, to slow that down just a little bit, right? Uh, so, I want to take a look and probably study some of the aliens a little bit too. We got to get to know our new people a little bit, I think, in order to, to really control that influence we need to learn who they are 
Now, there was also this big question at the, at the end of the last stream about the, I think it's called uh, Orbital Mining Complex? The Mining Complex, okay? I don't remember where it, where it is. I'm going to take a look at the tech tree really quick and show you. Uh, it was kind of in the middle, I thought. There's Ad Astra. Outpost, that's what it is. I knew it was an O word. The Outpost Mining Complex. There was a question about this. And, you know, I have all the prerequisites done from a research level and from an engineering level. All of it done. But I don't have Outpost Mining Complex in the list of things available for me to actually go ahead and research, right? It's not in this list. So I reached out to, you know, and Terry and Vic is, you know, the beta backers and stuff. And I, I reached out to their Discord and um, kind of talked with some of the other people who've had it for a long time. And this list is not a comprehensive list of everything that's available. Turns out things appear in this list somewhat at random depending on and and um sort of influenced by how much science research you gave to that particular thing and so like not everyone is going to see this at the same time and it just gets me to this point where i should be able to do it but it's not in the list and so the only way to get it to show up in this list is to just tick things off this list until it shows up and that i really don't like that but I think what it's all about is you you have all the conditions and knowledge to discover something, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to discover it as fast as everyone else will or whatever. So I can understand a little bit about why they did it that way. I just don't agree with it. That being said, we need to tick things off this list to get the outpost thing to show up. So I'm going to start, I think, with Supply Depot because... Once we start moving things and getting things in space and getting our industry set up that way. Um, and the real reason for getting these resources is to establish bigger footholds in other places. I, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it, but in my head, I feel like if you wanted to be the Illuminati and you wanted to really control the narrative of the situation, you would also want to kind of control the influence around people and to get a lot of money. And tourism is one thing that I think I want to explore. I think it's something that's less explored in this game. I don't think a whole lot of people do that. And I want to try it out and just see what it's all about. Um, I feel like as long as we control most of Luna, we can really hamstring others, other factions because they'll be entirely dependent on boost. We control the nations that have the most boost so that the people who do have to rely on boost have a lot less of it. And we expand our enterprise using the build and space resources here. And we build out our enterprise uh, without necessarily needing to rely on boost. And then after that point, when we have so much boost anyway, we can then get our, our tourism industry going uh, because the tourism industry does require boost on an ongoing basis. So it will dip into our monthly boost income. Um, yeah, so uh, it's a less explored thing but I kind of want to go with it. So um, I'm going to go with Supply Depot here only because it's really cheap. Um, actually, wait, let's get the ops first. We'll go into this one because it's 200. And then the institutional outreach is expensive. It's 1,000. Let's change that for now to do something a little cheaper in hopes that we can, you know, get something better. So I think I'm going to go with a solid core fission reactor because I'll probably need more power than just solar panels they're gonna provide. And um, these things can, uh, these things can do well for me. Now, granted, they are going to cost resources as well as the uranium to get, but I'm gonna start controlling that uranium because if I control the uranium, actually wait, probably fission pile instead. Provide steady, uh, steady electricity to our hab. This is what I want, sorry. Um, so we'll go into this one. It's 500, uh, but it's gonna be worth it, I think, so. Uh, yeah. So we'll get those two. Um, as far as the global research goes, I'm pretty comfortable with where things are now. I don't need to control the narrative, but I feel like if I push it into the tourism direction now, it simply just delays what other people want. 
it's not so much that I want it, it's that I want to delay what they want. And I can go into a higher, you know, power for Habs and, and all those types of things. But um, mostly I just want to delay them a little bit more. I think for now. Uh, so that's going to be my... That's going to be the idea for now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and push these to maximum because I really want to get that mining going. And then we'll see if I can keep my lead in these researches. This one, I probably can keep it because it's, it's getting close to done anyway. But um, this one here, I might lose it. We'll see. Uh, the Academy tried to purge Ireland and failed. That's nice. Good job, Academy. You're a big old fat failure. Actually, wait, no, sorry. I'm These, on your side. Yeah, she's reporting to me because it's her. So uh, the servants tried to purge the Academy and they failed. The Academy still holds Ireland, albeit cracked, but they still hold it. All right, cool. What's up, Natsoff? Love how detailed Charlie is and how he explains what he's thinking. Some people like it, some people hate it. And the people who hate it, they often just leave, so it's fine. So most of the people who stick around are the people who like it. How you doing? So many comments I get is, he just doesn't stop talking. Play the game, monkey. Banned. And I don't have to deal with you anymore. Goodbye. You gotta do what you gotta do, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Bluesy? What's going on? You just missed my entire detailed explanation. <laughs> I just, just got done with that. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, play our cards here. I'd like to stop being on defense a little bit also and start getting on going on offense just a bit more. I would really like to be able to do that. Um, I'd like to steal, you know, hostile takeover and stuff on a couple people's by. agencies. We're gonna Orders. keep going with that. Um, I would like to defend territory Standing today, by. which is right here. Just defend Canada so we don't lose that. That's, um, that's unprotected now. Control. Ready for my mission. And there's still no chance of getting North Korea. I'm gonna I'm gonna just give up on North Korea for now. Uh, although again, I would really like them to launch their nukes at Russia. Um, I think we're gonna go into just a quick public campaign with Phantom, probably. Actually, wait. Let's let's see what kinds of. Um, stuff we can take ready for my mission so we are next to a couple of these guys and they've got some decent orgs uh i do like this one it gives the control nation skill but it also gives some influence um there was another one i saw earlier this one grants public campaign and anytime i can give someone public campaign the better <clears throat> so i might want to take winford media group from her <clears throat> uh but there's another one Viktor Babayev, and he's got some really interesting ones. Uh, so he's got uh, the Energy Independence Initiative, which is great. It gives a lot of different perks. Um, <clears throat> they're serious instruments. And there was one more I thought, I think it's maybe this one. Yeah, so Cobalt Space Systems gives one mission control. I'm trying to take mission control away from the AI so that they can't do as much in space. So I might go after that one too. So I think Cobalt Space Systems is gonna be something I wanna get. And we're gonna say, Caitlin, you're going to try to steal something from Viktor Babayev. And I'm just gonna load you up with as much money as possible to make Dying that happen. Enemy orgs. Uh, now Chicken, we have the option to go after somebody else with Chicken. And I'm gonna take a look at our turned agent here and see what she has. And... She has this one. So this um, Lao Yang extraction, it adds to our economy, which is just great for all around. But um, space mining output bonus 5%. So we're just going to get 5% more resources from all of our mining bases. So that one's, that one's pretty good too. It's probably a one star. Um, I do like some of these other ones. Like it gives engineering, plus one engineering, plus one engineering. I, I do like that stuff too. There was another one I was looking at though. I'm trying to find... There's another one that had even more great orgs. Don't remember where it was. But this is the spy game, right? We want to take away their good resources. Even if we can't use them ourselves, we're going to take them away from the AI as well. Uh, was it you? Did you have it? 
No, but you get good intelligence from this. Um, there was... I forget who it is. There's a... There's a... There's a counselor on the map somewhere. Ready. That... Maybe it's Dex. Base flight program... This one. This is the one I want. Pre-run. So, this one grants public campaign, which is great. But the, also... The reason why this guy has his public campaign, look at this. The reason why he has public campaign is because of this this agency, right? You can see that it's he has it because of these guys. So he doesn't normally have this ability. So he's able to run public campaigns. He's able to gather influence from the world because he has this. So if I take this from him, this does a lot of things. It gives me the ability to give someone public campaign that doesn't already have it. It's gonna grant me influence, gonna grant me mission control, gonna grant me science, gonna grant me more science, because the science skill goes up too. But it also takes away his public campaign. It's like it's gonna hit, it's gonna work for me on both on both ways. So I think Dex, I want this to go to chicken. Because chicken so doesn't nice. have public campaign. Well, chicken does have public campaign, I guess, but it's okay because I can give it to Where to? Ooh, it should be you that does this. You should be targeting Dex. Let's um, let's actually do this differently. You're gonna target Dex. And then who were you normally targeting? You were targeting somebody else before, weren't you? Who's this? What's your current objective? You're going after Viktor Babayev. Okay, we're gonna go Victor with Chicken, but we're gonna go after Dex instead here. It's only a 30%. Really? Dex is pretty pretty locked down. Look at his administration, though. It's great. Um, why don't we instead use some ops and see if we can detain Dex? I don't think we can. That's going to be tough. Dex is actually pretty tough to get. He's like the hardest one to get. That just makes me want him more. <laughs> um, we're going to take and spend one in three chance. We're going to see if we can get this hostile takeover with, with Caitlyn. Targeting their assets. Uh, chicken. We're going to go after Victor. Victor Babayev. Yes. And I'll just give you a bunch of cash and uh, get you in there. Okay. So that's that's good. We want that to be... Uh, we want that. So we're going to basically want to control the board here a little bit. We're going to try to remove his ability to do things against us. Um. All right. So everybody Back else. Service. Everybody else. Let's say we investigate Dex. Maybe through an additional investigation, it becomes easier to take his things. Maybe. Um. He's also in this region right now, which is not controlled by anybody. So, if we were to detain him, it would have been a little easier. Um. But I think we're going to try to just investigate him a little bit to see if maybe a successful investigation helps with taking his organization. Tracking target. And then Bluesy, unfortunately, you have the boring job because people are constantly attacking the United States. So I'd like you to keep running campaigns here. We must persuade the people. And that's it for this turn. So we'll hit the button. Right there. It just showed up. We're now able to undertake the Outpost Mining Complex project. So take me there. So it just shows up whenever it wants to. Um, so I'm going to switch out this one because I actually do want the fission pile. So we're switched out this one and now we have Outpost Mining Complex. And we want to push yep, all of our resources into that as fast as we can. Uh, let's hope we uh, don't lose these, but we'll see. Always wanted this fashion to be played. Many seem to overlook them. Yeah, I mean, it's different, you know? It's like the idea that you aren't necessarily out to destroy the aliens. The idea that you're not here to protect Earth. Okay, what the hell good are you? Well, we're, you know... We're going to be on top whether you like it or not. We're going to be the most powerful, if, if we will. Try to get ourselves as wealthy and as influential as possible. And uh, I like the idea of a spy game with this. It's good. We defended our interest in Canada. That's a 100% guarantee to happen, so. Uh, this is our sp This is our turned counselor. So it looks like... It looks like the servants have 
defended their interest in Pakistan. They're not wanting to lose Pakistan for some reason. Now I need to get another module in my hab that lets me have another engineering project as well. I have new information. Investigate counselor was a success. Does this mean that mine can do it easier? Report when my mission What's, is complete. Because I have 50% for you now. Yeah. 50%. Um, so this is chicken being successful. Remember, we want Caitlyn to be successful for sure, but this is chicken being successful. He had a 50% chance, so it's nice that he did that. So I think we want this one. Is it the Energy Independence Initiative, or do we want something different here? Serious instruments. She's got so many to choose from. Steel projects. Discus Industries. I mean, like, can't you just... I could do Lotus Mining Group just for the extra mining income. I'm pretty sure there was another one that already did that, right? Did I Am I missing it? Maybe we just take the mission control. I think we maybe just take the mission control. Yeah. Plus six sides, but that extra mission control, you know, we, we like it. I like it. Uh, it's one less thing that they can have in space, so we'll take it. One less thing that the AI can get in space. Org acquired. She got it. Nice. We want this one. Pre-run. That's going to give us so many cool things, including another mission control. Take it. Take it. All right. Now we need to make sure it's assigned because I noticed my mission control didn't go up. So it looks like it's here. Oh, right. It needs to take place in the next mission phase. Got it. So we got both of those. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, Bean, I'm going to give you one more administration, I think. Although I really do want your coup to be more successful. If I go more command, I can pump command into you a lot and then maybe make your coup more successful. Or if I do administration, I can give you an org that gives you command. That's always that. There's always that thing. I like that better. Oh, wait, no, we were gonna make... I forgot what we were gonna do with him. Okay, so I messed up. We'll do it next time. Um, I was gonna make him a criminal. That way he can get these organizations, which are awesome. Like, this would be really good to give him right now. Um, but we'll, we'll do it next time. Sean Bean's gonna be a criminal. I don't know what I just did, but send beer. Yeah, no, we're, you're good, man. You took over another organization. You're just taking things from the other teams. Rather than, you know, having to deal with all the nonsense. Case remains on her. Really? You rolled a 94, bluesy. That's XCOM, baby. Right? That's how that works, yeah. I mean, we still have majority opinion, but it's getting really slim. European Union under the control of Project Exodus, Denmark have merged. Dude, Exodus is getting, a, like, they, they're forming this European Union thing, and it is, they're doing work here. They're getting a ton of countries for the same amount of resources. Like, they're just barely over the limit here. They're getting 75 influence a turn. That's twice what I'm getting. But I'm getting over twice the boost. I'm getting uh, over twice. They still have 10 mission control. I gotta get this from them, man. Project Exodus might be my new target in the future here. Because they're just... Everything is European Union. This one, this one, and these two are. They can, if they're gonna try to get, they're solidifying Germany, so they're probably gonna try to take Germany next. And they're gonna get a bunch of mission control of Germany, so uh, I need to do something about that. Taking France and Germany, there's a lot of mission control there. Exodus, man. I think that's gonna be my, uh, it's gonna be my new rival in a second here. I need my mining complex done. Um, we're pretty far ahead on this one. 
And we're still pretty far ahead on this one, too. So it looks like we're going to be able to control this narrative pretty well. Looks like, anyway. All right. Uh, new orgs are available in the marketplace. Take a look. We have DARPA. DARPA just showed up. That's cool. I need 200 influence to get it. But, uh... It's not bad. A lot better military stuff, if we wanted that. Um, secret... MI5 is an interesting thing to maybe look at later. Air Force Laboratory. Not bad. It's good for space flight program a little bit there. I think I'm more interested, though, in La Cosa Nostra. Yeah, I'm, I'm more interested in these two, but they require criminal. Like these three here, like all those, those four, I guess. They require criminal, though. So they're kind of only available for, well, criminals. So, gonna have to wait. I'm gonna make Bean a criminal. And we'll give him one of those. So I don't really need anything yet on that, on that regard. Uh, she still has a few. I might take, I might take Liu Yang from her, Liu Yang, from her. Uh, that's a two star. I can't give it to. I can give it to Bluesy, I suppose. Does it give him anything that's worthwhile for him? Persuasion, espionage. Does it give him anything? No. It just, it just gives us output bonus. I'd rather do that on someone else then. Maybe on our sixth counselor later. We'll see. Kind of want to turn this guy too, but I think it would be help, really helpful to. He has the transparent trait. Always means exactly what he or she says. Apparent loyalty set to loyalty. Okay, so you don't even have to know his apparent loyal, his actual loyalty, because he's just transparent about everything he does. He's got a lot of command. This guy's, uh... Yeah, this guy's tough. Space tech. More boost. Look at the boost income. Space tech. Did you just get that? I think you did. What's the op? I think you just got that. Your orders? It would be a shame if someone, you know, went in and Targeting enemy took it away from you. At your service. It would be a shame Ready. if somebody just came in and and told you that you can't have it anymore. I just, that would, what a bummer that would be. Targeting enemy arcs. <laughs> what a bummer. For order. All right, let's um give you a ninety-five percent chance of success this time. To sway the public. Let's, we apparently Standing need to do that with orders. you. Um, in. I want to know more about. Honestly, I don't even know many counselors from. Yeah, I need to figure out who those counselors are. Um, they're probably in EU countries, so let's try. Let's go Italy. It's, that, that'll probably be where they are. We'll try that. We'll see what they are up to. What's the up? Because Project Exodus, I don't actually know any other stuff. I might turn them next. I wish you could convince other factions to attack other factions. Yeah, I mean, it's not in their best interest. I mean, there are some factions that are already at war, you know? Like, the Resistance and Humanity First, they kind of have a similar mission, just very different methods. Um, and they are already at war with the Servants. And then they kind of don't really care for the Protectorate either, but they're not at war with them. It's not about going to war with other factions. It's about manipulating other countries to do what you want. So if I have a faction that's getting really strong and I don't want them to be as powerful, I mean, I might I might chuck nukes at their country, their main country that's making them so powerful and giving them all the stuff. I might chuck nukes at their country, but I do it from North Korea because <laughs> I don't want it to nuke. I don't want them to nuke the United States back. I want North Korea to nuke them and then they nuke North Korea and I don't care. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna try to do. Because um, they have one nuke. I'm going to use it eventually. 
Uh, we can assault an alien asset. We have a 55%. There are two of them. One of which is in Brazil. And we have a pretty good chance of taking this down if I give him a good bunch of ops. I think it's probably worth... I might regret this, but I'm going to give you an 87% chance of success here. Um, one thing I do want to see really quick, though, is are, do you have hard target? You don't. So that puts you at a higher risk. Um, you only have five security. Security is the counselor's ability to survive violence. So if we have a bad roll, it's gonna, you know, this is gonna matter. But hard target is something you wanna give people that are gonna be doing stuff like that. And I don't have that in his list here yet. Doesn't look like. But what hard target does, and I'm trying to find, yeah, this guy's got it. It, um, let me see, hang on, maybe it's not, maybe it doesn't matter. I mean, critical failures. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter as much. It doesn't matter as much. Um, hard target only seems to matter for other counselors. Like, other counselors attacking him. So, I mean, he's got decent command. Four security. Or five security. He's not, he's not shabby. But I think I want to make sure I give him enough ops to be successful here if I'm going to do it. And, you know, I might be able to learn something from the alien asset by sending him in there. So I'm gonna go and I'm just I'm gonna give him 87% to have this. And we're gonna attack the one in Priscilla. Going in hot. And we'll see what happens there. He's got an okay command skill. It should be alright. At least I hope he's alright. Okay. It'd be a shame there's just some picked his pocket. Yeah, I know. Uh, so it looks like they defended their interest in Pakistan again. Okay. Double defended. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We've got some intel in our target. Okay, we know a little bit more about that counselor now. Soon. And it's not the counselor I thought it was. It's from the, she's from the academy. So I don't know any Project Exodus counselors. I don't know them at all. Everything's unknown. I got the whole servants list and everything about them. I love it. I, yeah, I almost, this is actually the first counselor I've met from the Academy too. I know one from the Protectorate. I haven't met anyone from the Resistance. That doesn't make sense. Actually, it does make sense. Because I met one. And then I assassinated her. <laughs> so I don't know who they have. Uh, that was that was the one I assassinated. She's not alive anymore, therefore I can't see. But look, they have four mission control, five mission control, twelve. Protectorate's on twelve right now. I need to do something about that. Ten here. Ten here. Seven here. I still have more than anyone, but uh, Protectorate is... Protectorate probably should be my biggest rival. Because they are clearly in the lead when it comes to getting to space right now. Aside from me. And they're in conflict with a lot of factions, so I might, might want to look into messing with them as we go to... Laying the groundwork. Uh, let's see if Katie Cat's successful in uh, stealing that space tech. They will now serve us. <laughs> Hello, space tech. Don't mind if I do. Goodbye. It's mine. Space tech is mine. Oh, yeah. Now, it's in my unassigned orgs because she doesn't have enough administration to hold it. It's a, it's a three-star... Uh, so, I can give it to Bluesy. This will raise his science score. He gives us boost. He gives us science. I, I don't know why I don't give it to him. Is there any reason why I don't give it to him? I guess the only reason would be because it doesn't really help his stats. And it's a three star without helping his stats. But he has the other one that's giving me lots of boost. So... 
And the space mining bonus of 8%. Yeah, this is probably where I want to go with you here. Let's go ahead and equip that. And chicken failed because... Public sentiment is increasingly with us. It doesn't matter if he failed, because it's fine. Hab module on the moon is complete at our Magellan base. Which is fine. I, I need the outpost mining before I can do anything with those anyway. Uh, speaking of the moon base, has, uh... Has anybody taken that last one yet? No. So, let's see. We have three of these. The hand has one. Uh, Exodus has one. The Servants have one. The Academy has one. The Protectorate has one. Which means Resistance doesn't have one. And... That's not it. There's another one. Who else doesn't have one here? That's it. supposed to be eight. Oh, right. Aliens are the eighth faction, right? Yeah, so the resistance doesn't have one, so this is all they have left to get, and there's, like, basically nothing here for them. But I think it's definitely going to happen. We're definitely going to take Peary Crater away from these guys. We definitely need to take control of that. That's going to remove uh, Protectorate's ability to have uh, uranium. And then maybe Exodus, because they have a lot of uranium, too. If I remove the Uranium from Exodus, it's really going to put a damper on their ability to, like, leave. They need power to leave, so. They want to leave Earth. You need lots of power to do that. So I might be able to take their stuff away from them there. Uh, tensions are mounting between the United States and China. The United States of America may enforce a series of economic sanctions upon China, limiting its ability to trade with other nations. Uh, if I impose the sanctions, GDP in China changes by... 1%, China gains 0.3 inequality. I mean, this plays into my wishes. Uh, yes, this 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 works for me. This this sounds like a good thing for me. I uh, impose the sanctions. Now Pakistan has joined the war against Venezuela. <laughs> Dude, this, okay, so clearly the aliens are focused on war. They're clearly, they want to, create discontent amongst humans right because the aliens wanted to create discontent amongst humans so they are controlling a lot if i can somehow find a way at some point to penetrate one of these points in russia and crack down their executive point i can stop that war if i can stop that war it really put a huge hindrance into the servants plans because they are clearly interested in They've made a ton of allies in unstable regions and have had them join war against Venezuela for some reason. Where the hell is Venezuela? There it is. I knew it was over here somewhere. <laughs> oh, my geography, man. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know why you guys are at war with Venezuela. Apparently the United States is a rival as well. Yeah, Russia, Pakistan, and North Korea are all at war with these guys. Like, there's no reason for that. You're so far away. There's no land or border conflicts or anything there. I don't I don't understand. Why Venezuela? Uh, Bean was successful in assaulting the uh, fortress, the alien asset. Very good. Wiped out the invasive flora and fauna. Fantastic. So that's also maybe something that the servants don't necessarily like. What's the reason for holding on to Turkmenistan, or did you already let it go? I don't think I ever had Turkmenistan. Did I ever? Did I? Did I ever have Turkmenistan? Oh, I still do. Oh wow, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know. Um, abandoned nation. <laughs> I totally didn't. I totally forgot that I had that. Thank you. <laughs> ah. I'll abandon it, it's fine. I don't need it. I just, I knew that they had a high support, but I didn't I didn't know I had taken it. Sometimes that uh, you lose track of what you do in this game. 
All right, so I feel like the hostile takeover is still a really cool thing to do every turn. I'm just take these organizations away from the AI. Oh, uh, no, 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 don't do that. Orders. Whoa, whoa, targeting who? Targeting who? I didn't tell you who to target. I mean, I did. I just don't know who I told you. Um, I mean, Dex still has some good organizations, I feel like. This thing needs to go faster. Are we immune to take over here? So close, but we can still lose this. It's unlikely that we lose it. There's 470 progress left here. And we're ahead by 300. So, assuming Exodus gets... You know, 300 of that 400 that's left. We could lose it. We could definitely lose this one, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, in fact, it looks like they're actually gaining on me here. So I might need to put extra points into this one. Let's actually pull back on that. And that will put more points into everything. Uh, and then this one I'm pretty firmly ahead still. Um, okay, uh, I'm looking for humanity first. Dex. The so Dex has stake for all. What is this organization? Stake for all? This is this is definitely this organization is definitely a Kickstarter backer organization. So at certain tiers of, of being a backer, you can create organizations and you can determine sort of like kind of what they're called, where they're headquartered. And you had some say over the types of perks that they grant you. So this stake for all like this is definitely one of those. Um, we need to take that too. Look at how good that is. That is insanely good. We have to take that away from him. Stake for all, we're taking this. Um, yeah, Dex, put all the money into it. Targeting enemy orgs. Um, I actually, I'm actually pretty sh pretty confident I want to take more from him too. Uh, this looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good. I can give this to Chicken, hopefully. Chicken, in. attack Dex. Thirty percent chance. I'm gonna give you. Screw it. I got the money. Do it. Targeting their assets. See if we can get it Where again. To? Uh, and then. Should we keep the U.S.? Keep the U.S. happy? I think so. Yeah. I will try to sway the bubble. Uh, Bean, I'm let's here. keep the U.S. happy. Ready for well, orders. As long as we don't have to Ready defend to interests anywhere. No, we're good. They're, these Mexico really likes the resistance. We're not going to be able to get rid of them. We still have to keep campaigning here, though. We'll make our appeal. Bluesy, same thing. Campaign here this turn. I will tell our story. Okay, I just really want this done. Then we can start getting mining going. Really start expanding. Because th this game, right, you might think, well, like, okay, you just do actions and then you have to wait two weeks and then you get your other action. That's just your counselors. You can do all the other things on the other days. The counselors are only in those increments. So once you start getting out into space, you start doing other things, you, you start, you know, getting your bases running and maybe you get a fleet, you get ships, they start sending them places. You, you can do those on the off days. You don't need to have your counselor's actions. Uh, she's going to ground, laying low, and she's telling us where. Nambia. Okay. Come on, take Dex's orc. Stake for all, man. We made Bene acquired. Have you made Bean a criminal yet? Uh, no, I, I messed up. I up, up I upgraded his administration instead. Um, so I'll do that next turn. Stake for all is awesome. It's a two star, but it grants you four administration. Five persuasion per turn. One engineering. Sorry, five influence per turn. One engineering, one persuasion skill, one investigation skill, one espionage skill, four administration, 
Like, holy shit. Yes, please. Take steak for all. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Chicken failed. Uh, critical failure. Yikes. Uh, at least he didn't get taken. But he crit failed on taking the taking the agencies. It's all right. Let me take a look really quick. So she has steak for all right now. Do I want her to have it? Yeah. She's a good candidate to have it. She's just going to have a ton of administration right now, though. I kind of wanted Chicken to have it, but it's fine. So she is going to have 18 total administration, which means she can also get one of these later, too. Or these other, other organizations later, too. I need to make sure Caitlyn is very happy and protected at all times. Survivor, very hard to kill during episodes of mass violence. We're giving you this right now. You're way too important. <laughs> Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Lucy Our rolled a 91 on that. Moving in our direction. He had a 92%. He rolled a 91. I mean, he asked for a 13, but they drew a 31. Got a dip. See ya. All right. See ya, Bluezy. Please criminalize him. I'm working on it. It's, you know, obviously We're I just said it was a mistake. All right, so we'll be ready for new orders soon. the United States is pretty comfortable with the Illuminati at the moment. Um, but we are having subversion. We're going to need to stabilize the region. They are, it is, it is starting to become unstable. God, Exodus have Hungary now too. Under the EU. Wow. You guys suck. Exodus is my, Exodus is going to be a problem. It's ironic that the people who want to leave Earth forever are going to be a problem for the people who want to be the most powerful on Earth. Military escalation. Military advances in Afghanistan have increased tensions with the United States. The United States may mount a series of airstrikes against the forces of Afghanistan, degrading their military tech level. All right. All right. I mean, wouldn't be the first time we've done a military strike in Afghanistan. <laughs> All right, outpost mining complex is done. So now what I want to do is we'll go back to, uh, let's see, probably not batteries. Management research is too expensive. Let's do, Maybe, just trying to think real quick here. Having better energy would be a good thing. Could probably go into energy lab research. What is nuclear freighters? High powered haulers accelerate delivery of HAB modules from Earth to remote stations and bases. This sounds like something I want. Nuclear powered haulers accelerate delivery of HAB modules by 18%. Reduces boost use for sending material from Earth to beyond low Earth orbit. Okay. Pop that. Um, I'll do two on that. Two on this. And pretty sure we can't lose this. I mean, unless, unless Exodus is the only one researching it, then we can. We're still barely ahead on this. I actually think we're losing progress on that. I'm going to bump it up. Uh, and this one's pretty good still. Uh, so we want to go to our HAB now. We want to go to... Not Korolev. Shackleton. So this is Shackleton Crater. And we should have the Outpost Mining Complex. So this takes 56.9 boost. We don't have enough boost for this. It also means that our opponents definitely don't have enough boost for this. Um, and this should be the only time we actually have to spend boost for it. Because once we start mining from Shackleton Crater, um, I believe we should have enough. Excuse me. We should have enough to do 
Well, not not everything. Okay, so you see the resource resources it takes. Um, it says build on Earth, and then underneath that it says build in space. So it's gonna take 1.3 water, 1.3 volatiles, uh, 10 of the I think it's called metals, just metals or base metals. Okay, um, 10 base metals, and then 0.13 noble metals. There's the problem because noble metals are not found on the moon. So in order to get noble metals, you need to get them from somewhere else outside of the Earth Luna system. So I'm gonna zoom out really quick and show you the plan. Now we sent a probe to Mars a while back. I don't know if it's gotten there yet. It looks like it has, because we have specific numbers on sites now. So the probe has reached Mars. We can see what each one of these sites have. Tons of sites on Mars, lots of opportunity. The biggest thing is that there's noble metals on Mars. And these two sites have the most. Olympus Mons, which is gonna be the first site we wanna have. And I can find an outpost on Olympus Mons right now. And that would cost me 16.4 boost. Unfortunately, that would also mean delaying me for my moon base. So I'm gonna kind of hope that the other factions can't do this yet um, because I wanna make sure I get Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons is fantastic for its noble metals, um, but it also has a really high quantity, um, second most in the, in the, on the planet anyway, uh, of the base metals. And then it's got a really decent supply of volatiles too. I think it's actually the highest, highest concentration of volatiles as well. It lacks water, but that's okay. We have water on the moon and we can get water from other places. Specifically, we can get water from Deimos. Because I'm pretty sure Deimos, if I remember correctly, has the highest... Oh, maybe it's Phobos. Is it, is it Phobos? Yeah, Phobos has it. Yeah, I knew it was one of these moons. So Phobos has a lot of water in uh, Stickney Crater. Six, between 26 and 41. We do have to send a probe here in order to actually investigate that. But we could get a bunch of, a bunch of water from Phobos as well. And, uh, and that would be great. Um, the further out you go, the more icy planets and asteroids and stuff, you can get a lot of water from those types of things too. So if we were to go out to like say 15 Oma here, um, that's a bad example. I just picked one at random. I don't really know which one it is. Uh, so like there's this one here that's got quite a bit of water looks like. Um, this one might have some noble metals in it. So we can pick and choose, but every single thing we do is gonna take mission control. That's why I'm trying to control this. So the more stuff I have, the more stuff I can manage in space. And as long as I'm picking my hello, holy cow, look at those noble metals and base metals. This little rock here is pretty cool. Um, we can't currently send a probe to an asteroid because on a global level, nobody has done the research for a uh, mission to the asteroids. You have to do the mission to the asteroids on the global research first, which I'm not in a hurry to do that. But I also know that as long as that as long as that mission hasn't been done, or as long as that research hasn't been done globally, that no one else can do it either. So I'm not behind. So uh, anyway, yeah. So Mars is something that I think we're definitely going to want to do uh, pretty quickly. I'll probably take Olympus Mons, and if I can, I'll probably follow it up with uh, the Dahlia platform because, or sorry, a plant planum. How do you say it? The Dahlia planum, because that has a lot of water too, but it also has more of the noble metals. And I can get more of that that way. A good supply of uranium as well. Um, as far as uranium goes, though, Utopia has the most uranium. And, hmm, there's a lot of sites here. I guess the good thing about this balance-wise is that there's really no way for anyone to lock you out of resources. Because there's so many places to go that you just pick your battles. You pick where you want to go. Um, so we don't necessarily need two sites on Mars. Um, but I definitely want to get a good supply of noble metals. And so like Olympus Mons and the other one is a good fit for that. But the asteroids might be a better fit now that I think about it. Maybe we don't need Olympus Mons. Be nice to find an asteroid that has like a lot of noble metals. Uh, is there any way I could... Uh, ship construction, Habs... 
I don't think so. Maybe it's in my Intel screen. Solar system. So this is a list of everything in the solar system. And you know, question marks, but there's like these little arrows here that'll kind of give you a clue, I guess. So like maybe, uh, we could say maybe psych. Wait, what? Oh no, don't. What are you doing to me right now? Oh, this, yeah, psych. Click this. So there's a lot of stuff there too. So I, when the asteroids happen, maybe that's the better one. Maybe it's better to get them from asteroids instead of, because Olympus Mons doesn't have that much noble metals. If we do asteroids instead, we can get a lot more. Um, the only problem is that they're really far away, typically really far away. Um, this one's not too bad. You know, they're further away than Mars. I feel like they're a bit more vulnerable too because the aliens like hanging out in the asteroids. Although they're way out here. They're outer solar system, so. I think if you want noble metals, we gotta do that. So I'll, I'll probably wait on that. Um, also, I had a question. I had a question about when you found a platform on Earth, there was this skull icon right here. So you can see low Earth orbit, low Earth orbit two immediate, synchronous, etc. Um, but there's this one with the uh, the little hazard sign. This location is dangerous because it falls in that ring of higher radiation, right? You kind of briefly touched on that with that brief stint that I did with Kerbal and, uh, you know, the community career. But there's that ring where it's like really hazardous for radiation and this falls in that area. And so you need heavier, dense shielding to make this worth it. Um, I'm not entirely sure why anyone would set up a base here, but if you wanted to, then that's that's how you would. Okay, all right, I made my peace with that. I still want that guy's orgs. I'm greedy, I still want his orgs. So I need more boost. And I want to say that I could trade somebody for their boost. I want to get boost now. So I'm going to make maybe make a diplomatic trade and see if I can get some boost from somebody. Uh, it looks like the protector has 37. That would be a good one to, to do. Um, we already see Kaito Mbangi here. Um, we know of him. We can make contact with him, with Kaito here. Um, Oh, it's not, it's not the turn. I have to wait until the, the phase for the turn. Okay. Germany and servants have ended their alliance. Sorry, Germany and Canada. Poland and Canada also. It's fine. So, Phantom, I want you to contact Kaito or Kaito Katato, this guy. I want you to contact this guy. We'll open a channel. And Ready for orders. we're gonna speak to their counselor to see about opening up a trade. And I'm gonna try to give them maybe some influence, maybe some money, uh, ops, whatever. But I want to give it. To, I, wa I want to get to that boost level so that I have boost now and can start my base now. By taking away the boost from the organization that has the most boost, I'm also delaying anyone else being able to compete with me. So if I can take away the boost from those who have a lot of boost, it just, again, it delays them from being able to do anything with their moon base. Uh, chicken. There's gotta be somebody to take stuff from. Let's see, what, what does everybody have in terms of administration left? You've got one, you have three. I can do Air Force Special Operations Command. <sighs> nice, this is Extract Counselor. This gives me that Extract Counselor skill that I don't have yet. Gives me plus three command, plus one, um, sorry, plus three ops, plus one command. Air Force Special Operations Command. I think I'd rather have the NSA to be honest, but they cost money. 
Air Force is cheap. They only cost two. NSA costs 250, but they give a lot more like intelligence and stuff. Things that matter to me more. Uh, this grants public campaign. Wait. Chicken. Oh, this is a two star. Right. That's why. Okay. Um. Bean has public campaign. Lucy has it too. Uh, I mean, I might actually take pick it up on that and just get this. I don't need you to have command though. I need this to go to Bean. I want Bean to have this. He can't have it. I don't know why. Oh, he doesn't have the government trait. It only goes to government. You know, that's fine. He can have the criminal trait later and he'll get uh, most of those benefits anyway. You gotta give him this one. This one's really good. All right, well, I mean, I guess we could always give Caitlyn more command. She does it for increasing unrest and stabilizing nations, which we need to do right now. So I think I'll give this to you. Um, wait, this is gonna cost all my influence. I might need that influence to trade. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that actually. I might need to trade that influence. All right, so Caitlin, I think I'm gonna give you guys a break. Uh, no, no. Um, on second thought, I think maybe we'll try to. Actually, I think maybe we'll try to take Petito hostage here. This will happen after the trade exchange, I believe. So we'll try to trade him. And then we'll try to detain him after that. Eyes on target. 81 chance. 81% chance. By. Hostile takeovers. Um, you have the Bellatrix organization, which grants hostile takeover. Probably should take that. This guy's a criminal too. Uh, Dex has a lot less stuff than he had before. I mean, spaceflight program is still good. Viktor Babayev. Hello. The Shield of the Devoted. The Illuminati is not eligible to take control of this organization. But it grants so many cool things. Come on. Why am I not eligible? The Shield of the Devoted. Look at that org. That is wild. Plus 10 security? You gotta be out of your mind. The Shield of the Devoted. I, mean, I can't get him anymore. <laughs> He's too hard. Uh, this one's okay. This one's okay with detain as a as an action. There's got to be better ones here. He's in El Salvador. This would give Chicken the public campaign. I still want him to have that. Yeah, we can try this. Targeting any beyonds. Um. All right, Standing Bean. By. I want you Reporting to raise in. the campaign here. We must persuade the Bluzy, I need Wait. you to stabilize. Restoring or and that's it. Okay. Because we're being subverted, actually. This isn't really changing as much, but they're destabilizing this nation, and I need that to be fixed. You really are hitting me hard with just like. Initiating contact. All right, we have Should trade negotiations with Protectorate. No so, I want 37 of your. I want your boost. So, 
if I want to have, let's say it was 59. So I need to take, let's take like, you can be 20 of it. What would it cost me for, oh, you won't give me any more than four. That's the most you're willing to give me. Okay, that's not as helpful as I wanted, but don't worry, we're gonna capture you and break you. <laughs> um, I will give you some cash. How much cash is, how much cash do you want for this boost? Yeah, not enough. How about 600? Yeah, that's good for you, okay. How about 200? No, 300? 300 is fair, how about 250? 260? 260 is fair. Well, I'll take your four boost for 260, that's fine. I wish I could take more. Um, hey, wait, you could just, I could just buy an org from you, hang on. This would be better. I've got lots of cash, I'm willing to give you some. Um, the Crater Trust. Metals. Come on, you gotta have something in here that's, look at all these, it's crazy. Three administration, that's pretty good. Four administration for this one. And it's a one star. I'll take that one. Uh, what else do you have? Hey, also, I wanted to point out for the first time in a very long time, in case anyone's paying attention, I don't know. Up at the top of the screen, we're not red up here anymore. We're not overusing our control points anymore. This one has a mission control. It's a one star. This one has boost. A lot of boost, actually. I like it. Uh, what else can we do? Turn counselor. Not bad. It's a little expensive. Let me see how much money I can get. Okay, so it's going to cost me more than that even. How about 1500 how about 4,000? Oh, you are greedy, aren't you? How about 6,000? How about 10,000? Okay, how about all of it? Okay, there's no chance I'm getting this from you. Fine. Uh, we'll take... Uh, let's put... I want all of these, though. Let's take the boost away. If I take away the boost, so I'm not going to take the boost from you anymore. If I do that, will you let me have this for like cheaper price? I mean, actually, boost really only accounted for like a few hundred though. So I think it's just the collection of having all of these organizations. And they're not willing to give up any of their Habs, unfortunately. I could trade you an org that I don't need. Like, uh... I really don't want to give you one that gives you public a hostile takeover. This one's pretty tame. This one's pretty tame. How about that one? Where the semiconductor. This one's okay to give away. I think that's fine. Uh, yeah, Brolia, some, I could do that. So how about I give you that plus like 2,000? You really won't do that, seriously? Not going to work, you need more than that even. That's crazy. You're nuts. Clear items, okay. I, I, I do want some of these. Give me the boost. And I still want your I still want your boost. I came here for boost, that's what I'm gonna try and get. So for just these, what is it gonna cost me? Huh? 10k? Okay, you are actually are willing to do this for a little bit of money, so four thousand is acceptable. Um five thousand is acceptable. Let's add one of those other ones that I wanted and see how much that's actually worth to you. 
Where's the other ones I had? Hyperion spacecraft. I already, I already put that in there. Um, this has the mission control. So let's see how much that's worth to you. 6,000. Generous trade, I accept. No. Um, 10,000. Okay. Needs a little bit more. 11,000. 12,000. Okay, you're you're asking too much. Get get rid of that. I don't I don't want this anymore. Can I? Okay, right click. Good. Um, three thousand. Four thousand. Okay, we'll take this org that gives us more boost, as well as four of his boost for just four thousand bucks, because four thousand dollars is really inconsequential to me. Rubbing up here. And then this organization that gives me the boost that I just grabbed. We will place this with, not with Chicken. I can give it to, I think I'll give it to Caitlyn. She has three left. I could do a really monster organization with that. Um, could use, could do it with Bean. Once I make him a criminal, I can give him this organ and gives him more administration. So I guess I could do this with Bean. Okay. That'll give us more boost from Bean. So I'm working on it. It's going to be a, several months, looks like, until I can actually get that mining base up and running. In a secure location. But now, right after we did the trade, we've now captured him. So now we can interrogate him, try to turn him, and then we'll know what the protector is up to. As it acquired. Oh, sweet. You get even more stuff. <laughs> That's okay. If you won't sell it to us, then uh, we'll just take it. Uh, I don't know. what else can I do here? Gives control nation. There was a reason I was going after these guys. I forget what it was. Was it you? Which one was it? Mining group? Probably not. Media group gives me public campaign plus the 10 influence. Maybe it was this one. The two star, but I can give public campaign to somebody and I, I want to give that to chicken. So that we can drive that public campaign whenever we want to. This that plus one persuasion is pretty good. I don't know if that I don't know if this is worth it. I'd rather have something that's a little more meaningful. The mining output bonus might actually be more meaningful in the long run. But Public campaign, I think, is still pretty good to have. So we'll take that one. Prepping and then... Next mission. Chicken Man. You now have... Public campaign. Yeah. So now you're able to do that skill. All right, good. The spy game is working. We got more unrest here, though. Come to our side. I've really got to do something about that. We got to stabilize US. Order is returning. Okay, that's helping. Good job. Um, I think I want you to just repeat the mission. Just keep stabilizing the United States. Um, we have still 2025. Wildfires. A large wildland fire is broken out in the Minneapolis region. Wildfires in Minneapolis? That's sketch. That doesn't happen very often, does it? Minneapolis is not that dry. I mean, I guess it's possible, but it's not a very dry state. There's, 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 it's fine. I think it's a fine state. <laughs> it would be more believable if you said this was like Northern California. Or even like anywhere in California, really. The fire is threatening some inhabited areas. We may mitigate the damage by sending ops teams to the area. All right, we pay 20 ops and we help this, which will limit the damage for the fires. And this is like our main country, so we should do that. I mean, this whole region here is really not that dry at all. There's a lot of lakes here, actually. There's a lot of water in this area. Not as much as like Michigan. If anyone's curious, this is where I live, by the way. In this area right here. This is a generic circled area right here. This is where I live. Uh, 
you tried to purge Project Exodus with a 1% chance? Atta girl. Way to waste your time. I'm in support of this. Uh, our control point in the Southern Balkan states would be better protected. I'm sorry, we have a control point in the Southern Balkan states? Where even is that? It's over here somewhere, I thought. Why do we have a control point there? Same thing with Tur Turkmenistan, I had no idea. I don't know where the Southern Balkan states are. It's over here somewhere, yeah, right here. Like, I don't care, you guys can take that from me. It's some science, but it's six, six control cap. I can, I'd feel better actually taking this. Um, in fact, the mission control point is on the executive point, good. Uh, yeah, so we can get boost and, we, we get boost and uh, full control of Canada here in a second. Speaking of which, these international, or the rival international relations, right? In case you were, um, didn't remember, it's okay. Um, we're trying to direct, you know, if just as a recap for you. Rival international relations. We're trying to, uh, where is it? Here. We're trying to drive the world towards unity movement and a rival international development. Um, and then, actually, I think it's just unity movements. Yeah, we don't need this one. Um, ultimately, though, what we want to get to is great nations. And then I can unify the United States and Canada. And uh, that becomes much cheaper. And it doesn't help, you know, the European Union stuff. It doesn't do anything for that. So after that's done and I have some points available, then I can start trying to infiltrate Russia and uh, hopefully get, eventually try to in infiltrate it enough to get control of that executive point. And then um, from there, I'll just have Russia nuke everyone. <laughs> Russia will just start nuking uh, all of the other countries that the servants are taking control over which will start huge, crazy wars over in that area where I don't care because I'm on the other side of the ocean. And, um, you know, destabilize that whole thing, make them very unproductive. Even if you control a nation, if it's really unstable, it's not giving you anything. You're just occupying control points. Uh, so you're not getting much. And um, when they're all destabilized and there's no more nukes in Russia's possession, I will then control all the nukes. <laughs> That's how you control the nukes. You just make them use them all so that you are the only one left with them. Ta-da! That's the plan Where later. Do you need me? Um, Bean. I think we need to focus this. They're going to try to destabilize the United States, and I want to I bring that back in. I will tell our story. They keep doing it. Uh, we can keep doing hostile Ready takeovers with chicken. I think maybe we'll... Try Verladron, whoever the hell you are. Um, not Baba Yev, even though I'd love to do that, but no. Um, this guy in the Balkan states, who is it? Is it you? Yeah. Nah, I don't really care about that one. Uh, how about this other person? Okay, not too bad. Um, investigate counselor would be a good thing for chicken to have. Yeah, I like these. I could we could do this for chicken. More investigative skill gives them a lot more abilities too. Let's try to take this one. Targeting their assets. Ready. Um, Caitlin, we have somebody detained already. Who is it? I forgot who we did. I know we captured somebody. Did we already let them go? I think it was uh, the protectorate. Yeah, we we uh, we got this guy. Where where is he? Where's that guy at? We captured him. Yeah yeah yeah. He's captured until the fifth of December. So like in four days, we're letting him go in four days. 
Or, new thought, we capture him again. Oh, I have no ops, because I just put out the wildfires. Yeah, okay, well, we'll detain him again. We'll bring them in. Ready for orders. Yeah, you don't control this point, so we should have him for a bit. That's good. Uh, Phantom. I want to investigate this guy further. And we can then hope to try and turn him. Investigating target. Okay. We'll try to turn him once he's once he's captured again. Can I lose this? Person of interest surveilled. Yeah, we have a 99% of success on that guy. So we know everything there is. We capture him again, and now he's captured until the 20th. All right, so we're gonna have a turn to do something with him before he's let go. American isolationist at its best indeed, Charlie, yeah. And no problem, Mordecai. Take it easy, man. Uh... Which one was it? Which was the one that I wanted to take? This is chicken. He was going to take... Uh... Is it this one? I think so, because this is the one that has all those skills. Or is it this one instead? I think they're both the same. Plus two investigation. Investigate counselor. Act activity. Detain. Surveil. Detain. Surveil. Yeah, they're exactly the same. So it doesn't really matter which one I take. Uh, surveil. Investigate. This one is advise. I'd rather do the other one. Yeah. So we'll take uh, Ampharious Intelligence. We'll be and then Chicken should now have Inferious Intelligence as something he could get. And we can just equip this to give you all those extra skills. Um, oh, you can't. This is a two-star? Ooh, we thought it was a one. Okay, no big deal. We'll wait. We will wait. The important thing is that the other counselor doesn't have it. Take stuff away from them. Public opinion remains unmoved. Really? 89%? Things are cooling off. Good stabilization. Now Greece has joined the European Union. Holy shit. <laughs> they are, they're going fast with that, man. <sighs> that man was told to just walk through this door and be able to leave, only for it to leave straight back to his cell. I know, right? We had a great architect in this inception. Fission pile. All right, allows us to, to construct the fission pile hab module. And this provides 10 electricity, um, but we're not gonna use this. This is merely a prerequisite for better technology later um, because the solar panels also provide that. The, the interesting thing though, is that this is much more expensive and um, it has a uranium cost. So like, I don't see why you would ever build this instead of solar panels. Just, they just cost less to build. Solar panels are just less to build um, and less to maintain and the same amount of power. But again, it's a prerequisite for better stuff later. Uh, supply depot is probably not necessary. We could do the fusion reactor. I think this leads to... I want better power. What's the... How do I get to better power? Uh, nuclear fission in space. Fission systems. Fission pulse drives, which are more efficient. Uh, if we want to get to the outer solar system, we're going to need stuff like that. I'm looking for... Um, let me go to the full tech tree really quick. I'm looking for fusion. What's the path to fusion? Um, looking for... I don't think it's civilian fusion reactors. No, it's... Um... 
I don't want the ship components. I'm looking for the base components. These are a whole bunch of drives. Um, fusion pile. I think maybe that's what it was. So we got the platform core. And we need to get down to nuclear fusion in space. And we need high temperature superconductors for that. And we just need all sorts of stuff for this. Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll keep going with... Wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. What about a fusion outpost kit? Fusion outpost kit. I have both prerequisites done for this. I do. I have all the prerequisites done for this. Well, no, I don't. I have to go up here. Um, so, fusion pile is the prerequisite for that. Yeah, so I do fusion pile next and then the outpost kit. And then I also need the construction module. Okay. Uh, so, we could start with none of those things because we don't have any of those things. However, if we get the energy lab up and running, then we would get a bonus to energy research going forward and up to a maximum of 30%. Um, this is the one that also gives us a boost in boost. 3% bonus to investments in boost. Um, so we get 3% uh, bonus on the, all of the investments for energy research as well. So I think, I think maybe we'll go this one now for now. And then, uh, none of these stuff are as really as important as the rest of it. So I think we're going to push international rival relations further and get the next tier of global research. Cause right now I'm kind of like, eh, unless they give me covert, which they haven't done that yet. In fact, how do I get to covert? How do we get to covert operations? No, not quantum encryption. How do we get to covert operations? Covert operations requires quantum encryption. Okay, it requires that. And then quantum computing and then, wow, okay, we have the basics to do here. All right, advanced carbon manipulation. That's what we want to get to. It's like an introductory thing. I haven't even started this yet. All right. So, and that's expensive too. A thousand. This is this is uh, global research though. That's why it's expensive. This is global research, global research, global. This is all global. Everything's global until they until the covert operations, and then that's engineering. Okay. We got a ways to go on that yet. Um, we could do this. Ooh, the dissolution, this dissolution of Russia. Oh, interesting. We could try to. Yeah, fall of empires. End of China, dissolution of Russia. Oh, I like this idea. I like where this is going. Uh, arrival international relations is a prerequisite for that too. We're almost done. So I think maybe if we, after we go and get great nations, we start working on dissolving Russia. That sounds good. We just like take it out. Now you're split up. Um, I don't think we can do this. I don't think we can do that with, with the EU. I don't think so. Um, see like great nations cost a lot though, but it's actually before that you dissolve people. I don't know how if you can break up the EU. I would really like to break up the EU though. That would be great. Um, 
South American Union, Greater Caliphate, African Union, United North America. The United States of America gains a claim on the following regions. Vancouver, Whitehorse, Montreal, Toronto, Calgary, and Nook. So this is our ultimate goal is right here. And then we can do Greater United North America from there which the United States will then gain a claim on Monterey, Mexico City, Santo Domingo, Havana, Georgetown. Like, I will basically control the entire West if I just keep going down this path to get greater United States or great, greater United North America. Central America becomes part of North America. That's my ultimate goal right here. I want to get to this. Nobody else wants this. Nobody else wants this. I want this. <sighs> So that's what we want. Uh, so Great Nations is next uh, after Unity Movements. Okay. So we have the we have our objective. We want advanced carbon manipulation, and we want Unity Movements. But for our own sake of stuff, for our own stuff, uh, let's say. We go liquid hydrogen containment for now. We want to increase our ships. Uh, we want to increase our range that we can do. These things are expensive to build, though. Um, space docks are also good for supply depots and launching probes. So let's um, let's get space dock going. I guess we're gonna have to probe a lot of things. If we want to be a lot of places. Okay, so now you know the plan. The plan is to unite pretty much everything from here down to here and all of these things. And we just gain a claim on all of this and all these other countries get the frick out. <laughs> That's how that works. Sounds good to me. Take that, resistance. All right, so next. This person is detained. Can we turn her? Can Where we turn them? Can't turn them yet. Can't turn them yet. Why? Because we don't know his exact... Yeah, we have to know his exact... Uh... He's going to be released in four days. Why does he keep getting released so fast? Stop releasing him so quickly. Where to? I hate that that, I hate that, that happens. It's so annoying. Um, you don't really have anything I necessarily need. Uh, although, the space science research should be something I take from you. So, we're going to investigate this guy. Eyes on target. Try to learn his exact loyalty. Chicken, you're going to try to take his org. So we can get that diamond innovations off of him. He just got that, so clearly they want it. And since they're moving in space quite a lot, I'd like their space research to be dwindled down. Let's get a little bit of that if we can. Targeting enemy arcs. Caitlin, you have to detain to again go. because he just keeps breaking free for some reason. We'll grab them. Where do you need me? Yep. Jail Ready. cells made of spaghetti, I guess. Uh so far so peaceful. Lucy, you're just gonna keep stabilizing. It becomes increasingly more important that we stabilize the United States. Um, we'll turn down the heat. Ready for orders. Making our case. And actually, I think I'm gonna put towards. I need to put points toward unity here. So I'm not investing in unity very much, and I'm gonna start investing in unity, which should hopefully create more stability here. Yes. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that, and then I think we'll take. We need to make sure we're providing spoils at 17%. So let's reduce some funding here. And we'll reduce a little bit of mission control for now since we don't really need a lot of that right now. And let's also take away a little bit of economy and just a hair on the knowledge until we get to 17% here on spoils. I don't wanna I don't wanna remove any boost. Come on. 17. 
Really? There. Okay. So that should help stabilize us by putting adequate funding into Unity. Um, we might also want to do some direct investment since we are very committed to this. Um, we might want to do like maybe two units of investment in in Unity. And, uh, you know, it's going to cost us a little bit of influence and some money, but it should be worth it. And then maybe we'll do some direct funding in Boost as well. Just, uh, yeah. Let's do Mission Control. One, we'll do one, in, one point in Mission Control. Okay. So a little bit of a direct investment there just to make that a little stronger. Yeah, we got eight mission control from this now. Um, um, I want to break up the EU so bad. <laughs> I need to break that up. I don't want that to snowball, dude. EU is going to snowball so many countries there. But once I get greater, greater United North America, though, it should... You know, I, I'm more powerful than all of they are. So it's fine, I guess, at that point. Uh, Bean, you already have a task. Everybody has a task, so confirm. I'm at 54.5 boost. How much did I need for the moon base again? Still nobody's claimed this. I love it. Um, Shackleton Crater. What did I need for this? What? Can you zoom in on my crater, please? Hi. Yeah. This is 56.9. So we're very close. I'm gonna hit this as soon as I can. We've got some intel in our target. Okay, good. We know his loyalty is exactly eight. We've got the package. We have him again. Close roll, but we have him again. And we'll hopefully be able to turn him this time. As it acquired. Nice. Um, I forget what I was going after here. Diamond Innovation is what I thought I was going after, but now all of a sudden he's all these. How do you have all of these all of a sudden? That gives command. I like it. This gives a very small boost to in, uh, monthly boost income. It's very small, so I'm not really that worried about it. Material science research, information science research. Uh, man, I don't know which one I want, to be, to be honest. One star is good because Chicken only has one star. I didn't know he had this many. I thought this was going to be an easy choice. I can't take this right away, but it would be nice to have it. It'd be really nice to have this, actually. Uh, when we get two, I'm going to do this because the space mining output bonus is great. Space science, space flight program, plus the boost income. It's all really great. I just uh, don't want them to have it because it's boost income. So we'll take that and then uh, things up. I need, uh... hang on one second. I want to make sure I can hit this. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Things are stabilizing. Stabilizing, good. Outpost mining, stop. Outpost mining, so this will consume five power. So it will consume monthly support will be 1.4 1.4 water and 1.4 uh, of the metals of the of the volatiles as a monthly support cost. But I'm only going to get one from this. But it's only five power, so I could actually get away with putting two of them down. 65 days to build it. We're gonna have a lot of water with that too. But we have the first outpost mining complex. So get that started. It looks like for support wise, I'm gonna need more volatiles to support it. But I should have a positive balance on water once that's built. Alien base detected on Ganymede. Hey, wait a minute. 
I was gonna go to Ganymede. They've got good stuff there. You suck. So many, there's so many like points there. Look, look at all the sites on Ganymede. I was gonna go there. This is a ton of water. And a whole lot of volatiles as well. But now I have an alien base there. See, this is the part where, you know, it is in my interest to stop this, right? So how do I go and stop this? I don't know, man, but they're moving in. They're near Jupiter now. This is one of Jupiter's moons. They took Uruk Sulcus. That's what I'm saying. Like the aliens are gonna snowball out of control. All right, like I gotta figure out how to stop them from growing as fast as they are and or at least find a way to influence their decisions to work in my benefit. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, right? I just don't know how to do that. I've never played this faction before. I'm sure I'll figure it out. <gasps> You're stealing my research, no. Not allowed. Not allowed. Uh, this one is mine. No way I lose that. I gotta catch back up to these guys. They're gonna take this. How am I supposed to drive the narrative? Wow, they're... It's gonna be close. Uh, I think this one can probably be dropped entirely. We're 200 away. And we're significantly more than 200 ahead. We'll just drop this completely. We are... 600 away here, and we are not, yeah, we're only 320 ahead. I, I think I might be fine with just this for now. Tell me we're not releasing him soon. Jesus, I don't get it. Why does this game, why does this game continue to release my captured people four days after I've gotten them? You know, like, like you don't give me a turn. How am I supposed to turn them? Where do you need me? Well, I'm supposed to do it like this. I'm going to try to turn him like this. We'll say 32 influence to turn him. 75%. They'll be working for Caitlin us is going to detain again. Standing by for Because that has to happen. I'm actually going to give her ops just in case her odds change. So we'll have to have Caitlyn detain and then we can you know, try to turn him again. But I have to spend two actions to do it because the game just keeps releasing them so fast. Um, you know, stability should kind of work itself out now that I'm investing in Unity. So I'm actually not worried about that. In fact, I might actually go ahead and try to mess with somebody else. Uh, although we need someone else to do that because Lucy doesn't have a whole lot of command. By a whole lot, I mean he doesn't have any. I need Destabilized Region to be something Sean has. Do any of these... Uh, this is cool. Monthly Persuasion. Control Nation. I don't need you to have that skill, though. Uh, that said, though, Lucy could totally take it. No, he can't. He doesn't have the administration for it. There's so many unclaimed orgs right now. <laughs> just, Just sitting around, waiting to be picked up. Caitlin with her insane amounts of administration. Uh, public campaign. Maybe I give you this one. I think I will. With this extra 7%, combined with the other percentages bonuses that we have from all the other organizations, we might actually be able to produce enough volatiles to keep the mining base operational. Because I think... I don't know if it compounds or just adds, but like 7%, then 7%, and then 6%, and then 5%. So we're at like, it should be producing, I guess, 1.2-ish, um, which isn't 1.4. So I will need the other base up and running, but that's the, that's the rub. That's the hard part is getting that started. Once you have it started, you can start to snowball it. Um, I mean, that boost income is not worth it. I'd rather you be super powered than something else. Can I give this to the spy? 
I'd really like this to be something the spy can do. Just because of detain. You don't have detain. I just need... Well, I need more than one administration, unfortunately. All right. We'll take... Um, He doesn't have public campaign. Everybody have it now? Everybody has it now. I'll save this. Uh, no, this. I'll save this org for the next counselor. That way I don't have to pick one that has public campaign. I can just give them Winford Media Group instead. Um, the next counselor, I'm most likely going to focus on espionage and command. Um, so I'm going to look for, for counselors that have really high stats like that. Um, if I could see a list of what ones are available right now. These, this will change over time, but... Probably would be her. She's considered a rebel. From Afghanistan. She's got coup d'etat and she's got good command to work with it. Two administration is not the best, but it's something. Um... I can work with that. Uh, we have her too, which is actually a little bit better. She has more skills. She can turn, extract, assassinate. This is all very good from Cairo. So my next counselor could be here. Six command is good. We don't need science on her. She's corrupt. Influential, but will steal from us. Okay. Plus two espionage, but her also lower on loyalty. She's stealing from us. Firebrand. Hey, there's a reference. Appeals to the anger and fear of the uncritical audience. Nice. Minus three to espionage when being detected. Plus two persuasion in nations where... Uh, what is that symbol? The book? I don't actually know what that symbol is. Knowledge is six or less? What, what is what is that? I'm gonna look at that. Um, developing here. Education. That's what it was. Okay. So she has the education. Uh, yeah, advanced education, advanced education, that's fine. But it, nations where education is lower, like if I go to Saudi Arabia, it's developing 7.9 is fine. Um, Afghanistan is four, the limited. India should be high, so it's developing. China's 6.8, 7.4 on Mongolia. Russia's 8.2. I would have suspected Norway and stuff to be higher than the United States. Yeah, Germany's 9.7. 9.4 for the UK. I mean, these, these, this region here should have higher education than us, so. 9.7 in Germany versus the 9.2 in the United States. Hey, Luigi. Little recap, please. Um, we have a mining base on the moon now. Uh, it's building. It's not done yet, but it's building. We have taken a whole bunch of organizations. We are working our way now towards unifying the United States, Canada, and Mexico under one entity um, so that we will control it all. Then I don't have to worry about cracking this down and I don't have to worry about these guys anymore because I'll own Mexico and just kick these guys out. Um, we have Cuba. We'll own Cuba as well. The Caribbean states, I believe, will belong to us as well. Um, I think Belize, Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador will all become ours. But I think Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama don't. I, I want to say that's the cutoff, but I don't remember. Uh, and yeah, uh, we have the Protectorate. Nope, sorry. Project Exodus is making some serious power moves in Europe. They are unifying all these countries under the European Union. So they have these two already under wraps, right? 
and um, you know, Lion in Paris. This is this is uh, France anyway. But then they've also went ahead and they've grabbed Budapest. They've all come down here. They've also grabbed grabbed Greece. Um, and they also have um, I forgot what that was. My geography. I forgot what that used to be. It doesn't actually say what they are. Riga. Whatever Riga is um, in the world. It's now Riga European Union. But uh, yeah. And then they also grabbed Denmark, I believe, as well. That's what this is, right? Copenhagen. And they're working their way in. They've got, a, they've got one spot in Germany here, so they can try to merge that together. European Union is getting good. They've got a lot of mission control, a lot of boost income now. So Project Exodus is going to become a threat. And uh, we also have a lot of boost income with the Protectorate as well. So I think my main rivals right now, my main rivals that I need to start dwindling down on a little bit are the Protectorate and the Project Exodus. I don't think the Academy is really a threat. Um, the Servants are going to become more of a problem as the aliens get closer to Earth. And Humanity First is kind of like just twiddling its thumbs a little bit. And I mean, honestly, I think the Resistance is just done. Their, their presence is really minor. Um, I mean, their boost income is a sixth of mine. They have four mission control. They're only getting three ops a month. I'm getting 17 and a half. Uh, you know, they're already overusing their control points just to get that much. You know? And, like, they have 383 science income. I have double that. So I'm not really concerned about the resistance, especially since a lot of their... A, a little bit of their power right now is coming from controlling... Uh, Mexico. Just a little bit of it. I mean, their science income is. But they're not... As much as they try, they're not going to get into the United States. I've stabilized it now. I don't think there's much of a threat for that now. Um, Canada, I, as long as I control the executive point, I'm fine. And it really doesn't matter because once I unify it, anyone who controls the United States will get all of it. So that's fine. Um, so once I unify all of this, then I'm going to go after Russia. Um, that's the plan. Try to get into the spot where the hand is. Try to get them out of there so that I get a control point and then try to get that executive control point if they ever let it go. Um, they may not, but I'll, I'll try to sway the public here and try to influence that and get them out of there. And then once I have Russia, the plan is to basically just throw bombs everywhere Project Exodus is. Just go to war where everywhere, everywhere where Exodus is and the Protectorate is. I'm just going to throw bombs at all of them and uh, waste all of Russia's nukes, destabilize and make panic in all of the regions where my opponents are. And um, once I've exhausted all the nukes there, I'll probably fling a few nukes actually at, at France and European Union states just to get them involved to spend their nukes because they have three. So I want them to spend their nukes too. Um, and remember the ultimate goal, uh, one of many ultimate goals was to control all the nukes. and. You can do that by just making everyone else shoot theirs. So once I get control of Russia, I'll fire at India, I'll fire at France, I'll fire um, North Korea. Will probably fire um, maybe not Tokyo, but um, I thought there was another region over here that had nukes. Um, I could have swore there was another region that had nukes. Oh right, China. Duh, <laughs> China. Um, we'll, we'll do that too. So like, we'll make those massive European, like World War III will happen over here. And the United States will just sit by and go, yes, interesting how that's working. <laughs> the greater United States will just kick back and be like, yeah, I mean, that's that sucks that that's happening to you, dude. I wish you the best. <laughs> Project Exodus is conquering Europe and other nations. Yeah, so um, they they got control of France and they formed the European Union. And so what happens is if they can get their presence in other countries that are part of the, the EU. So like, for example, if I click uh, Ireland, notice how Ireland says European Union right here, right? So when it comes down to forming the European Union and and starting to collect countries to join it, you can you can invite countries to join it if they have this tag. So, for example, there's another one called the Eurasian Union. 
And um, that's what Russia's in. There's also, you know, um, China doesn't have one actually. But the Eurasian Union is available for some other countries too, I forget. I could have swore there was other, like, where is it? See, like, so Bulgaria, here's another example, right? Bulgaria could be part of the European Union, right? So if Project Exodus gets the executive control point of this country, they can dictate policy in that country. And when they dictate policy, they can say, hey, we want to join the European Union. And of course, they'll be allowed to because, well, they control the European Union, right? They have the executive control point of the European Union. And so, like, I get that. Now, here's the cool thing, though. What I plan, another thing I could plan to do is watch the Protectorate not protect this. Get in there, then cause a fuss, and then once they've formed the European Union all over these countries, I just take France. And then I'll have all of this and the European Union. Excellent. <laughs> I just have to have enough of... I just haven't have enough control points to make that work, which that's really hard to do. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of strategy that could go into that uh, over time. It just takes a bit. Uh, let's just make sure we're defending our interests everywhere we need to. Uh, looks like we're good. Okay, so next time, next I think we're gonna crack down here just to kind of reduce any influence they might Going be getting from people. from Canada. Caitlin, I want to. This guy's gonna be released in four days, again. I want you to... If we try to turn him, it's 85%. Um, if Agent Great Phantom hero. tries to turn, it's 22%. So, the person that has to detain is the same person that needs to try to turn him. That's a problem. I really wish I it wouldn't do it this way. I need Phantom to have Detain. Can I get Phantom to have Detain? Are any of these orgs can give you Detain. I mean, it doesn't matter because you can't have any anyway. I got to up your administration skill, but... Honestly, if one of these one of these things could... Uh... Actually, maybe somebody else can get Detain. Anybody, anybody that gives Detain? This one gives Detain, but this is Caitlyn. So, can anyone else have Danthus? Just Caitlyn. God, that sucks. It's because nobody else has two points. I need two more administration. Which means I need criminal. Damn it. He needs to be a criminal. 20 XP. Bean needs to have some successful missions so that he can gain experience. So right now we're just gonna keep this guy detained. I think indefinitely. Acknowledged. Because I really want to turn him because he's protectorate and I want to learn everything about them. I want to know what they're up to. So we'll keep this guy detained. We'll bring them in. Your orders. Where Chicken. Do? Chicken has like no chance to crack down any of these things. Czech Republic. Well, I mean. Alpine States is part of the European Union. Uh, can't crack anybody down. Wait, are you defending North Korea? Yes, it's 3%. Um, I could give it a 16%, even though you are... Even though you are solidified here, you don't have a lot of support. Maybe I just do public campaigns there. Let's put some money into North Korea. Bluesy keeps stabilizing. We'll restore and that's it for the turn. Okay. Wow. That turn, though. But see, now that we're more stable, it's going to be much harder for people to get in here and get influence. We should crack... Oh, they just... Nah, they defended it. So we're probably not going to be able to crack that down now. Target in a secure location. Yeah, we're going to keep him... The problem is, is that we keep him detained for like a month. Right? He's detained until the 20th of January. But I don't I don't get a turn until the 14th. So it's like it's always six days away. And you know, that sucks. They won't listen to reason. Yikes. We failed to turn 
Kaito Mbango to our cause. We had 76% and it rolled a 77. Ugh. Cleaning things up. That sucks. So close. Violence is abating. Targets got away. Public opinion is moving in the other direction. Wow, we didn't have very high chances to get that. We did. Very small sliver of orange. We have abductions in Paris. Oh, that's a shame. Darn. Abductions in Paris. Oh no. Poor Paris. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Oh, I wish they weren't. I just wish they weren't, you know? Sucks that that's happening. I wish you guys the best. I mean, if I want to control the EU eventually, I do need to like stabilize that region, but causing chaos right now is a great way to do it. If there's abductions, that's easier. So I think I could maybe get some destabilization in Europe now that there's uh, abductions. Might be easier to do. All right, let me real quick. I just want to see if I can get detained on anybody else. I mean, I probably should just get this on her just for the income. And then I can always take it off of her. It's only 395 to equip it, so. All right. So easy. Ridiculous. Uh, detained counselor. This one has it. It needs to be a criminal, of course. I need to make you a criminal. Or my next counselor can be a criminal. These guys are still ahead of me. They are really going to take control of this, man. Um, no, they're not. No, they're not. We're going to pump 11 a day into this. See how you like that. Um, okay, so we're going to try to turn him again. It says it's 22%, but when we, when we detain him, it'll be easier. Uh, I think so. We'll try the influence to turn this guy again. Reeling them in. Caitlin will continue detaining the subject. What's the up? I am here. Chicken. Ready. Um, you know, hostile takeover on his orgs wouldn't have to be half bad. Um, but it'll be easier to take his orgs once he's on our side. So I'll wait on that. Let's see if we can. Just raise public opinion here for a while. Let's get North Korea on our side if we can. We must persuade the people. Dean, at your service. You didn't manage at to crack this service. down before they made it solid. So it's okay though because this will be gone once we make this whole merge. So it's fine. We're gonna defend the United States. Securing our interests. Because we don't have that What's solid anymore. Bluesy, you did a wonderful job of making this place peaceful. Um. I think we'll have you try to turn this guy as well. Let's get that guy turned. I want I want to know what they're doing. I also want to see if my base is operational on Luna yet. It's been two months, hasn't it? Has it been two months yet? Not yet. Uh, we're still looking at... It's going to finish on the end of February. So that base will be operational in March. I also need the upgraded solar panels. These are tier ones. I need a tier two solar collector. I'd like a tier two solar collector anyway. The light side of the moon. Securing our control. She's going underground. That's fine with me. Detained. Detained. Secured. Okay, so he's detained, which means all the turning should be easier. We've gained an agent. Got him. All right. So Bluesy was able to turn him, which means Agent Phantom's job is moot. He's not going to do anything this month, uh, this week. But let's go ahead and check out what kind of intel we have on that counselor. So this guy's turned now. He's on our team. And... Uh, He's, you know, in Paris, European Union, etc. And um, we can say again, anything that's under, say, 
you will fail. Your expert chemist, chemist, monthly science income, that's all it gives you, okay. Uh, very good, you should have given us all the intel, so I should know everything about the protectorate now, pretty much. Yeah. All right, we know where all of their resources are. We know what their tech is up to. They're looking for interplanetary warships. And they're done with it, basically. They have the outpost mining complex done. There's no way you should be able to build it, though. You haven't had anywhere nearly enough boost to do it, though. And your income is way behind. Clandestine cells, space stock. These guys are working on the outpost mining complex and they're almost done with it. Again, now we're nowhere near enough boost. Unless, of course, the game cheats, which, you know, takes like 56 boosts to do this, so they shouldn't get it. Uh, these guys aren't interested in that. And then Resistance doesn't even have a base in space, so. Yeah, they're not doing anything meaningful here. Okay, good. So, again, the Protectorate's really the only ones we have to worry about when it comes to space, I feel like. Um, we don't know what Project Exodus is up to, though, so turning one of them would be probably helpful as well. Um, I can't turn more than two counselors at a time, though. So I'd have to assassinate one and then turn another. Which is fine. They're no longer it's useful. They're no longer useful Mission to us. Abort. Then, are any of these organizations able to be assigned? I just love this huge list that you have. And still administration left over. We have moved the needle. Crit success. Nicely done. Big chunk. Nicely done. Can you wipe out any of the other agencies you're going against? Not really. I mean, I can effectively neuter them to where they have almost no influence, but not really. It's because there's there's seven organizations. There's Yeah, there's seven factions plus the aliens, so eight total. And um, it's just... Um, yeah, it's really hard to do that because there's a lot of stuff going on. Standing by for order. The game kind of balances to where you can't do Please that. Keep me safe. Please keep you safe. Sure. Sure, we'll keep you safe. Absolutely. All you need to do is give me... Yeah, I really don't care about any of these. I mostly got you so that I can see what your faction is up to. So let's investigate some alien stuff. Let's see what these abductions are up to. We'll see what we can find. We're not going to do anything about them, but we just want to see. Standing by. We can go to the crash site in Nigeria with you. Hit it there now. Uh, Standing by. Bluesy. Ready to go. We're still pretty peaceful here. That was without drawing the campaign, so the Unity investment is actually helping a lot. And like our control is so dominant now. Nobody is taking the U.S. from us. I don't have to defend this anymore. Um. For Canada, we could put some more. I think we're going to put some more into Unity here just to really solidify that too. And then Canada is okay with 9% spoils. So we can remove the spoils from this now and focus on other things. Are these guys getting. See, they're getting boost income from this, and that annoys me. But it's fine. We'll get them out of there. Sooner or later, we'll get them out of there. We still haven't taken this yet. God, they actually might take that, and I am going to... I think I'm good here, actually. Yeah, I don't think I can lose that one. I'm going to pull that off. We'll put 100% of research into this and try to take the lead. So they have 1226. I have 1158. I want to control this because they're going to put things towards weapons and military stuff. There's tourism to be had, damn it. <laughs> the hand. We must we must destroy the aliens at all costs. 
Meanwhile, global research, you know, space hotels would be cool. <laughs> I love it. Um, can we increase unrest anyway? No, because this is... Increasing unrest goes against your command skill, and that's a terrible skill for you to have. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll have you investigate alien activity too. Balkan states. Investigating alien site. We've Ready made the United mission. States so stable Ready now that we mission. don't have to defend it anymore, which feels really good. I can focus on, let's say, North Korea, for example. I will tell of a story. So Your I can orders. launch nukes at Russia. Uh, Bean, I need you to do things that are going to make you successful. And you know what? Defending interest in Kazakhstan, because this... There's no role for this, so there's no uh, experience for you doing this. But um, it does need to happen, so make it so. Protecting our interests. Yes, protect our interests. Uh, okay, confirm those assignments, and we'll see you on the 14th. Securing our control. So their influence is total is 76% in the United States. Without us being in the United States at all, I want to see if if it if it if it moves. 76. Does it move and where does it move to? They really worked me over, but I didn't tell them a thing. Uh-huh. Right. Pretty sure. I still can't tell if my agent is turned or not. We are winning their hearts and minds. I don't know if there's a way to tell that. He seems successful in a lot of things, even with low low ball rolls. So I mean, I wouldn't think so. Yes, this did this did change. It did change, and it's the unrest actually went up a little bit. So we, we need to something. need to keep investigating that. Uh, okay, so alien abductions ob objective is done. After a thorough investigation, it seems clear that the aliens are targeting and abducting individual humans. Some animals also disappeared early on, but this seems to have quickly halted. This raises troubling questions. While a handful of alien abductions, of course, pose no large-scale threat, they do suggest the alien objective may be fundamentally adversarial to ours. We must investigate further. Investigate alien methods. We've found something. All right. Uh, crashed on site. Small bonus to Xenology going forward. Yep. Recon complete. Small bonus to Xenology going forward. Yep. All right. Allows factions to attack humans. So I, I have more objectives that I can that I can do to allow me to detect alien contacts with humans. Interesting. Okay. We've taken over this research now. Ha <laughs> ha bitch. I win. Look at all that sweet, sweet research. It's mine. What are you going to do about it? Uh, yeah, I can't lose that now. So, right? The 100, 123 left. Uh, I can tie. It's fine. We'll take it. Okay. Org marketplace has been updated again. Yeah, but like I don't have any administration. I need people to start being more successful on their missions so I can give them more administrations. Hera Laboratories, space research. Okay. Um. So I think I want to start. I need, I need to start doing more research on the aliens. Because again, they're gonna snowball if I don't. And I feel like like nuclear freighters is fine and all, but I'm gonna start changing to things that help us with this. So I think uh, maybe getting a Xenology lab in space, in orbit, could help with that. Um, and then researching alien methods. So let's get the lab so that I can study alien stuff in space. And uh, yeah. I need to figure out what they're up to and whether or not that's going to be really counterproductive to me. Hardetasia. Sure. We'll investigate that person. Um, Bluesy, let's Ready get you mission. to investigate another counselor, and we'll put you on Wei Wu in Jakarta. Eyes on target. Bean, let's have you go hit North Korea some more. We'll have you and uh, Chicken just hit this as hard as you can. Chicken Man, just keep hitting this. Public money. 
Actually, North Korea is pretty unstable, to be honest. We could try to destabilize it. Could. Um, maybe we'll make a public campaign here anyway. I will try to sway the public. Standing by Caitlin. We could try to detain another counselor. Uh, she looks pretty cool. She's got some orgs. Mining output bonus 4%. I, I like these. If we could just stack all of these up, we get really high bonuses to mining. Might be able to hold it with just that one. Um, but I feel like increasing unrest something I want to at least give some chance to here to try to destabilize this. 17% is not worth the ops, though. Uh, these guys are... Just don't know any Project Exodus people. I need, I need to learn more about Project Exodus people. So let's figure out where they are. Maybe this person? Let's try this person. Figure out who that is and investigate them. Eyes on target. I need to figure out what Exodus is up to now, too. And end of February is when our base is done. Our base in space. Defend interest is complete. Good. Um, That's not for me, but... I think I want to get Xenology research going, and I'm thinking about making another platform in space to do that around Earth. I could put the informational hab on there too uh, to help us with our boost research, I think is something that I can do. Um, let me get this station really quick. Let's see what you're up to here. So currently we have 10 income on energy and we're spending energy with those modules. So like I could add more power this way, but the problem with this is that it's got to be added to like, there's limited space. There's only four slots. So like, even though I have a way to add another solar collector, I can't add another module. I need a completely new station. So that becomes, that becomes the issue because a solar collector will cost me one and a half boost and it has 10 power. The fission pile costs two boost, twice as much money. Still the same pen uh, power. Plus to support it with resources, it takes uranium. Like it's just not worth doing. It, I'd be better off doing another station. And life science might be a way to go here. Especially if I want to do tourism. Because there's a lot of stuff that goes involved that's involved with that. Materials lab would actually help me with energy research though, right? Investments in military priority as well. Uh yeah, maybe. I already have a materials lab here though. So if I made another station, it's only one mission control. It'd be fairly cheap to manage. But it would dip into my boost right now. Which is kind of, kind of meh, you know? Yeah, so my monthly income on this will end up being 9.3 water. And it will cost 1.4 to maintain it. I'll have 26.7 metals, but I'm a little bit short on the volatiles. So I won't be able to fully fund that because of the volatiles being too short on this this location. So uh, that's a problem because now I have two bases on Luna, of course. I have more than just this base. So I could start building things here as well. Uh, but, you know, this is still, it, it still takes 56.9 boost to build this. And at that point, then, um, this will get me more volatiles and I'll be able to support the mining operations then, but it's, it's not great. I, I'd like better. I'd like it to be better. Um, that other site, see, these guys aren't going to have any volatiles. 
at Prairie Crater. Do they have a... Yeah, they haven't started building a mining base at all yet. Because they don't have the boost. Good. That's the goal. Prevent them from doing it by not allowing them to have boost. Talking with Jazz, her and I both agree orgs and research need to redo. Um, one, do you agree? And two, how would you do it if you do? Nothing unusual found. I don't have another. I haven't given it much thought, to be honest. Um, how to redo it? I, I haven't. If, if I if I threw anything out there, it would be like after 15 seconds of thought. You know, like it wouldn't be a well developed plan. Um, I will say I don't necessarily like how everybody has to research only one thing globally, but at the same time, I sort of understand why they did it that way. It's part of the strategy. Look at this. Look at this. You rolled a 99. It gave you so much, so much time. It gave you such high odds to succeed. You rolled a 99. Um, Surveillance complete. I mean, I kind of understand why they did it that way because it adds to the element of strategy of, you know, do you want to control the global Nothing narrative? Usual found. If you do want to control the global narrative, then you have to put forth, you know, your research into global stuff. I, I, I get that. Um, I didn't read the wall of text that Jazz, that Jazz left because I just don't read walls of text. <laughs> um, like, if, if someone wants to give a dissertation on it, then that's cool. They clearly feel more passionate about it than I do, and that's fine. Um, but I will say that uh, I don't see the whole element of wasted research. I don't, I don't understand where the wasted part comes in. I did get that part from your conversation. Um, I don't really find it to be waste. If you want to control it, then control it. Do the majority. That's it. You don't have to keep going, you know? Like, look, I'm not even researching these anymore because I'm gonna win. I took it away. I cannot lose. So the rest of the world can catch this up and then I'll control the next part. I don't mind that too much. Um, I can have most of my stuff down here now. Um, I still have this active just cause I wanna make sure I win, but now look, I'm gonna win this anyway too. So this can go away. Now my, my engineering is 100% in my, my power here. I don't like how I could have all the prerequisites for something in engineering and have not the ability to actually focus that. I don't like that part. The fact that it's somewhat randomly being kicked out to me at a time. I mean, I dominated research for Space Habs. The Protectorate did almost nothing for that. And yet they got that about the same time I did. I don't, I don't care for that. But again, I think the reason why that's kind of happening is because we're, we're directing nations to do this stuff. And nations are very complicated and a lot of politics and bureaucracy and all that stuff is taking place. We're not, I, I see it as we're not researching, we're directing the research flow. And you know, the world is kind of doing the same things. But again, I know it's not perfect. And even trying to explain why I think it matters I'm having a hard time justifying it. And just it's because I don't necessarily agree with it, but I don't have a way to fix it. I don't have a way to, to do it differently. You get bonus research for researching more technologies at once. That's what I think they meant. Hmm? Bonus research for researching more technologies at once. I don't know what you mean by that. Head to the stream from college. What's up, Mason? Good to see you. You had a hurricane in Atlanta, which is like, you know, Florida, whatever. It, it, the whole, this whole giant area is considered Atlanta. So Florida's there too. Um, the damage is potentially horrific. We may mitigate the damage by directing funds and ops to the area. We don't have ops anymore. Um, we don't have enough ops anyway. I have lots of funds, but I don't have enough ops. So otherwise, um, so we're going to have damage to economy and population in Atlanta. It's going to grant a significant public opinion boost for the Illuminati in the United States and all armies and affected regions suffered minor damage. If I say that's terrible, it causes major damage to economic economy and population in Atlanta. All armies and affected region will suffer minor damage. That's going to have to happen because there's nothing I can do. So there's an army here. 
and I can deploy that to be somewhere else. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna let me do that because... I can't imagine it lets me do that. Like, before this kicks in. Uh, it takes 6.1 days. Okay, yes. Yeah, so it's going to take damage. Minor damage. Okay. So population went down. Our opinion probably went down a little bit because we didn't help. Yeah, there's a little down arrow on that. Uh, but like, I didn't have enough ops, so it's just the Behold way it is. No sway in their binds. Uh, wow. North Korea is playing hard to get. Public opinion is moving in our direction. Not for Bean. All right, we're starting to get a presence there. Time to launch nukes at Russia. <laughs> All right, they're taking over a lot of the moons. We have a coup in Brazil. Ooh. A coup in Brazil. Humanity first. Coming in with a coup. Taking over the place. And look at all these completely exposed control points. Salivating. Not really. I don't really need Brazil. I'm not sure why they're not sure why they're so gung-ho about Brazil. God, they got a lot of stations now, don't they? These aliens are everywhere. They got so many stations now. I don't even know what to do with it. Um, okay, so I want to check out... I want to check out my base. So this is done now. So it should be generating stuff, but... Uh, yeah, the outpost is, is done now. But I, the thing is, I don't know if they're actually going to generate because... Yeah, it looks like they are. So, we are not gaining any volatiles. But we are now gaining water uh, every month. And we're having a 15% bonus to production here. And we're having a 15% bonus here as well. Um, and same thing here. So, we're going to start gaining these two resources. But in order to really produce things in space, we have to have volatiles as well. Um, I don't think there are there are very few things that don't take volatiles to build to and maintain. Um, so there's our mining output. Look at this base. It comes all the way out here. It looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, but this is enough. This is this only takes uh, five power. Really? Five power. So I should um, be able to add another solar collector over here and then I can support something that takes 10 power but I don't know what takes 10 power this is this is uh science lab is five power social science is three power materials lab is five life science is five yeah so solar collector giving me 10 I don't need anymore I can just put another mining base right here if I want to and I don't know if putting two mining bases in the same spot is going to give me double the resources in that spot. I don't think so. I don't remember how that works because I've never done it before. So I guess I, not that I don't remember, it's that I'd never tried it before. Because I think the location has an output and one mining base takes care of that output. Um. In fact, I know it doesn't. I guess I know it doesn't because I don't have the option to build it. It's not in the list. So I can't build another mining outpost here anyway. Which means I should put something else here. Whether it's life science, material lab, etc. I should put something else here. Um, or I save my boost, which is what I should do actually instead. I save my boost and I wait for... Um, more Imbrium, this one. I wait for this to place the mining, to place the mining base down here. So I can get a solar collector started on that. I'll go off to this. Actually, let's wait, because I can't, it's gonna be a long time before I have that boost, and I might have better research that has a better solar arrangement before I do that.
But yeah, I don't think there's anything I can actually build in space right now with that income. Um, if I take a look at like orbital platforms, let's say, actually, let's not do that because that's I can't actually look at that. Let's go to my station instead. Yeah, so if I wanted to build something here, building this in space takes volatiles and metals. Can't do it, no, no volatiles. This one takes volatiles and metals, water volatiles, metals, and noble metals. Uh, water, all, all of the above. Uh, yeah, so like everything takes volatiles. So I have to have a supply of volatiles before I can start doing that. But once I start being able to build things in space, this is when we start to snowball and we should be able to do that before anyone else. Should. Should be able to do that before anyone else. Let's take... See, we win this already. We don't have to contribute to global research. We've done enough. See if there's anybody that's vulnerable here. Go shopping for a control point here. We can maybe start getting our influence up in China. After we take North Korea. Standing by. Let's investigate this guy. 50% chance of success. He must be. He, he must be uh, really high on his spy skills. Keep the keep the money flowing to North Korea. Uh, Bluesy, I want you to keep stabilizing here. I, I can see it. They're starting to hit me again. It's a red, red arrow. They're doing shenanigans again. Uh, we can try taking an org. But we have to know who we're taking it from, and I think I'd rather just learn who these counselors are instead. Investigating target. And Sean, let's uh 33% chance to overthrow and to stage a coup in North Korea. Uh, I like the 50-50 odds. Let's go for it. Time for a change. Sean Bean, 50-50 odds. Stage a coup in North Korea and take control. We will establish our dominance. We'll, we are going to, going to be dominant in North Korea. Advise mission complete. So this is the protectorate, right? He's he's reporting to us on what he's doing, um, and he's doing he's advising the European Union. So the research output goes up by 11 percent. GDP goes up by four percent. Okay, that's, that's not exactly what I wanted to see, but all right. Imagine a coup in North Korea. I know, right? North Korea, here we come. I want to merge them into Greater Korea. I think that's something I can do, right? I can have North Korea take over South Korea, and then I'll control both. Uh, by launching nukes at Russia. <laughs> Uh, space dock is done. Um, I'd love to build these things because it'd be great, but unfortunately, it will take. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to take uh, eight of the noble metals. So I think maybe we start thinking about moving to Mars. I, I would have preferred we do asteroids before Mars, but the world research went to Mars, and I have my own research plans for the world, so I don't really want to spend time on the asteroids. I'd rather just, let's just do Mars then if that's what you want to do. So we'll, we'll go for that. Um, supply Depot would be okay, but Information Science Lab, I think is something I want to have. Think the problem with the Information Science Lab, it's really annoying, is it takes six power, not five. So you need extra power. And uh, that, I, I hate that part. But, it's, um, isn't this the one that gives us, no, this isn't the right one. 
I think it's like a media lab or something. I don't know. We'll do, um, let's do alien methods. The ability to detect alien contacts with humans. We'll get that going instead. These are really fast I projects. New information. All right, so we now know a little bit about this guy. He's sent on humanity first, okay. Is our coup gonna be successful? 60%. We found nothing of note. Wow. This counselor sucks, whoever it is. You rolled a 99. At least you didn't get captured. Rolled Things a 99. Stabilizing. stabilizing the United States. Come to our side. All right, so we got the public on our side in North Korea. Now let's try the coup. 68% chance. Our plot has been boiled. Ah, you rolled a 70. Retry the mission. <laughs> Roll to 70. Xenology lab is done. So now I can put this in space. And we can get more research towards alien projects and stuff. All right, let's put some time into, I think, the energy lab. We need to get more of these up in space, to be honest. I just, I got to have the support costs. They take a lot of resources. I got to get mining going. Maybe this fission reactor. Nuclear, we could go back to nuclear freighters. I need this first. Before I go to Mars, I need this. Reduces the boost use for sending material from Earth to beyond low Earth orbit. Um, and actually, this might help me get things in Luna, too. Let's actually do that. That might help me with Luna. Beyond low Earth orbit, Luna is that. I, I misread that. I thought this was beyond, like, the Earth's sphere of influence kind of thing. So um, we definitely want that. I'm going to really put a bunch of science into that right now. And then in situ. Choose a card. Now blow on it. Perfect. Then tap my hand three times. Wonderful. And just like that, the card floats away. Commissioner nice. Kiran Banerjee, home video of his daughter's third birthday. That's cool. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the research, but they got a quote. That's cool. So anyway. Um... All of us here take water for granted each and every day. Yet, no matter how humanity might evolve over the centuries to come, one thing will never change. Everything we are, and everything we do, depends upon water. Chancellor Li Qingzhao, Public Lecture, Xi'an Jiaotong University. Okay, so we have to choose two research projects for the world, because we can. Uh, the first one we're going to do is advanced carbon manipulation, because that gets us moving one step closer towards the things we wanted. We'll do that. Um, and the next tech for the world, I think, was space tourism because it's a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> or we could do something that I guess that's maybe not a waste of everyone's time, but I think space tourism. Neural networks. Um, well, I mean, we want to get the Great Nations, right? So Great Nations was... Uh, where the hell was that? Quantum encryption got us to something else. Wait, I thought this was a prerequisite for the thing I wanted before. Directed space research. I don't know. I want... Um... Where is it? I'm looking for United... Hey, go Great Nations, yeah. Yeah, Great Nations right here. We, we want unity movements, but that's after this one. So I, I, I can't direct that yet. I gotta wait, damn. Okay, uh, so Great Nations is on hold until that other project is done. Um, what else were we gonna go for here? I think space tourism is a fine idea. <laughs> oh, Isn't that something you, that both Korea, Koreas want to do anyway. What? I'm gonna replace your ruthless dictator with another ruthless dictator. Expect your lives to barely change. No. If we somehow took over North Korea, we would we would install them with not a ruthless dictator, but would rather just a dictator that was 
would adhere to our wishes and would obey, you know, like a good dog. But one that the rest of the world would, uh, and our allies would, would approve of. But we just want to make sure that they're a good dog and they play nice. Maybe industrialization of space. Off earth mining output increased by 10%. Yeah, I like that. That would work for me. It sure would. I think we do mobile space science lab. And then the industrialization of space is still needed too. So let's do that instead. Industrialization of space. That's our next project for the world to have. Where is it? Right here. There's your next project. 15,000 though. Yikes. All right, let's do it though. Mm. Let's, can I check energy really quick? Like electricity, can I, can I get more power without having to add like solar panels and stuff? Isn't there like something that's better for that? I don't know how to search for that, like power. We wanted to go for, for fusion, right? That was, that's what I wanted, fusion. Uh, fusion. I wanted the... Uh, advanced atomic manipulators, no. Well, maybe, because that goes to quantum computing. I could have swore went to what I wanted, but... Nuclear fission in space. Yeah, we're on the right track now. Solid core fission systems. Increases the global nuclear fission tech level by one, buffering the world against energy crisis. Uh, then fusion pulse drives, but I wanted it to be... Diamondoids. Nuclear fusion in space is what I want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then high temperature semiconductors. The fusion in space should give me the fusion pile, though. Where is that? It's not showing up. Why is that not showing up? Yeah, there. This is what I want. Because then I can make this, and that's going to be more energy for me. So the prerequisite is all the way down at nuclear fusion in space. It just wasn't showing up as something that was going there. Okay. High temperature superconductors, advanced atomic manipulation, plus advanced heat management concepts. Okay. So there's actually two more research I need to do before I'm on like a aligning there. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. I don't see it. Oh, right here. Advanced heat management concepts. We'll do that. And then this is the one where we, we push this one towards uh, the greater United Nations. And of course, we want to get a lead on this. So let's make sure we uh, punch a whole bunch of research into it right away just to get a huge lead on it first. Yeah. Um, I actually do want this to be going to... All right, Academy is already beating us here, so let's dumb down this a little bit. See if we can catch them. Mm, no, they're pulling ahead. Wow. You guys got some research stuff, huh? Uh, you got some science output, Academy. You gonna play Soviet Republic yet? Am I playing Soviet Republic? What do you mean? I'm confused. I don't have the Soviets. That somebody else has that. I might try to break them up though. Ba -da -dum. Uh, 35. I still like the odds on the coup. 68%. I like those odds. I'm here. And you know, Chicken Man, we can. Um, I will tell about story. Can Ready you uh, go ahead and stabilize US? 
Yeah, cause they're, they're, they're starting to hit me again on that. Restoring order. And then uh, maybe we ready to go. Get another public campaign over in. Uh, eh, maybe we do like an EU cut. Like we have almost no presence in the EU. So you know what? Let's let's start investing. We must persuade the people. Let's persuade the people in the EU. We, we can do that. Can I see what kind of orgs you have? You got a ton of them. 23 administration on you. Wow. I, I'm, I don't care. That's really low odds. Let's detain her instead. <laughs> Much better odds of that happening. Eyes on target. Bring her in for questioning. Yes, please. That's wild. Uh, okay, Porto Alegre. So we got a giant alien now in Brazil. Giant alien in Brazil. And you guys wanted Brazil. You guys are fighting over Brazil. And well, now you get to deal with that. <laughs> I bet that will make it really unstable. A civil war is broken out in Brazil. They are really unstable. This is providing like no resources at all. Good luck with that hand. Good luck with that. Revolution! Now nobody owns Brazil. All the resources they put into that, and now nobody owns Brazil. Well done, servants. Well done. You managed to have that all done with 0% influence. We've got the package. Just by getting your, uh, by getting your masters to come over and invade. We need to keep up. Like, our military has to be ready for that to happen in the United States. Thankfully, I've got our a lot of military. Okay, wait a minute. You rolled another 99%? It's like the second time you've done that. Things are cooling off. Playing the Show me North Korea. The government is in better hands. Yeah! The government is in better hands now. <laughs> My coup in North Korea was a success. We've rearranged the power structure there. The executive power of this nation now belongs to the Illuminati. Excellent. Outstanding work, gentlemen. You've done wonderfully. And now, we will go to war with our neighbor, which is Russia. Right there, a little tiny sliver right there. You're our neighbor. We're going to war, baby. We're just gonna redirect this country's efforts to not be at war with any of these people anymore. We will unite Korea under one great Korea. We have we have the army under our control. Okay. Next thing to do, chicken is solidify our dominance in North Korea. Securing our control. Thank you. Reporting in. Um, we captured Wei Wu, and we will be releasing her on the 5th of April. So, whopping four days again. Yay! So good. Can't wait. So wonderful. Sweet. Uh, I'd like to do the hostile takeover thing in there. Let's confirm the capture. Them. At your service. Bean. Ready for orders. Um. Anything we need to defend? No, we're pretty good there. Uh, anything we can crack down? Reporting in. Not you, Bluesy. Um. We'll just keep this stable for now. We'll restore peace Just tell the people the that nation. everything is okay. What can we crack down on? I kind of want to take protectorate stuff away from them. Maybe we'll just do another public campaign over in the European Union. Try to tell the people of our message, Bean. I will tell our story. Acknowledged. Phantom, I still want to know more about... Standing by. Not that guy. No. Still want to know more about uh, 
Let's try this person. See who they are. Time to nuke the alien. Not quite yet. Um, but getting control of this nuke is good. And then again, I can shoot it at Russia and make them shoot back. I'll just move my army. South Korea has boost income now. Ooh, South Korea has some juicy boost income. I like. Maybe we can get some of that. It does cost more to take control of it now, though. It's a little expensive. Detaining should happen before everything else. Caitlyn should detain first. And detain. Target lost. We couldn't get them. Ninety-nine, really? God damn. Cleaning things up. These ninety-nine rolls. New information. What are the odds that I roll so many ninety-nines at Order once? Order is returning. Gotta be astronomical. Uh, we can now we can now make a ISRU module take me there. What is that going to do for me? What does this module do for me? Uh, allow ships to re-propellant at unimproved hab sites that produce raw materials used in the ship's propellant. Ships that use anything as propellant may re-propellant at any site. Okay, so this is just a way for providing ourselves a way to refuel. That makes sense. Um, our ships can go in and do that. We don't have any ships yet, but you know, it seems like a fairly inexpensive research for later on when we want it. So okay. Uh, back to alien methods, please. Back to alien methods. These guys are still winning. Wow, they're pulling away. They got a lot of science. A lot of science on that. Uh. I'm gonna pull off this and let's pull back on that and see what that does. We've moved the needle. I've gotta, you know, catch up. I think I'm starting to catch up a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. I'm currently what? 390. My math skills are bad. 70 away. Okay, so I'm still 70 away, shit. Oh, cool. The uh, servants purged the academy. That's great. Servants are getting stronger, fine. Um, let's hit this as hard as we can, shit. Another, Victor 13 now. You guys have a lot of ships. I kinda wanna help the hand. I need to help Project Humanity so they can actually start wiping the aliens out. Probe arrives at Mars. Okay, good. Controlled by the Illuminati has arrived at Mars and has completed its scans. We may now construct bases there with the appropriate colonization technology. Monthly resource production for each site is listed below. So we now know the exact values of each of these sites. And it's actually easier to read this if you do it while looking at Mars. So like seeing this spelled out over here, it's a little easier when it's all in neat columns. So Olympus Mons, we knew that had the most noble metals. Uh, Utopia is gonna have the most uranium. And it also has a pretty good supply of water and an okay resource for everything else. So if I was gonna take two sites on Mars, I would probably take these two, probably because that would give me a lot of resources. If I want to take Olympus Mons now, it would cost me, what? 16 boost? Which does delay a lot of stuff. I should do this after I have the, those nuclear engine things. And I don't know who else has probed this. Actually, never mind. I do. You gotta be kidding me. 
How did you do that? So, the resistance decided, okay, you're not going to give me any place on, on the moon? Fine. We're going to Mars instead. So the resistance took this spot on Mars, which actually has a pretty good balance of stuff. So they have a Mars plot already. If I want to control the uranium, I should take this, but that does not get me noble metals. I need noble metals to construct without needing boost. So I probably should at least reserve a spot because it could, it could mean other people are going to do it too. If the, if the resistance is already here, granted, they don't have nearly enough boost to construct anything meaningful here, but they have already reserved the spot. And I'm still four, five. I'm still three months away. Three months away from having um, another mining base. No, I'm more than that. Um, well, it depends on what the boost cost is after that engineering is done. I would like these two spots just so they can't have them. But to be honest, again, the noble metals, it's easier to get this stuff on asteroids. Or I can just go to... Yeah, no, I can get this stuff easier on asteroids. So it's really all about controlling the uranium. 7.3 is a lot. So I probably should take the uranium instead, just to make sure they can't have it. The rest of the sites don't have a remarkable amount of uranium. At least, you know, this, this one does. But... The rest of the sites are not as nearly as remarkable as Utopia Planeta, so. Um, Planetia. So I'm gonna found this outpost here. At Utopia Planetia. I'm gonna take that so that no one else can have that, that uranium. Again, no noble metals, but I locked down the uranium. So we'll take that. It's just the outpost core, but you know, it's, as long as it's reserving the spot, it's probably fine. And we have to find another way to get noble metals for now. We won't build that base out until we have noble metals, but I'm just like locking down the uranium. All right. So what do we want to do with North Korea? Caitlin, I would like you to set North Korea's national policy, please. Time to make a move. Your orders. I would like Reporting a public campaign in. to take place in the European Union to raise support for our cause. We must persuade the people. Bluzy, you can do the mission. same. Standing by. You can do the same in the European Union. Make them love us. Making our case. Phantom. I still want you to try to figure out who that counselor is. One of these two, they're 91%, you keep rolling 99s. The only thing I can think of is you actually are turned, right? Maybe you are turned and this mission keeps rolling 99s because I'm trying to investigate the group that turned you. I mean, that would make sense. We'll see what they are up Because you just rolled 399s in a row. I just don't understand how that's even remotely possible. So that, other than you being turned. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know what this guy has for stuff, but Chicken just has fun taking corpse, so. Uh, they're in Peru. Let's investigate. Where is this guy? There. Um, you know, I'm okay with that. It gives a mission control. Yeah, we could take his. Go ahead, take it, take it Targeting over. Targeting their assets. You can take that away from him. It's fine. Anytime we can take mission control away from the aliens, the better. Uh, good. It's fine. I need noble metals. 
probably should have took the other site. How's research going? Am I still... I'm catching up. It's going to be very close, but I am catching up. Oh, you have a lot more than just the one. Okay. Okay. Investigate counselor. So take over. Economy. Uh, not bad. A little more espionage skill. Uh, mining group would be good. An extra 3%. I mean, if I can get myself up to having more stuff, that'd be good. But I still want to take that mission control away from him, I think. We're winning their hearts and minds. Good. Uh, it looks like I'm catching up here, so I may be able to overtake that. I have to put all my research into it to do it, though. The academy is really hitting that hard. In our direction. I think they're pretty sick of me dictating the terms here. Policy direction complete. Okay, so we can now dictate the terms, dictate the national policy for North Korea. I could have them disarm their weapons, but why would I want to do that when I can launch them at somebody else? So let's declare war. Uh, on arrival and any allies or seek peace or if I say declare war I can only do it on South Korea I would like to do it on Russia um, I'm not able to do that though why conclude a war against the nation and its allies requires consent by the leader of the enemy alliance War will only end entirely if we are a leader of our alliance. Our fight, our allies will fight on without us. Right, we are now uh, going to not be at war with Stopping Venezuela anymore. So that I can try to find... I think it's because I'm already an ally with... I mean, I'm an ally with a lot of things here. All right, that's Russia. Uh, North Korea. Yeah, like, I'm not a... I'd like to... Rivals, manage. Can I manage? Yes. I want to manage this to where Russia is now a rival. <laughs> Russia is now our rivals. Confirm. Now rivals and must and may declare war on each other. That's better. That's better. I've gained a control point for the protector in the Ivory Coast. You now have one of two points there. What I is wait the, for you now. What's the big deal with the Ivory Coast? I mean, good for you, but why? Have fun with the Ivory Coast, I guess. Okay, so now we may declare war on each other. Uh, okay, so now I want to say that we've added, we've added this. So I want to say we can declare war on Russia now. I think. I think. Does anyone else have the set national policy? I'd rather not, I'd rather not use her for this. Yeah, Bean does. Let's do that with Bean this time. Uh, chicken has it too. That's fine. Um, chicken, we're going to have you do something different though. I am going to try to crack down on this spot in Russia because it is open and exposed. And it's not very high to succeed, but I feel like maybe we'll get lucky. Unless someone else could do it easier. Ready for orders. Crack down Russia. This spot. 23%. So not as not as good. Ready for uh, maybe mission. Bean would have been more successful on that. I should probably check. No. Not as good. Okay. Uh Ready to go. Caitlin. You can't crack down. It's fine. Where do you Bluesy mean? can crack down. Um, it spends the intel the investigation score, so that actually might be easier for you. Still 23. Huh. Okay. Tell you what we'll do then. Um, I'm going to give you... Uh, 
Nah, it's not likely to happen. Maybe we just spread our message instead. If we can get a more balanced approach here, I might be able to stage a coup. They're peaceful too. I want to create unrest and everything too, but... Let's try that. Chicken, I still want to try cracking down that spot. It's a low chance to succeed, but I, I still want to try it. So we'll take uh, 32 influence for an 18% chance. Turning up the heat. And then Knowledge. Phantom. At your service. Uh, pretty no, almost no odds to increase it in Russia. Pretty much no odds. Could try Crackdown, uh, give a little bit of extra influence for another 14%. It's not likely to happen, but I'm gonna try it. Targeting their center of power. Uh, and then that's it for this turn on counselors. Oh. No, Caitlin hasn't done anything yet. Caitlin, I want you to, yeah, set national policy in Korea. On my way to the capital. All right. So now we have our assignments confirmed. Still nobody's claimed that site. So Exodus has a core, but no mining site. Servants also have a solar core. Solar, but no mining site. Hand just has the core, so no solar. And the academy has solar. So they're starting to power things. Protectorate is also solar. So I am the only one in the game right now that is that is mining on the surface. Excellent. Thanks to having more boost than everyone else. Okay. All right. Boost is really good until the late game and then you really don't need it anymore. The differences in our languages are irrelevant, for we all grow closer to those near us in times of distress, creating community where once there was none. Today, I ask you to do just that, for humanity's future depends upon us all sharing one unifying vision. And that one Director unifying Hale vision... Ashton, ...public remarks at the first Project Exodus facility. And the one unifying vision does not include abandoning Earth and leaving it behind. Bye. Uh, we're going to go with... Where is it? Unity movement. There it is. Unity movements. <laughs> All right. Am I really good on this now? I'm ahead. That's good to hear. Um, we want to punch a whole bunch into this now. Give a little bit here. Go. Going to ground in Botswana, are you? Okay, we are ahead in that, and I think we're getting to the point where we can't lose it. Not likely to lose it. Let's go like that. Um, the Academy is hitting this one now. They really don't want this, which I understand why you don't we want it. No sway in their mind. You see this 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 99% stuff? Like, what is going on with this? What are the odds of rolling 99% critical failures this often? There's got to be something going on there. Targets got away. You only had a 1% anyway. It's fine. Targets got away. Yeah, whatever. I get it. Mission complete. Declare war on Russia. <laughs> we are going to war. Yes, North Korea. North Korea is going to war. Under the control of the Illuminati has declared war on Russia, Pakistan, and Iran. The defending alliance will be led by Russia. That's fine. Um, the war will only end when the leading nations on each side, with the greatest military strength, agree to make peace, or one side has captured all of the capitals in the of the enemy and installed new governments. Ah, yes. Yes. Mission complete. Um, I'm not sure why we're both setting policy here. Why are we both setting policy? Um, grant independence. No, I want to shoot my nukes. Nope, I'm just gonna cancel. I didn't realize I told Bean to. I didn't realize I told Bean to do that. Uh, cooldowns on improving relations between nations are reduced by 20% following diplomatic events we initiate. 
Increases our control point management capacity by 10. By 10. I like this. Um, corridor diplomacy. We want that. We have to make sure we control this. I think we're good here. I don't think we can lose this. I'll pull that off. Um, pretty sure we can't lose this one. Pull that off and focus everything on this one. We should hopefully be able to catch them. The academy is actually really good on science. You ha I have to basically dedicate to beat them. Okay. So, armies. Uh, we can deploy army to Russia. Which sounds like a cool thing. 17 days to get there, though. I don't think I've ever launched a nuke. So I'd like to. I would like to. Whoever's played this game before, tell me how to launch their nuke. <laughs> I just want to shoot it at Russia. I've wanted to do this the whole game. Now I can do this. I think I can do this. Do I? I it's not set policy because I, I would have been able to do that with beans. So it must be something else. Um. Barrages that may be launched by this nation. Each barrage will devastate a single region and cause massive environmental damage globally. Nuclear strikes are directed by the faction in control of the executive control point, which is me. Big button above country details. Oh, this thing that's kind of hidden. North Korea nuclear weapons. A nuclear strike package is available on your order. We may target any region belonging to our current war enemies or our own regions with enemy forces present. Yes, because a country would totally launch a nuke on itself just to get rid of the enemies that are there. That's stupid. Uh, note that advanced defenses will prevent any attack. Launching our weapons will do terrible and lasting damage to the target region, destroying any enemy armies and all space facilities and surely be seen with horror around the globe. I'm aware of this. All right, I want to launch their space facilities and their armies. Where are your space facilities? Is it in Moscow? Is it Moscow? Core economic region. Huh? Ooh, Mission Control Center. There's your armies. Oh, I do like a good nuclear launch, don't you? Yes, I do. I do like a good nuclear launch uh, at Moscow. Um, here is providing a bit of boost every year. Uh huh. Uh, this is providing three mission control to Russia. And all the servants are here. Launch! Q! Nuclear launch underway. Russia, under the control of the servants, is launching a nuclear attack on Pyongyang, <laughs> which is sure to cause widespread devastation and massive loss of life. And I'm sure it is. <laughs> North Korea, under the control of the Illuminati, is launching a nuclear attack on Moscow, which is sure to cause widespread devastation and massive loss of life. That's great. That sounds good. Okay, Bean, get out of there. <laughs> we will go and do a massive public campaign for us, you know, in a different region. <laughs> no, we're going to get out of there. We're going to go to the, to the UN instead. Let's go public campaign here. We'll make our appeal. Um, Caitlin... We're going to go and do a public campaign over in France, please. There we go. I will tell our story. Chicken, you're going to... Uh, anything we need to defend. Yes, defend interests in Canada. Thank you very much. Securing our interests. Bluesy. Stabilize the United States. Sounds good. We'll turn down the Phantom. Let's do a bit of a public campaign here just to kind of keep our... Eh, we're already very dominant. Forget that. Go to France instead. Let's make our case there. Making our case. And that is it for the turn. We just launched nukes at Russia. Oh, I feel so good. I feel so good about this. This army is going to get devastated, so we should move it. it. Has 17 days. It will never. It will never make it. <laughs> but we'll deploy it anyway. It will never make it. All right. Nukes are going. Um, are they going to land? Let's find out. North Korean army has been destroyed in Pyongyang. 
Oh no! The nuke! Russian 20th Guards Army has been destroyed in Moscow. Oh no! They got nuked! Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, North Korea. <laughs> so sorry to hear that. But at least you're peaceful. <laughs> we destroyed... Massive devastation and loss of life. Of course, I don't condone this in real life. But since we are the Illuminati and this is a video game, I find this is nice <laughs> for me. Uh, okay, no control points. No mission control for Russia. Sorry, servants. No mission control for you. Russia no longer has mission control. Darn it. Oh, darn it. What a catastrophe it is. And you're down to 29 nukes. What a shame. I wish you all the best as your country is burning. Control. Again, I want to make this abundantly clear. I do not condone this in any way. I realize geopolitical things are happening. I don't condone this in any way. This is an absolute travesty, and I would not wish this upon anyone ever, regardless of who you are. This is a video game, and this is my strategy. Okay? Just... Let's just put that out. Put that to bed, please. Uh, yeah. There it goes. Okay. This is the kind of thing I have to deal with if I was playing Hearts of Iron 4. I'm not, I don't condone the Nazis. Public sentiment okay. is increasingly with us. Look at that. Rolled a 96. I'm so glad I put that extra bit of uh, influence into that. Jesus. The people will come to our side. Things are cooling off. We hold Good. no sway in their minds. Rolled a 95. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we got a pretty good amount of, uh, you know, 20% in European Union. And they're leaving this open. We need to go get that. They're leaving it open. Let's crack it down. Just imagine, I fetch you, how this world would change if we could mass manufacture building materials in an instant. Homes built for mere pennies. Irrigation for every village. A brighter, fairer future for all. Commissioner Kiran Banerjee, private correspondence. Mm -hmm. Now I just need to gain control of Russia while it's destabilized and in panic. Um, gain control of Russia, and then I want to nuke all the countries that have aliens in them. I'll just nuke the countries that have aliens in them, which I won't be able to do because I have to formally declare war on them. But since I'll be able to control their executive policy, I'll be able to make them enemies, declare war, and then say bye bye aliens and just nuke all the nations that the servants are in and the aliens are in. The goal being to re remove Russia's nukes. I actually could just have Russia nuke itself. <laughs> I could. Um, but I think it requires that there be enemy forces in their borders. So I would want to get enemy forces to be in their borders and then nuke themselves. Probably. Um, okay, well, let me take a look at the tech tree here. So what did we just finish? We're going for a couple of things, right? We're going for... On this node, what was this node focused on? Space mining, in situ, resource utilization, space commerce could be an interesting thing. Um, our space future. Um, I think I wanted a nuclear fusion in space is what I wanted, right? So to get nuclear fusion in space, I need high temperature superconductors. And I can't do high temperature superconductors until I do this one, which is already in progress, and this one, which is not. So advanced atomic manipulation. Advanced atomic manipulation, right there. Although, if I want the asteroids, this would be the one to do. And I think industrialization in space, um, Set up profitable and sustained space-based production and monetization lines. Maybe we'll do that later. I still think I want nuclear stuff. Or... Is there anything that reduces boost cost? No, I don't want reduced boost cost. What do I want reduced boost cost for? Everyone else should have to pay. I did. I think advanced atomic manipulation is fine. 
We'll see how that goes. Um, I have control over this one now, and I still have control of this one, and I cannot lose it. Yeah, that one's mine for regardless. So this one I'm ahead on, but not by much. Uh, failed to purge in Israel. That's fine. I think I might let them let somebody else research this right now. I'm not really married to that. I'm gonna. Fo I think I'm gonna focus my efforts on Great Nation. Um, we have the heat management concepts. I can still manage those too, and then also get my engineering done. So now that I've kind of directed the flow towards where I want to go on that, I think I'm gonna let. I'll let somebody else handle this if they want to. The academy can put their resources towards that instead. That's fine. That means they're not focusing on this as much. Look at the world, dude. It's so dark. Look at how dark everything is. We have nukes. So we have 28 nukes. Russia has 29. Still more nukes than us. We must do something about this. We'll do so by taking the European Union's nukes. I want to crack this down. Chicken. I want to crack down in the European Union, if you could. No? Uh, crack down, please. European Union. That tile. 9%. Jesus. I think I need... Uh, I think I'm going to try it still. Uh, we have a good enough influence. I think we'll go 32, 9% chance, and then I will hit public campaigns in here over and over again to see if we can get it. Targeting their center of power. Standing by for so public order. campaign here is good. Uh, Bean, hit this with public What's campaign. Put some money into it. Making our case. Um, Phantom, Reporting same thing. In. Put some money into it. I will tell our story. And Bluesy Bot. <laughs> the whole world, like nuclear war, dude. Two countries launch nuclear bombs at each other. Just like, what's the country? Like, what is North Korea's population right now? Did their population changed by 8 million people. They lost 8 million people to that strike. Holy shit. What did Russia just lose? 9 million people. So I guess you could say we're winning the war. No. We have no armies. Your priority is going to be nuclear weapons. Developing nuclear weapons is your only task right now. I'm going to really just destroy this country. This country is going to be so incredibly boned. All of their resources are going to be dedicated towards developing nuclear weapons. My god. The world is going to end. Um, you know, our GDP is going down. I want to focus on our economy a little bit more. And, you know, the spoils have to be a thing. Uh, we can we can pull down the knowledge in this sector a little bit. That's fine. Keep the spoils up. It's fine. Okay, Bluesy. I, I think, again, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to convince the EU that we're you know really good people and stuff. You know, it wasn't us that launched the nuclear bombs. It wasn't me. I didn't do anything. We must it was North Korea. To the people. The United States had nothing to do with this. Okay, this is, this is, I don't know. North Korea is crazy, all right? I don't, I don't know why they did that. No? And Russia responded in kind, I get it. Xenoforms detected in Puerto Alegre region. Puerto Alegre. Not Puerto, Puerto. All right, they're thriving and threatened to displace the native biota. We should probably do something about that. I mean, that was a giant creature that was here, and now there's like native air alien fauna spawning in Brazil. That's a bit of a problem. Probably should do something about that. Um, we're we're not gonna get this. I'm gonna let them dictate this one for now. We're gonna focus on these two because we can. And um, advanced heat management. That's going towards more better power for our bases. 
And then this is the real one I want a lot of. So um, let's go corridor diplomacy here for a little bit. It looks like I'm keeping up with this one all right. And then I want to get nuclear freighters going some more too. And again, I don't need to research the one on the right because I can't lose it. Um, you can see at the top, this is the reason why I really need to get this this volatiles going. So like we have 22 water right now, 84 units of base metals. If I had this, I'd be able to build a whole bunch of stuff in space without boost. I need to get that going. Um, that's my problem right now. But I can't build solar panels without boost because that takes noble metals and I don't have those. You are a shining star. You are a burning sun, and within you burns an eternal flame. When that flame touches another, nothing in this world can stand in its way. You could disarm your own nukes with the National Pol- That's right! Home. Burn brighter, self-improvement course. That's right! I could, if I can take control of Russia, I can disarm their nukes. That's the next task. Because if I disarm their nukes, and then I can abandon Russia. I say, you know, disarm the nukes. All the nukes get disarmed. No more nukes in Russia. And then I just abandon country. Let someone else take it, it's fine. Their mission control is gone, right? They have no MC. Um, I could have actually probably, if I get the EU, I could probably launch their nuke at Russia's uh, uh, boost center, but I don't really want the EU countries getting hit by nukes, all right? They could be useful to me, all right? I'm, I might have them in the future. <sighs> what else do we want to do here? Um, mission to inner planets, mission to asteroids, space tourism. I want to say the thing that I needed next was... Hmm. Industrialization of space, probably. I know there was another thing I was going after. What was it? I, there's so much tech in this game that I really kind of forget my goals. When I have control over all this stuff, I get control. I, I want this. This is started already. That one's done. So I need this one. I can't do that until this is complete. That's so not available yet. So in the meantime, arrival sociology. We'll go towards fall of empires and just the dissolution of Russia can take place. This can work. Although, if I do this, doesn't this allow other factions to do end of America? But if I already do United Great America, I don't think they can do that anymore. It may not work. That may that may not work as much in my favor as I think it will. I think maybe not on that. This is, there's a lot to look at here. Whoops. There's a lot to look at here. Um. Yeah, we, we can go towards space tourism and orbitals and we can maybe start setting that up for more influence. Um, that The thing about tourism though is it's gonna rob my boost. Nah, it's gonna rob my boost, I don't like it. Tell me about these reactors. Are these reactors only available on ships or can they be used on HABs? Like terawatt fusion reactors. Hmm. Can't see it because they're not engineering research. Go to the full tree. Kind of want to take a look at the engineering projects. 
know for sure. There's just a lot of them. What's an advanced? Yeah, this. Advanced prospecting surveys. What's the path to get this? Industrialization of space. And then I also need to get s augmented reality. Wow. That, there's a lot to do there. Okay, so we can try augmented reality, which is really quick. Then space research. Then mobile space science lab. Okay, we'll try we'll try that approach. Augmented reality first. And we want to put considerable resources into this because we need to control the next path after that. We are winning their hearts and minds. Wow, nice. We've moved the needle. The EU starting to love us. We're winning their hearts and minds. Oh my goodness, look at the support we have in the EU now. Critical success. Well done, Bean. We're winning their hearts and minds. Oh, dude. A coup here is going to be actually quite easy. Could be. Could be easy. With this much public success. Uh, okay, another crit fail, but fine. We didn't get captured. New project available. These are on ships. I'm not really into ships yet. Um, we might need some if, uh, you know, aliens start taking down our habs and stuff. We might need to defend our stuff, but for now, I don't think so. Exodus was purged in Finland by the servants, okay. Exodus is a lot less of a threat now. This guy had a crit failure, doing something for the protectorate, good. Okay, so, I mean, we got 48% approval in uh, the European Union. That's a lot of boost income. And uh, granted, it's gonna, be hard to justify that with this, but it's a lot of boost income. Let's take a look at these guys. I haven't done much for leveling them up in a while. So let's take a look at this. Chicken, if I want you, actually let's do, let's make Bean a criminal first. So he can get those other, so he can get this. Yeah. So we make Bean a criminal. And now he should be able to get that. Yeah, there it is, right here. So he can now get this one. Gives us plus one ops. Gives him plus four administration as well as an additional espionage and an additional security for being a criminal. Now he has more. And we could get more ops, more influence. Which I, f I feel like I'm going to want that ops badly. Um... So I might actually go ahead and give you this one. Uh, yeah. That ops income is really quite massive. It will continue to be, be massive throughout the game. And then I can also give you this to improve your investigation, which is helpful for you in crackdowns and stuff. Or I can wait and give you something that's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more your style. Um, Phantom, I think, needs administration, probably. He's pretty good aside from that. So we'll go administration here. Yes. More admin for him. And then chicken, if I give you more admin, there's nothing else I can give you in this list. But I'm actually considering giving you more command instead. Or I can go national hero. What's your home country? Oh, I, if I give you government. Ooh, then I can give you some of these later. National Reconnaissance Office. It's pretty good. Minus 200 income, but I have enough money anyway. Money's no problem anymore. Foreign Intelligence Services is pretty sweet. Actually, I want this one. If I give you government, you're able to get this. 
Then I unassign two of these orgs, give you this instead. That gives us four more administration, bring these orgs back. You have government now. So all that's left is to get 250 intelligence. I can then take away these two, give you this one, which will grant you four more administration, then give you those two back. Because now you're government. Badass. I like it. Uh, let's augment her. I kind of feel like I need to give her command. The increased unrest thing, she's not very good at it. I could help her with that. But more administration with her would give her another... She's so stacked. She's so stacked. Wow. Just wow, man. She's so stacked. More influence. I really want to wait till this. The National Reconnaissance Office. It takes, takes 200 influence, though. American Mafia. Takes a pretty good assortment of things to get that. Uh, Bluesy, I think more admin for you. You're not really doing a whole lot for things that require command, and to be honest, with zero command, I'm probably never going to use increase unrest with you. I've got someone else for that now. Um, however, if I make you a media darling, ooh, you wait until forty. Make you a media darling. Plus three persuasion in nations where government is at least six. Is that government? What is that symbol? I really wish I could mouse over those symbols. Is greater than six? Is that what it said? This is just government, full democracy. Uh, I think that said greater than six, right? Is at least six. So plus three persuasion in the EU. That would be good. Negative four to espionage. When you're de when you're being detected by other counselors, adding this trait will also remove the counselor's opinion leader trait. What does the opinion leader do for me right now? All right, so it's not that big of an upgrade. So media darling would be giving us plus three. It would give us plus three influence, and then plus one persuasion only in that situation. It's actually not really worth the 40 experience to do that. Because if I add persuasion flat, it helps everywhere. Plus it adds to this number. And I feel like I should just add to that number instead. But if I add administration, I could get another org that could do the same thing. I'm going to go plus one persuasion instead on you, instead of media darling. It's more, it's more fitting universally. It'll, it'll work in more, more situations. Also, I have no use for North Korea at all anymore. So thank you for your time. Thank you for allowing me to launch your nuke. Uh, goodbye. No, uh, no need for you anymore. Goodbye. Okay. So now we have this. I have to Ready wonder if autos. Bean is going to be able to make a coup here. At your service. Not really. So you're telling me there is a chance. <laughs> no. No. Uh, we just need the people to be on our side. Like crazy over here. So we'll do the public campaign. We must persuade Again. The people. Ready to go. Let's do a hostile takeover from service. somebody. 
Might be able to get like this person's stuff. I don't know. Maybe we can get another org from somebody. Lucy, do we need to stabilize US again? Eh, yeah, we could. Restoring order. Agent Phantom, Here. let's investigate some mystery counselors. How about this guy? Tracking target. In Cambodia. Ready for my mission. Chicken, any chance at crackdown? Not really. What about in Russia? No. Seven percent on that one. Um, this one's unprotected, but they have so much influence here that cracking down on that is basically impossible. Uh, you can maybe get something in Sweden going. I want something that has boost income, and that's the European Union is what I'm focusing on because they got a lot. It's just I don't think there's any chance at getting this. There just isn't. We need the we need the public support to be so high here that crackdowns become incredibly easy as soon as someone doesn't defend it. We must persuade the people. How does it feel to have someone just running constant campaigns against you? How's that feel? Uh, does that feel good? Yeah, I know the feeling. But now the US is pretty stable, so. It's clearly ours, so. Wildfires in Canada, my God. <laughs> let it burn. <laughs> Just let it burn, man. Vancouver. Or it will cost us 20 ops. I'm gonna let it burn. Sorry, Canada. That ops is gonna become way too way too strong later. I'm gonna need it later. All right. Let's see where we are here. They will now serve us. All right. What do you got? I like these guys. Uh, that's a one star. I think she only has one administration right now. Unless we can find one of these that give administration, which oh my god. Putting that on Katie Cat would be insane. Yeah, so. Looks like I just want this. For the mission control. Plus one command. We could take the mission control. Mining output is always good to stack, though, but. The fact that this gives me mission control for one star, I feel like that's probably what I want to go for here. Yeah, we'll take we'll take that. Let's take it away from other nations. Tracking failed. Rolled a 98. I swear to God, this guy trying to investigate the counselors from this faction. I, I swear to God, I think he's turned. He consistently rolls 98.99 on trying to investigate this counselor. I think that faction turned him and he's just not allowed to investigate them. Abating. It's so weird. Public sentiment is I just feel like there's us. just no... Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Look at the EU now. The EU is our, is our bitch now. You can sign the one that gives plus 10 influence in the meantime. Wait, there's an org that gives plus 10 influence? Which one is that? Yeah, foreign intelligence service is, is pretty good. I want to get this. I really want to get this. 250 influence. And I can pop this on Bean. And we would just get so much cool stuff from that. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. FIS is gonna go to Bean when. Although I feel like I should probably stack command on you. I could give you this one actually. You don't have. You don't have these skills. You don't have detain counselor. You don't have surveil location. You don't have any of these skills. 
I think I'm going to give you this one in the meantime. That way you get that plus two investigation too. But I can always assign this one anyway because it grants administration. It will allow me to place this because as soon as it becomes in effect to use, it will be getting the administration anyway. I think it's time to get started on getting other counselors. Probably getting close to that time. Maybe we should re redirect science to be towards getting other counselors. I think I'm just going to forgive. I'm just going to do this. Like, the academy is, is hitting this really hard. They have 10,000 to do here. I'm just going to bog down their time on this. And um, just let them do this for a while. There's 10,000 research to do. Uh, this one, I'm pretty far ahead. So I can maybe wean off that a little bit. This one, I'm getting, I'm pretty far ahead there too. So we'll hit corridor uh, diplomacy a little bit harder. Standing and yes, yeah, uh, stabilization in the United States. Keep that going. Bean. Your orders. I don't need any more hostile takeovers. A coup is really hard. I'm going to science this. Agent Phantom. I want you to once again investigate this, this mystery counselor. That's an 89% chance. I, I keep hitting this one. And you keep rolling 98s, 99s. Eyes on target. You got to figure out who that is. And if you're going to do it again, that's just astronomically low odds of that happening. Increase unrest. Increasing unrest in the European Union is really likely. Wow. Let's do it. Let's make a... Oh, that's another way to get them out of there, right? We can just... Yeah. Yeah, dude. Let's just make a civil war in the European Union. That'll just take them out completely. We will bring it down. Yes, we will. Ready to go. Bring Stand it down. By. And... Yeah, just bring it down. Um, is there anything we need to defend? Nothing up there. Do I still own Turkmenistan? Where is it? I don't even know where it is now. I don't know where my Turkmenistan is. My geography. I thought it was over here somewhere. It's over here somewhere. I'm not. I'm not crazy. Here it is. Yeah, abandon this. I don't want this. Abandon that. And we can take control of another nation now because we actually have some leeway there. And again, like I think taking in control of the European Union is what I want to do. Imagine owning the United the United uh, uh, North America and the European Union. Nobody could stop us. Nobody could stop us. Hi, Samoka. How you doing, dude? Like, who needs to go out into space and do mining when I can just take control of every country? Ooh, interesting. So, we have a station here. We have a platform core station from the servants. And right next to that core, Victor 6. Which Victor 6, if you weren't aware, is... A, uh, a very large alien spacecraft. And it's just kind of hanging around that station. So evidence of their collaboration is starting to happen. There actually are quite a few ships that are just lingering in orbit here. I'm wondering about destroying my station, whether they're going to be doing that or not. I certainly, I certainly hope not. Uh, I'd like to get a Xenology lab going here. Um, the interesting thing about this is I can build it with no boost. Well, okay, I can build it with a really small amount of boost, looks like. Uh, because it doesn't take the noble metals. Now, it does take that to support it, but it doesn't take it to build it. I need a better power source, though. 
just need a better power source because I won't be able to do, have both of these. So I could, I just have to build another station and I don't want to do that. Like Xenology Lab here, I won't have enough power. And if I build another station in orbit, which is a good idea, but not before I have my infrastructure in place to expand. Where do you need me? 92% to raise unrest. I can't do a coup yet, but I mean, honestly, it might take care of itself. I think I will. I'm just gonna, yeah. Um, let's just make it horribly impossible for anyone to ever get this. I will try to sway the public at your service. And chicken, same thing here. Just, just go ahead and, again. I'm here. Chicken, go ahead and do that. Raise support. I will tell yeah, 92% chance to just increase unrest here in the EU. We're gonna get these, we're gonna get the EU to like clash and not be stable. And that, that problem will just solve itself. And then we might start working on Russia to do the same thing. Unless they give me a control point. Of interest, revealed. Okay. Aliens got too many stations, man. Maybe I do need to get ships. Maybe I do need to get ships. Yes, good. Now the European Union is in subversion. 2.1. It becomes increasingly easy to get a coup going. Unrest changes by per three investment points in military priority. They're not investing in military at all. So that's help that's not helping them. They should be investing in military a little bit there. Because they're not. Will come to our side. It's just gonna help me take control of that. Our causes unjustified to them. Yeah, 33% now here. Without having any control points, 33%. But that's my I think that's a good better play. Let's just make that thing do it. Uh resistance took North Korea. Fine. You can have it. Doesn't have any nukes anyway. Its population is destroyed. And it's still at war with Russia, so you have fun with that. <laughs> ah, okay, they're they're still succeeding. I need to do something about that too. Servants are still succeeding. So what have I missed? Anything exciting happen? We have a mining base on the moon. So we've successfully managed to start mining the moon. Allow me to demonstrate. I don't know why I don't just go up here. It's way easier if I just go to Habs. So this one's not running. Shackleton Crater is running, so this is operational now. Um, we have a mining base on the moon, and I believe we are still the only nation that does. Um, because... These guys have a hab and solar, so they're ready to do it, but they don't have the ability to do it yet. Same thing with the hand, no ability to actually mine that resource. Um, the resistance has an outpost that they're building on Mars instead. So they, they've opted to go for the Mars approach because I stole all the moon bases, basically, forcing them to make a really expensive trip it takes forever all the way up to Mars instead, which is great. We are also building a hab on Mars at the same time uh, in a strategic location that has the most uranium on Mars. So I'm taking the, the high uranium plot. Um, so that will be done in February of next year. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the only things to look at um the aliens have a ridiculous amount of bases they're they're setting up stations all over the place that looks like this um they got a base here on 
Triton, which is Neptune, one of Neptune's moons. I don't know what they're doing here, but they're doing stuff. Colony cord. They got lots of defense arrays, reactors. So there's that. Um, but again, everybody else's bases on the surface of the moon, they can't mine. And this is all part of the plan. I've been saying it since like we started is if I rob them of all the boost, they won't have the resources to build them. And so to build one of those mining bases, it's 56 and a half boost. So if I take a look at Intel, they have to have 56 and a half boost just for that one module. So if I take a look at all their boost, um, Protector has 48. They're the closest. And they are, they are solar ready and ready to rock on the moon. So if they can get to 56, they can build it. Um, Academy's at 28, 36, 25. But every once in a while, because their boost is four per month, which mine's nine and a half. If I can get the EU, um, my boost will be unstoppable. But if I can get the, uh, the nations that they control, which I kind of want to see that. Um, what do you control? Anybody know that? Investigate returned abductees. So that's your objectives. You're investigating the returned abductees. Uh, you are investigating alien abductees and salvaging alien technology. No known objectives from you. We actually don't know any of their counselors. Exodus is really good at evading me. I've been trying to meet just one of their counselors and I can't do it. Which is why I feel like, I feel like Agent Phantom was turned by Exodus. Because every time I go to investigate them, he rolls a 99. And he fails. So I'm gonna start having to do this with somebody else. Because pretty much the only unknowns left are Exodus. So I'm gonna start doing this with Caitlyn instead. Tracking target. Because I know she's not turned. Ready. And uh, we'll just keep hitting the EU here. Um, yeah, we'll just keep hitting the EU. We'll make to get our, our deal. to get our, our, our stuff up. We can try to increase on rest. He doesn't have command, and that's why it's really hard for him to do it. I'm not going to waste my time on that. I'm just going to do the campaign here. I will tell our story. Um, real quick, check me? on defense. Good, good, good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and keep hitting the EU. Because if I can control the EU, this is another seven mission control and another three and a half boost. Which is kind of nuts. I will try to sway the public. I wish What's I could figure all? out where where the protector is getting all their boost. It's not Finland. It's certainly not Russia. Russia's boost is actually quite pathetic. Um The Academy has India on total lockdown. Like there is no chance of getting into India. They have all control points, all secured. They have 87% public support. And they are not investing at all in Unity, so maybe, but that's pretty tough. Um, not a single nation has gotten into China. Still, no China for anyone. I find it to be remarkable. But yeah, I, I wish I could figure out where they're getting all their boost. I mean, I guess they're getting 1.2 from Spain. And there's a little bit of unrest here. I guess I could maybe try to mess with them a little bit. The government must fall. Try to mess with them. I mean, that's my play style, right? My play style for this this faction is mess with other people. I, I have like my own thing, but like I, I feel like the espionage game is the way to go here. I like that a lot. Um, I want to know what it takes to get. Covert operations. We should start working towards that, actually. Uh, let's see the full tree. Covert operations. Australia? For the boost? I don't think so. Um, so we have one prerequisite done. The other prerequisite for that is quantum encryption. Oh, that's what quantum encryption was good for. 
quantum computing. All right, well, maybe they'll go for quantum computing. But I mean, eventually somebody will, because they're going to want another agent. Like, nobody can get, right? If we, if we look at this, uh, no, look at this. Nobody can get this until covert operations are done. So, I mean, maybe they'll do it for me and I won't have to invest in it. Because eventually somebody's going to want to do that. All right. These guys are too good. Like, they're getting enough stuff done. I'm going to increase your chance of failure to 69%. And I'm also going to go shopping for your orgs. Mining output bonus. But it's two stars for that. It's a little expensive for what it does. Whoa, are you kidding me? A one-star org that gives four administration? Manticore Global. Hello, we're taking that from you. Um, Caitlin, forget that investigation. Progress. Oh, you're already mid-turn. It's fine, we'll do it. We'll do it next turn. A one-star org that gives four administration? I see no downsides of this. Evangelical leaders in the American South are calling on their flocks to support the ideology of the resistance. Polling indicates their followers are responding favorably. Interesting. Evangelical leaders. Yeah, good luck. Their polling numbers are up. Sure they are. Sure they are. Person of interest surveilled. Uh-huh. We know who that is now. We find him as the protectorate? Is that who that is? Where are you, Caitlin? No, where 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 are you? Where are you? Right? There. Is it Is this who it is? Really? Academy? Where is Exodus's servants? Where the hell is Exodus? They didn't already get out of Earth, did they? Maybe they're in space. Shit, they might be. Who knows? They might be in space. Molten salt battery. Hey, speaking of space. Hang on. This site at Prairie Crater. I want to see this site. All right, so Protectorate, right? They're going to build a mining outpost here. They're going to spend all their, bo their boost to do it. I think I let them do that, right? This was... I said this in the last stream. I think I let them do that, and then I go in and take their hab. Like, just let them... Let them do what they do. And then my undercover agent goes in there and takes their hab, and now I have it. Because Qu Prairie Crater uh, has volatiles, right? Oh, it doesn't. No, this has just the, yeah, no, never mind. It doesn't have volatiles. It has, it has the uranium, which is still good. Still good. People will come to our side. Great. Now the aliens have taken Pluto. We are winning their hearts and minds. We've moved the needle. <laughs> their government remains stable. Well, that was low odds of success anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have to keep at research on this, but we're looking pretty solid on this, so we can pull off a little bit there. Because the Academy's putting all their time into this one. They're not focusing as much on this one anyway, so I have an easier time winning this. And I need nuclear freighters to make this more expensive. Or, sorry, to make this cheaper. Gained a control point for the Protectorate in Portugal. So you guys have all of Portugal now. Okay. I think I need to get rid of 
Spain. Um, actually, if I take control of Spain, I just make it join the European Union. Then when I take control of the European Union, I'll have Spain. That'll be fine. Let's take control of the European Union. Purge humanity first. I don't know why you're trying that with 5%, but I mean, I guess I've thrown Hail Marys too, so I guess. I only suggested Australia because I don't see you look at it much. Um, I don't look at it much because it doesn't really matter for my purposes. Um, it does have some boost now, which to be fair, it didn't have that before. So it has boost now, so that makes sense. Um, but there's just a better target. Uh, Australia just has like, there's one mission control here and um, you know, one boost per month. There's just better targets. The EU is a much better target. There's 3.6 instead of one and seven instead of one. So it's, and, and plus this can also expand. So if I can get, you know, like, um, if we can get Spain to join the European Union after I take it, after I take it, yeah. Bum, get bum, us. Bum, 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 bum. No chance at crackdown. We could take Portugal, have them join the European Union. There's very basically no boost income here. Come on, let me into Russia. Hey, there we go. Russia's already cracked. Hold on, chicken, can you purge? 12%. Who can purge this? Ready for orders. Who's got a good chance at purge here? Where to? 9% on the purge for Russia. 55% if I give you all my all my influence. But I don't want to give you that much influence because I want to get that org. Speaking of which, I can get the org. <laughs> like, let's do that first. Uh, it was... Which one was I going to give you? Not this one. It was FIS. Where'd it go? Somebody else take it. Frick, somebody else took FIS. I need to figure out who took FIS and take it back. Let's actually look at that. All right, um, we know where all you guys are, so let me see what you have. Anybody have FIS here? Thing is, I can't see all your orgs. I want to see all your orgs. Nice engineering group, Emerald Industries. Wait, I want to take this one. Polis Financial Group from Wayu. Chicken. Reporting in. Hostile takeover from Wayu. Wei Wu. Wei Wu. Really? You can't? Why? She has 24 administration. All right. Caitlin. Caitlin. Ready for my mission. Detain Wei Wu. We're taking her. We'll bring them in. We're going to go take her Ready shit. For orders. Chicken. For orders. Um, I think the hostile takeover actually happens after the detain. I believe it happens after the detain. So if I give you a bunch of money, once she's detained, this should have a lot higher odds of happening. So we'll attempt it anyway, even though it says zero. Targeting enemy arcs. Because as soon as she's Reporting detained, I think that the odds on that work can go way up. Standing by. Um, I also think I should investigate her a little bit. Might be able to turn her. No. No, probably not. We could steal a project. Let's see if we can steal one of their research projects. Tabbing their knowledge. I'm not sure what else they have, Ready but they've for my mission. been Stay ahead high. of us for a little bit, so it's that's worth it. And then Bean, I don't think I want to assault anything without protecting you, so never mind. I need to figure out who the hell has FIS. It's gonna be a really tough task Please to find. Keep me safe. I think I want to take from Tula. 
too, too expensive. Which one of you took it? Hmm? Which one of you took it? One of the unknowns. Might be one of the unknowns. Let's see if we can figure out who these unknowns are. My god, it's taking forever. Let's track them down and figure out who they are. Ready to go. Uh, bluesy. You can't increase unrest very well. It's just not in your nature. Keep, keep our support higher in the EU. The EU is my new target for world domination. If you're just joining us, the EU was formed. Uh, not completely, but... Ooh, I, I just lost a lockdown on this. It's still very hard because of my support, but I need to defend this. I left it unprotected. We got some intel on our target. What a noob move. They slipped away. I swear to God. 95%. Data acquired. All right, let's steal Nerva Drive. Propellant materials per tank, 10 water. The hydrogen propellant. Nuclear engine for rocket vehicle applications, solid core fission design. Suitable for interplanetary journeys. Solid core fission reactor. Uh, this is a ship component. Adapted nu nuclear power plant. Operates at around 2,500 degrees Celsius. Let's take the Nerva Drive. Critical success. We might need that to go out when we go out there to. Um, you know, mine from asteroids and stuff. We we might Our need stuff like that. Justified to that. <laughs> just ninety eight percent. I swear to God. We're just failure after failure after failure on that man. It's wild. Is there any way to see a list of all nations, where you can filter and sort them by their stats of attributes? Yeah. this uh investigating alien to be complete yeah click this right and if i want to sort it by you know boost i can do that so this is the leading boost nations um if i control them i can dictate what they do uh but there's just a huge big list like this uh so yeah okay Portugal and Canada. Sorry, I'm gonna own you anyway. Eventually, I'll own you anyway. Uh, I want to make sure that we protect our own stuff here. So I think I'm gonna have Ready. chicken. Um. I still wanna purge. I still want to take a control point in, in Russia. It's just really hard to do without any influence there. Perhaps we can instead attempt to control, to get a little bit of, eh. eh, I don't want China. I don't want it. Exodus is getting a little bit of a presence here too. You can investigate your own counselors to see their true loyalty. Yeah, I've done that a few times. It, it wears off to the point where then you start getting question marks anyway. Um, but yeah, I've done that a few times. All right, tell you what, let's have Chicken go ahead and defend US for now. Making things safe for our people. Reporting it. Bluesy's got 20. And. Extract counselor. Pretty sure that counts against your command. Right? 
Yeah. So I don't want you to have it. Um, I want someone with high command to have it. It could work for you, but you can't have it because you don't have enough. Uh, you don't have enough administration left. I was going to give you FIS. I don't know who has FIS anymore. Chicken can almost have another point. God, you're so stacked. Bluesy, I think I'm, uh, I'm just gonna up your persuasion more. I guess I could start giving you command. Because right now that increase on rest thing is really useless. If I start giving you command, it would help that to be something that we could actually do. Um, your ability to turn counselors is also pretty good. Maybe I will start giving you command. It's, it seems like a waste, though. The next counselor could have a ton of it and just like focus it, you know? Yeah, forget it. I'm going. I'm going persuasion anyway. I'd rather have specialists than everyone be okay at everything. I'd rather have people who are like designated to be really good at certain various things. Your orders. My orders are you figure out who the hell this person is. 50%, 50%, wow. Never mind on those. Uh, any chance at a coup? No. No chances. No dice. Sabotage facilities. Helsinki launch facility. There's zero chance of anything happening here. Can't sabotage anything. I'd like to get in there and sabotage something in India. Yeah, there's no chance at all at this. Wow. Never mind. That seems like a pretty useless skill if everything's going to be zero. We can increase unrest. Um, so far, it's 1.4 in Spain. I'd like to... No, let's just keep hitting the EU. We will bring it down. Yeah, we'll Your keep hitting orders? the EU Your uh, with that. I will try so we can take over. Um, I don't want to detain anyone. I want to defend. That's good. Uh, this is crackdown. We could get a crackdown on this. Yep, 70%. 286. Caitlyn, I'd like you to detain somebody. Way woo. She's way too strong, man. Let's see if we can get her 81%. I want to steal her orgs. 24 admin. Jesus. 24 admin is... It's pretty serious. I think I'll detain her and then execute her. I'll just detain her until I can take her orgs away and then execute her. Because I just... I, I need her gone off the board. She's too strong. He's helping protect her at too much doing what she's doing. How sure are we of Agent Phantom's loyalty? Does he need to be replaced? I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I don't... I think he's okay, but I don't know that he is. It's just that every time he goes to investigate one of these mystery counselors, he's rolling a 99. It just seems really unlikely that that is something that's by chance. And so I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe he got turned by Exodus. And that he is not allowed to investigate those counselors, right? Like, the Exodus is, is not allowing him to investigate them, right? But I, I don't know that. I, maybe that's not a thing, but it just seems like that's something that could be a thing. Target in a secure location. All right, we are going to keep her detained indefinitely until we steal her orgs that matter and then They're execute her. Their hearts She's too dangerous to be kept alive. We've neutralized their key people. The revolution is coming. Yes! The European Union... Yes, subversion is taking place. Oh boy. Still not investing in military, eh? 
not gonna get cracked down. And I have really good presence there now too. So I'm probably gonna take control of the EU. Um, so once we merge this, that will free up a lot of this. And then we can spend that on the EU. So we'll have this as well as the European Union. And then we can start taking these nations like Spain, Portugal, etc. Pretty much anything that says European Union underneath it. We can start taking them and getting them to join the EU. And if we can get them to join it, you know, then they just become part of the EU like this nation here did. Right? There's already a few nations that have joined. Um, but we can get more. That removes a lot of power from them. I mean, that's a lot of boost. That's a lot of science. That's a lot of everything. So, um, I wasn't aware that Germany can't join the EU. I wasn't aware of that. Isn't Germany part of the EU? Are they, like in real life, aren't they, aren't they part of the EU? I'm gonna get a drink of water really quick. It's really fast. Let's, let me go get water. I'll be right back. Germany is EU in real life? I, th I thought so. The game's not letting me join them, though. Or at least the game doesn't say that they're... Maybe unify at first, though? Why? Is it not unified? I mean, there's two sections, but... I mean, there's multiple sections in pretty much any kind. Like, look, look, look at Russia, you know? It's just a regional thing. But yeah, we'll have to look at that. Uh, so we cracked down Canada. Prepping I think I'm just going to go ahead and take Canada. I think I'll go ahead and take Canada now. Like, get get that one marker out of there. and um, Because they do have the science, and there's there's a mission control point that I don't have. So I think the hand is, actually has one of those points. I'm going to... Well, not anymore, because I cracked them down. But I think they had one. So let me make sure that they don't get that. Probably should investigate the aliens a bit more than what we're doing. Our mission kind of requires us to know what they're up to. We can't really have dominating power if we still don't have technological superiority. So that's a, that'll be a bit of a problem. Um, uh... 97% to purge for Bean. So we'll take that. We're taking power. So we'll take Canada fully now. And then we'll work on EU still. Uh, I want to go ahead and get unrest to grow in the EU. Here we go. Paris. 84% seems fine to me. To bring it all down. There's all that Ready. stuff I needed. Um, we have 56 boost. So, let's get ready to take our, our mining base, right? For our volatiles. And I think we'll keep the public campaign going there. I will tell our story Agent Phantom, at your let's service. try this again. I work for you now. Are you going to roll another one? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight counselors we haven't heard of yet. And we know nothing about Exodus. We have not yet met a counselor from Exodus. So this one's 98%. Investigating target. Ready go to get go. it. I'm gonna have Phantom trying to figure out who all the counselors are. And if he continues to roll 99s, I'm gonna say he's busted. Cause there's just no way. It's it's just mathematically impossible. All right, impossible is a very strong word. It is mathematically, I 
think mathematically impossible is probably an accurate statement. If you have a, to, to, to hit 99% on a roll that could be anywhere between one, I mean, imagine you have a D100. You have a D100 and you roll 99 six times in a row. The odds of that happening are so out there that it's mathematically impossible. Like it's just, it's unfeasible, inconceivable. It's, it's inconceivable that that would happen. So if, if, if he rolls 99s over and over again like that, he's busted and we need to get rid of him and replace him so that we are not compromised. Unfortunately, sorry, Phantom. So I wanna see you become successful I want to see you become successful. I do. So please, please do that. Please become successful. Uh, can we crack anybody down? We can crack down points in Mexico, but my God, it doesn't matter because once we reunify all of this, Mexico goes away and it becomes mine. Me. Leaving the control point open. That's surprising. Um, Purge in Russia? No. Small chance. Targeting the opposition. 9% chance. Purge it. Please keep me safe. Come on. Who's got this? Is it you? I want Penglai Penglai energy. Manticore Global. This is the one I wanted. Shoot. Where do you need me? Caitlin, can you do this instead? Can we do a hostile takeover? I want Manticore Global. That's such a good org. Do that instead. I know orcs. you wanted to raise unrest, but do that instead. Manticore Global is so good. It's a one-star org that gives you four administration. It's just nuts. It should be two, but it's not. And we're gonna take it away from her. Because we can. We've got some intel in our target. All right, all right. So that's an academy person. So it, it doesn't go with my theory still. Still an academy person. Still don't know anything about Exodus. All right, we just completed corridor diplomacy. This gives us uh, cooldowns on improving relations between nations reduced by 20% following diplomatic events we initiate. And we increase our control point management by 10. So we can now afford to have Canada and start looking at the EU. Um, I now want to do... Uh, let's do alien methods so we can start detecting these things. I, I think I need to start focusing a little bit more on aliens here. Um, I'm kind of dropping the ball on that. Uh, we can't lose this, right? Yeah, we can't lose that, so let that go. Uh, and then we can't lose this one yet, but it's possible we lose it later. Um, I'm going to go full speed ahead on these. Org acquired. Manticore Global. I'm taking this one. Unless there's something better. Hang on. They got a lot of orcs. And it's really easy to steal hers because she's our undercover agent. I think she puts in a good word for us. Uh, output mining, mining output's good, but it's two stars. Nios technology. I still like this one. Now, Manticore Global is sick. So confirm that. She just has it now, right? Yeah. So she'll get this, and then she'll have four. And then now she can get the... Oh, yes! We can give her NRO. And Secret Service. I think NRO is better. Yeah. So this gives us boost, plus the... The investigation skill. My God, it's just this woman... This woman is insane. Very important that we don't lose her. 
Talk about having all your eggs in one basket here. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to have both of these, to be honest. They're both pretty good. Secret Service is good. I think I'm giving you an RO. That boost income is good. I mean, this is more than most nations. Lots of investigative skill. And uh, you get two control points. Uh, surveil location is something you already have. I'd really like if I asked more. That negative 200 money is a little bit of a concern, but I have more money. Is there ways to increase your agent's loyalty? Yeah, inspire them, which is actually a skill I still don't have. I don't think I have inspire still. Which is kind of a problem. <laughs> I still don't have it. <laughs> I mean, you know. I probably should give this one to somebody else, too. Um, because... Um, extract Counselor. We only have one agent that has Extract Counselor as an ability. And so getting this on a second one would be good. Because otherwise, if that's the one that gets taken, we can't extract. I think that counts against command skill, right? Yeah. So I could give this to her. But if I do that, then I can't have both of these. I can't have both of them anyway. I want the boost, though. I'm going to give it to her. She's going to have the NRO. Which is so wickedly cool. She can actually have this, though. I can give her both. I can give her both. I will give her both. There you go. <laughs> She's so stacked. Oh my god. Caitlin, you're like an all-star. We've moved the needle. Caitlin's an all-star. Let's hope she never gets taken. Or assassinated or anything. Like I I got 12 security on her. I need probably need to up her security. Our associates are now in charge. All right, we purged from Canada. I thought we purged. I thought the purge in, in Russia was good. I'm like, no way. I had a really low chance of success. 11%. Our enemies are still in yeah, control. that didn't work. That's fine. <sighs> okay, so with 61 boost, the question becomes now, what do we do with it? Do I take... Do I go to, moon, to the moon? Let me go to the Habs here. Do I take my my extra boost that I have and start building on the moon again to get the more Imbrium? I, I need to get the Volatiles, right? Or I could just keep that there doing nothing right whatever and instead go to Mars how much boost would it be to start my base here because there's actually a lot more stuff here so right now resistance is simply building their core right that's the only thing that's happening and my core is currently under construction as well. If I wanted to start building an outpost here, a mining outpost, it would take 193 boosts. Okay, so I can't do that. So it's better for me, it sounds like it's better for me to use the boost in, in Luna and then send materials here because to get the outpost mining complex built. Oh, interesting. Oh, I can build this in space with 21 boost. I don't need volatiles for that, but I won't be able to power it because the solar collector, the solar collector also doesn't take it. Whoa. Uh, yeah. 
We don't need volatiles for this. Outpost mining complex. Current under construction power modules will not generate enough electricity. Oh, it's a solar collector. That's right. It's only going to produce three power. Oh, shoot. That's a misclick. Um. All right. Tell you what. Right. The only purpose of this base is... The only purpose for this base is mining, right? Um, because it's it's the solar is further away from... It's, it's further away from the sun. So it's, it's not generating five. It's generating three. So what we do is we just take another solar collector... Put it on the other side and then the outpost mining still says it won't why hold on this only takes it takes nine power are you kidding me <laughs> okay we take another solar collector <laughs> put it in space and then this one can go there thank you <laughs> crazy all right good so we will begin mining on we will begin mining on mars before anyone that's that's great that's going to take over a year but that base will give us the volatiles that we need um, and a whole lot more. It's gonna give us uranium. It's not gonna give us the noble metals though. We still don't have the nobles. Uh, but this is where the, the power plant thing would be working better, right? Because we would be able to power it easier that way. Um, so now we're left with 30, 30 boost. And uh, I think maybe I take Olympus Mons. I mean, it's a lot of volatiles. Actually, it's, it might still be better to take. It may it may still be better to take this uh, Temple Terra because the difference in the difference that it gives me with volatiles is pretty small. Um, we don't get nearly as many noble metals though. But if I took Olympus Mons, I would be good for a very long time. And founding that outpost and taking Olympus Mons off the board for anyone else is still pretty good, I think. It would really reduce Noble Metals for everyone else. I think I like that idea. Taking the Noble Metals away from everyone else. I think I'll take Olympus Mons. Okay, we're gonna claim that. I might not work it, but at least I claim it, and so no one else can have it, which locks down 7.3 uranium, which is the biggest source of uranium in this in this area. I think it's the biggest source of uranium between here and Mars. Like, I don't think there's anything else that's better than that by any means. So, um, that's just simply the best uranium source. At least, you know. Until you get further out, away from, you know, further out away from Earth. But yeah. So, okay, good. So, that's it. That's all we want. I think I'm going to use some more mission control since I have 14 boosts left. And everything's kind of in place the way I want it anyway. Um, I think I'm going to find another platform around Earth. And I think we'll go low Earth orbit 2. Yeah, I think we'll go low Earth orbit too. And we'll found this. And we're gonna take and put in a solar collector, which is gonna bring 10 energy as opposed to three on Mars. Wow, that's a big difference. Okay, um, we can build this in space too because it does not require, it does not require nobles. I thought it did. Support cost does, but Apparently none of this stuff requires noble metals or noble uh, volatiles. Sorry, volatiles. I thought solar collectors required noble metals, but they don't. So we'll build that. Then we want to go ahead and get a Xeon, Xenology lab, <laughs> whatever the hell it's called. Um, we want this. This takes five energy, I think. Five energy. And then we want another thing that takes less energy. Um, we already have, I think we already have a life science. What do we have on the other station? 
I know we don't have one of those, but I want to know what we have on the other station. Uh, it would be this one. We have a science, space science lab and a materials lab. Space science lab and materials lab. Okay. Leif Erikson station. Love it. Uh, so on this side, or maybe this side, it doesn't really matter. Um, I kind of like the shape of that. I think I'm going to take the life science lab here. Although... Social sciences... Plus one strength to all our public campaign missions. Plus one strength to all public campaign missions. I'll do that instead. Okay, good. So, we're using that boost, man. No one else can do this. We're the only ones that can. And you know what? I'm gonna do again. We're gonna do another platform. And I think we might go another low Earth orbit too. Can I can I do it in both spots or no? Is it possible to have two platforms in the same? I never tried. It's gonna let me, so I feel like it will. Um, going this far out just takes more. I'm not sure what what would be the benefits. Anyone who plays this game, what are the benefits for going further away from Earth? Like why do that? Why would I? Why, what what's the meaning of that? Yeah, we took Olympus Mons, yep. And then once we're done mining in on that, that spot on Mars, once we're up and running on that spot on Mars, we're going to have all those resources really local right there. We can then build on Olympus Mons using the resources instead of the boost. I mean, we'll need some of it probably, but, you know, most of it is there. I say start trying to get ships. Can't profit off of Earth if it gets surrounded by aliens and... Base Delta zeroed from orbit. I don't know if it will or not, yeah. Space docks for bigger ships, I don't know. I'm looking for people who play the game. If there's anyone who plays the game that's in the chat, I realize there's not a lot of people here, but um, if there's anyone in the chat that plays this, what's the advantage of going out here? Because I feel like just having low Earth orbit is better. This says interface, and I don't know what that means either. Like, I don't know what interface is. So, that's another thing that I have to figure out. But I might just do another one in low Earth orbit 1, because I have so much mission control, I can deal with that. So, I might find another platform here in low Earth orbit. So, now there's uh, Ban Chao Station in low Earth orbit. And once again, we do a solar collector. And uh, at that point, I think I want to get a life science lab. And then I can get another another social science lab because I think that stacks. Adds plus one strength to a maximum of nine. If the module is an interface orbit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so interface orbit matters. Investments in military, life science. I can do a space dock. Basic assembly platform for interplanetary spacecraft. Also functions as a supply depot and launches probes. I want this. I want this. Probably not enough power. Let's see how much it needs. Space dock requires 10 power by itself. Okay, space dock goes here. Solar collector goes there. Now we have ourselves a space dock. Needed another station anyway. There you go. Oh, yeah, baby. And we still have boost left over. I love it. This is where we snowball. Like I said, this is where we snowball. You get those things mining and then you just snowball. Alien asset. Let's go ahead and uh, take this out. It's in uh, Porto Alegre. We're going to give you 77% chance on the asset. Heading to the LZ. Then Ready I want Caitlyn to go Stacking and protect by. target 
and I want you to go and protect him. Here. Go protect Sean Bean. Um, this applies the security or command attribute uh, to a targeted counselor, region, or hab against physical attacks or other operations will also prevent counselor from dying on failed assault missions. If he die, if if the assault mission fails, he won't die as long as Caitlyn is protecting him. So I'll keep them safe. That's At where she's service. gonna go. Cause I'm only giving him 77% chance to succeed. Chicken man! Oh, the chicken man can. The chicken man can. I don't know what kind of what kind of orgs you have, but I'm gonna try to take one. Bluesy. 45% to take the unrest to the next level. Wow. I will give it to you. 80%. Asian Phantom, continue trying to find out these counselors. The one in Moscow. Continue finding out. 96% chance. We'll see. And that is that. So many things done that turn. Feeling good about it, gotta say. Feeling mighty good about it. I didn't even protect this. That's how good I feel about that. Aliens are getting more and more stations. I probably should start looking at ships. They're just they're stations everywhere, man. Protect target mission complete. I am now protecting Sean Bean from enemy operations. Good. We'll see if the assault is successful. We're also going to want to know what's going on over here. The megafauna. 24%. It's better for the security in case of orbital strike or attack. You can prepare the crews quickly, but more distance, more is the cost of transporting. Wait, how does being further away help me help me for the security? I'm confused. Uh, now we can attack. Now we can detect alien contacts with humans because alien methods is done. Objective complete. We have completed the research alien methods objective. So this is. This is more towards canon. This is more towards what our agency is supposed to be working on to win the game. I was supposed to do this a long time ago, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Early abductions were all of lower order mammals, unremarkable except for their frequency. Over a period of 10 or 20 days after the crash landing, animal abductions ceased and human abductions began. Early human abductions appear to have been random and opportunistic but later ones have included a statistically disproportionate number of individuals with high socioeconomic status, suggesting the aliens have adapted their methods and are now solely concerned with acquiring high value targets. Unfortunately, the most likely explanation for this behavior is that the aliens' intentions toward us are hostile. Intelligence gathering at least and hostile takeover or extermination at worst. Given their technological superiority, this is a worrying prospect. Okay. So we're worried on that, and if we're gonna maintain our power, we're gonna have to do something about it, right? If it's all about maintaining power, we're gonna have to do something about that. So a new objective is investigate the returned abductees. A new and significant development, abduction victims reported missing having, uh, reported missing have begun to reappear. This is highly suspicious, and the council has agreed that they must be placed under immediate surveillance. We need to perform surveil location missions in areas with a suspected alien presence and uh, send counselors to investigate alien activity missions when we discover evidence that alien uh, influence on the population or leaders. Okay. So that's our campaign objectives. Salvage alien technology, research their origins, and investigate their abductees. In addition to wanting world domination. Of course. Obviously, it's, I'm not gonna give that up. But we can't dominate the world if the aliens come in and take it over and wipe us out too. So there's there's a little bit there to be said about, you know, trying to, to do that. Uh, why won't it go? Can't go. Oh, right, the engineering project. Um, 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 alien flora? Nerva Drive, the thing we stole. Supply Depot. This thing takes noble metals to construct in space. 
uh, places our ships and takes propellant. I mean, we don't have ships yet, but maybe we could get some. You know? How are we going to say we control everything if we don't have warships? Uh, I don't know, man. How about the energy lab? Takes eight power for this. Hmm. Wasn't I going after something specific before? Institutional outreach is cool because we get new orgs every month. But I've kind of already been doing most of the orgs I need at this point. If I need more orgs, I'll just steal them. Management control point research could be good, but it's very expensive. Let me see what else to put in here. Quantum computing was that thing I was looking for before. Um, we're already working on that, so no big deal. Uh, to get poultry. Takes a bit to load. So quantum computing. So once we get that, we're going to want to get... It's down here, I thought. Covert operations. Okay. So, oh, don't do that to me. Quit it. Hate that so much. You need to fix that. Um... I'm not sure what to direct my research towards next. This is engineering too, so it's specific to me. Identic force manipulation. Already working on great nations. Give me the full tree. I can't see engineering stuff if I do this. I wish when I went to select engineering stuff for the tech tree, it would show me engineering tech tree. It doesn't show me that right away. The Orion Drive. Nice. Automated mining complex? What does that do? What does the automated mining complex do? How is it bit how is it better than what I already do? It's like an all one unit kind of thing? Uh I mean maybe. Could be could be cool. Applied artificial intelligence. Advanced neural networks. Looks like it'll be something that's very useful. Advanced neural networks. I think we'll go for that for now. It's kind of it's kind of a prerequisite for everything. Advanced neural networks. Not in my list. Another one of those things not in the list. Alright, well um let's investigate the floor really quick. It's very fast. We'll just do that really quick and um then we'll wait for some of this other stuff to happen. Unity movements. We're ahead on that, but I think they're catching up. I'm going to push this there, and we're letting that one go. Okay. I have new information. Good. Asset acquired. We are going to steal some, some, more, some more stuff. Uh, this is chicken. Chicken gets this. Pretty much anything that raises administration, I'm going to take it. It bonus if it does something else aside from that. doesn't help me okay um output mining bonus could be cool um just to keep snowballing that it's hard to tell which one i'd want here economy and spoils is up they're not they're not that great these aren't that remarkable but luckily they're only one star Yeah, they're only one star, so I guess we'll take the, uh, take one of these for the mining output. Death to tyrants. Unrest is up. Unrest is going up again in the EU. Oh boy. Strange behavior. We have new reports of returned adoptees in the Lima region of Peru. The relatives say that they are behaving strangely and saying that the aliens are peaceful and that they're here to help humanity. Uh-huh. Fellow citizens. We join you here today on the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Where 
we honor and thank the elders for the gifts they bestow upon us. Analysts believe this is a sign that aliens are attempting to gain influence by shifting public opinion in favor of the servants. We are going to put a stop to that. Going to go ahead and investigate that, though. We can't have the world thinking the servants are great. Target destroyed. Good. Got rid of their compound on the, on the Earth. What we want to do. Get rid of those compounds. Hey, humanity first. You want to, like, hop two? Take out those tar- Oh, wait. You, you can't, because I've been preventing you from researching weapons? Okay. Maybe I should let them do it. Let them research what they want, so they're more capable of fighting the aliens. I mean, after all, if the aliens are too strong because I made the factions that are actively fighting them militarily weaker, you see what I'm saying? Maybe it's not in my best interest. Maybe I should let humanity first get some weapons. You know what I mean? Not just about me. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the top dog, right? But the, the, my subordinates need to be able to do their jobs. Humanity first is not my subordinate. I made them my bitch. Uh, you know, they're battling here. They're doing okay. This megafauna, it's, um, you know, it's 20% life left. It's not great, but it's all right. Um, we need to go to Peru. So Caitlyn can now assault a new alien asset. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, actually, I kind of like that, that combo we just did. Where Bean goes in and assaults the asset with his awesome ops skill. Let's say 85%. Gear up. What's and the Caitlyn Don't will go ahead and protect out. him. Acknowledged. Uh, protect Sean Bean. That's right, exactly. On guard. So that he can't die. I'm here. That's fine with me. Where to? Um, Ready for orders. Agent Phantom, I'm going to have you investigate the, Yeah, that, that abduction. That's part of the, the mission, the so the go ahead and investigate that. Chicken Man. I want to take anything else from these people. You took their org, but you can't use it. <laughs> well, I can give you more administration skill, which is probably what I should do. There you go. Now you can use it. Uh, or, second thought, I could try to find a different one that's more suited to your skill set. Like this one. Fifth column. Uh, I just need to have more influence, and I can give you this one instead. That's a much better one for you to have. We'll try to get you fifth column instead. Um, but in order to do that, I'll have to get rid of one of these other ones. Ugh, these are all mission control, except this one. This one gets you public campaign, though. You won't have public campaign anymore? Ugh. No, I think we'll just keep investing in... Uh... Just keep investing in administration with you, I guess. Bean's got an upgrade put this on him, I guess. kind of want you to have more command skill. If I make you into like a military commander kind of thing, this seems better to me. Just give you a lot of command and let you run nuts with it, you know? But again, if I can get an agency that gives you command, that's better. Like this gives you command and it gives you the extract counselor. It takes 150. And it's two, not one. Darn. Well, I think we'll, I'll, I'll give you the command skill. Because we're doing a lot of checks like that on that. Um, for you, if I go with administration, you can have another org. Another good org. And then I can give you one of these. Nice. Uh, I already have public campaign. Output mining bonus isn't as good as the other ones, though. This gives you investigation skill. Um, it also gives you the detain counselor skill, which gives me two people that can detain. I kind of like that. And raises your investigation up. Okay. 
we will make that a thing for you. So in that case, chicken man, can you crack anyone down? I mean, you could just crack down North Korea just to do it. Or, now they're pretty well protected. Well, this one's not. I suppose there's really low odds to purge here, though. I could try it, 13%, who knows. It's just gonna cost me influence, and I'd rather not do that right now, right? Now, we'll just do public campaigns instead. Maybe we'll um, try to tell our story in Moscow for a little bit. Linking our keys. That's fine. For now. How does this counselor... How does this counselor be in 2025 with seven orgs, one of which is Templin, and still have no stat above eight? What do you mean? Hmm? Which one are you talking about? Which counselor has no stat above eight? Templin Institute? What's wrong with the Templin Institute? You got something against the Templin Institute? <laughs> I know it's not the greatest. I'm not really concerned about it though. Hi. <laughs> Chicken man. Yeah, what about him? What's wrong with him? It's for for investigation skill. What should I give him something different? Huh? Is there something better for him? He's been doing a hell of a job. Templin has been a long-term supporter. Oh, it's really good? That's your point? Oh, okay. Is it really good? Okay. I was concerned. I was like, man, have I been missing out on an opportunity here? Should I be kicking Temple into the curb? What's going on here? <laughs> I would kind of like to know the absolute loyalty for everybody, you know? I still do not have a counselor with the uh, Inspire skill. I still don't have it. I need to get it. Um... That's either going to happen here, or I'm still looking for an organization that grants it. Because I still don't see an organization that's granting it to me. I need that Inspire skill. All right, she's going to protect Bean while he assaults the alien base. He's got 100% chance on that investigation. Bean's got 88% on that assault. That'll be good for us. Information is our greatest weapon, bar none. If we know enough about what we're fighting and where, we can win wars before even a single shot has been fired. Commander Fiona Ayawade, data in the shadow of war. Okay, so I forget which direction I was going with the augmented reality, so let me take a look at the tech tree really quick here. Um... So augmented reality was on our path towards great nations, I thought. Um, no. I, I've got like three different overall missions. And I've been controlling science output for those missions. And now I've forgotten which one this goes to. It's been a while. Um, oh, don't do that. Quit it. Damn game. Every time you're in the full tech tree and you just let it load and then you just accidentally click on like the edge of a window or something and it completely takes you out of it uh let's see let's see let's see so we did augmented reality just now it goes to augmented learning but i thought it was something else mobile science lab i think that's where the course i needed to take was so we need space research then the mobile science lab then advanced pro prospecting surveys. It was all through the industrialization of space. It was all part of that tree, I thought. Yeah. Because I was trying to get here. Because I'm the only one mining, so I want to really influence everyone to be able to do that. So I think space research is the next one, followed by mobile science lab. Yeah. Space research and then mobile science lab. I'll never remember that second one, but get it. Uh, space research right there. 
pump that up a little bit. See how many people want to try to take it from me. Yeah, go. Okay, people are right on my ass on that. So, we might have to put extra points in that over there. Wait, the devs really added the Templin Institute as a corp? Isn't that a YouTube channel? Yeah, so if you're a if you're a big backer, um, if you're a, a big backer on Kickstarter, you could add things like that into the game if you wanted to. Um, that's why Priority Point exists. It's the only point of interest on Cupid, which is an asteroid that's really close to Uranus. It's a Cupid, God of Love. Next to Uranus, and on that on that Cupid is a, a spot called Priority Point. That's me. You can put stuff in the game when you back it on Kickstarter. It's an excellent source of resources, by the way. You should check it out. You should make your make a trip to Uranus one of these times. Check it out. It's really far away. Probably not convenient to go to. But hey, we got some excellent coffee. Great. I don't even drink it because I don't like coffee, but I hear it's, from those who like it, I hear that it's, it's pristine. Definitely top tier, S tier coffee by Uranus. Uh, we are now able to undertake the augmented combat training project. National investment points directed to military. This is all things about armies, which is like kind of fine, whatever. Maybe we'll do army stuff. The people will come to our side. Dude, you had a critical success in Russia? They, you rolled a zero? How did you do that? That is a huge bump. Holy shit. You went, we went from 8% to 22. That was insane, chicken. Man, you have some real good charisma, I'm telling you. You deserve a raise, Mr. Executive. That was insane. Well done. Uh, augmented learning project. Yeah, we'll go in it. It's fine. Their government remains stable. I didn't think it was going to work, but I had to try it. 13%, man. Whatever. Hail Mary. It cost me two... Like, it cost me four influence. Fine. The LZ is secure. Nicely done, Bean. Phantom? It's 100% for Phantom, so... Report when my mission is complete. Yeah, he's not gonna... Objective complete. We have completed the investigate returned abductee's objective. We now have multiple independent reports that the returned abduction victims are spying on high-level government, military, and economic affairs. Countries are being targeted indiscriminately, without concern for political stances or alliances. None of the returned abductees had any history of espionage or political activity. With our assistance, local police have intercepted and detained several ad abductees in the middle of these missions. Even under harsh interrogation, they have without exception refused to divulge any explanation for their behavior. Their loyalty to their new monster masters, sorry, Freudian slip, is striking. The uh, alien act acti uh, ability, sorry, uh, to control their human subjects, for they are clearly behind this is both impressive and frightening. How are they doing it? Is this some function of their advanced technology? Whatever the answer is, our position appears grim. We need to learn more and quickly. Who knows how far the alien's influence has already spread without our knowledge? Research alien operations projects. Well, I mean, I can do that. After I learn about their flora, that's an interesting thing. 99%. But this is the other guy, not me. Na -na, na -na. That's an interesting thing. Like, so they're able to control their subjects, like mind control, right? I'm wondering, this is, and again, I've never played this faction. I know nothing of the future, and I really don't want any, you know, spoilers, um, especially on main faction stuff. But... I'm wondering if there is something to that. Mind control. I mean, 
if we're trying to take over the world and be, you know, as much as powerful as possible, which I think we're doing a hell of a good job, by the way, of that. Uh, that is, of course, until the aliens' military comes in and starts blowing up all my shit, and I can't defend it. Uh, you know, there's that possibility. But I think maybe there's something to that when it comes to uh, mind control. Like maybe we can use that to our advantage. I don't know about like mind controlling the aliens, but if we can figure out how they're doing it, right? Just like XCOM Psy Soldiers, where we can take control, like we can learn that. It, if we can turn that on its head, maybe we can control alien stuff in, in the future. I don't know. It's uh, not an unreasonable possibility for our future as our as the Illuminati. If we see all, hear all, right? Uh, how are we doing on this? Are we able to make a coup here yet? Where do you need me? Come on now. The EU can't be that stable. They're in strife. Standing by. Boy, oh boy. They are... They're starting to put a little bit of points into unity now. They weren't before. Now they are. Okay. Your orders? Ready for orders. Standing by. Let's get some ops on that. It's not likely. I'd rather take one of those counselors. Did you get FIS? No. This is cool. Laguna Foundation looks really nice. You've got some good stuff. It would be a shame if somebody just, you know, took you off the board. Eyes on target. Reporting in. It would be a real shame if someone was to just, you know, steal your organizations away from you. Targeting enemy orcs. Standing by for orders. Yeah. It'd be a real shame if somebody was just to just take your organizations from you. Their assets. Now you see the, the first Stand one I did was by. really low odds, but the steel orgs is going to ping after the capture. So the detaining, if the detaining works, then that will greatly increase the odds of capture on those. We could probably take two orgs away from this guy in the same turn. It'd be a shame if someone was to just, you know, come in and do that to you. Go stabilize the U.S. We'll restore peace to this nation. And Sean Bean. You know. She's got no loyalty, really. We could turn her. I'm just going to detain her for now. Eyes on target. 24 administration. Just take her off the board. Uh, how are we doing on our approaches towards um, Mars? Where's Mars? Hey, Mars. How are we, uh, how are we doing on our efforts to colonize Mars? Hmm? Got a couple of sites here. Doesn't look like anybody else is interested. We, we pretty much removed all possibility for the resistance to take the moon, so they went for Mars instead. Super expensive for them. Good luck. Um, but now we've got two sites on Mars, mostly because I wanted to get the volatiles, but also now I get the uranium from it, which is Olympus Mons, and that's going to be awesome. Um, well, not this one. This one's going to give us uranium anyway. But uh... So we got three solar collectors and a mining complex, which is just enough to do what we need to do. Uh, the future base, on Olympus Mons, I think future base, what I'll probably do is get better power. I need to get better power output, and um, I think that fission one might be okay, but I'd like to get science bases on the surface too. I think that would help out a lot if we had some sort of science stuff on the surface of Mars. And Olympus Mons seems like a good candidate for that. Um, the fission pile would be okay. It gives us 10 power, 
So, you know, the outpost is going to take nine. To get any more, I probably need two of them, which isn't a big deal. We'll have, we're going to have uranium output soon. Um, that's the whole nature for going after that one spot first. We're going to have uranium from that. So I could put two of these down, but then I only have one spot for science labs. I'd really like to get some sort of like single tile that gives me 20 power. And I'm thinking that's probably the fusion pile, which is why I'm working towards it. Again, I've never done that before. I have no idea what happens in the future for this game. Um, so, but I, I feel like fusion is going to be the, the successor to fission. So I'm going to, you know, work on that and uh, try to direct the world's science toward that prospect. That's what I've been trying to do anyway. We've completed the alien flora project. There was a finite amount to be gleaned from our study of the vegetative life forms that have dubbed Xenoflora, but not a lack of trying. The issue is that we have thus far been unable to fully crack its genetic makeup. For elements there, there uh, sorry, for elements thereof are so, for lack of a better word, alien, as to be thoroughly inscrutable to us at the present time. Neither have we been able to divine any clues as to its origin, other than to say that it is most certainly not of this earth. While we have previously observed some correlation between Xenoflora growth and the alien crash sites, causation now seems highly probable. Even its behavior supports it, this conclusion. It spreads faster than any terrestrial flora or even fungus, and with eerie, almost machine-like regularity. To suggest that the Xenoflora has been in some way genetically altered, or even wholly designed, would not be an unreasonable hypothesis. If left unchecked, it could very likely colonize a region in record time, preventing the growth of all other flora. To what end we do not yet know, I would therefore be prudent, it would therefore be prudent to find a way to limit the organism's spread, whether through military or biological means. Okay, that was a mouthful and I like it. Leaf Erickson Station is finally up and running. Thank you, Leaf Erickson Station. We have our solar panels in place. We have our space dock in place. All things are good. Good. Uh, what else? Depot would be useful later. Energy lab would be okay. Um, alien origin, I believe, is the objective, right? Uh, is that our objective? What is our what is our objectives? I actually don't even know where to find that information. It usually just pops up. Intel tab, probably. Oh, global. This is global influence. Look at this. The academy still leads the way here. Russia's at war with everyone. <laughs> North Korea's still at war. They took over North Korea and they never stopped the war. <laughs> That's funny. Well, probably because it's, it's humanity first. And Russia is actually led by the servants, so they are at war anyway. So that makes sense. That makes sense, actually. Mm, do 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 do. Uh, yeah, faction icon top left. Ah, there it is. Thanks. Like every time I, I usually say take me there, and it just takes me here, and I never really understood how to get here. Uh, okay, so control Earth nations. This is our thing, right? Have your counselors conduct control nation, purge, coup, unrest. We've done all these things. We've been doing quite well, I think. Um, research alien origin. Need to do that. Salvage alien technology. Um, need to do UFO, orbital habitat, warship or army, or recover some of the detritus left behind. Haven't done that yet. Build the council. General objective. Industrialized space. Been working on that, too. So I think we'll get the origin. Um, get the origin research. It's pretty quick. Oh, no, it's not. It's 2,000. Maybe there's something better I could do right now. Hmm. There might be something better. Is there anything I could do for power? Is there ship components? I'm not interested in ships just yet. Habs, then ships. Um...
charged heated particles ride electrostatic field lines as they dump stored heat. Still a ship component, though. I think all of this stuff is basically ship components. So it doesn't really do much good for me at the moment. Although it will be really useful later, but I'd like to, again, I'd like to get snowballing science. And then I can just hit all these very quickly when I need them. So maybe we'll take the in-situ uh, modules. No, that's not useful to me. This would be okay for getting one of those orgs. Bit relatively quick as well. Commercial research is basically useless. The ops isn't bad. I think we'll do the ops first. Because I'm running really light on that. I've been doing a lot of... been doing a lot of ops lately. Alright. And I need those nuclear freighters so that I can do things cheaper. Sanctions. Tensions are mounting between the United States and America and China. U.S. may enforce a series of economic sanctions upon China, limiting its trade with other nations. That's fine. I did that already once, and I'll do it again. That's fine. We've got the package. Okay. We detained the counselor. Very nice. Uh, I'd like to see here. who it is. Yeah, you. Okay, so that detain happens. And now the opportunity to steal from him is, is increased. So he used to be 12%. Now it's 30% for him. And now Caitlyn is actually 96. So she's good. Shaken still doesn't have very high odds to do this. But we'll see if he can do it. They will now serve us. So that's Caitlyn. Uh, the Laguna Foundation is pretty good. I especially like how it gives you administration. Uh, it's a two star. But it's okay because it offsets that by giving you three administration. Uh, Sigma Intelligence. Communications. Does any of you have Inspire? <laughs> I'm looking for it. Come on, somebody's got to have Inspire. No. Advise. Not the same as Inspire. Defend assets. Public campaign. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's dirty. One star and gives four administration. That's dirty. So dirty, it just might work. <laughs> Critical success. Nice. Chicken, can you give me the other one? 30% chance. We detain Wu as well. Very nice. Oh, they're on Charon now. Damn. So they took Pluto, and now they're taking Pluto's moon. They are just... There's so much alien activity in space right now. I feel like I should definitely give... I need to give the other counselors a way of getting ships. I can't be the only one fighting them. I need to I need to let them go, you know? Focus on my own engineering. Let them have the science for a little while, you know, so that they can become more capable and, and, and you know, actually go out and defend. Because I, I, th I think maybe if it's just me, um, you know, to, to keep my power, I'll need their help to beat the alien threat, I think. So I, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm thinking I'll that's a thing. Quiet. 30% and he got it. Well done. Uh, I think I want you to take the Laguna Foundation. Because it's giving all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, it's also going to give you persuasion and more administration still. Unless there is something that gives Inspire. And there isn't. Laguna Foundation it is. Okay, let's take a look. So Chicken should have Laguna immediately because it gives the administration to hold it. Uh, he'll end up with two remaining, so he can have two of these, maybe. Not great. Um, this one's okay. It does give that ops income. Ooh. First U.S. Special Forces Group. It's all alien asset. 
Good command. Control a space asset requires persuasion. Uh, can this go to Bean instead? It cannot. Why? Oh, because of, right, administration. Uh, well, Caitlin doesn't need any more administration, to be honest. She really doesn't need any more. Uh, she's going to have this one. But I think I'm going to unequip this and give it to Bean. Bean, I want you to have that instead. Okay, now you can go in. No. Why? Oh, you need government trait. I missed that part. And I can't give you government. Well, I can give you other stuff, I guess. <laughs> so, right, she doesn't need any more administration anyway. We, we talked about this. She's good. Uh, material science, monthly income. There's not really anything here I want. Media group would be okay for the influence. But it's two star, eh. What if you form an alliance for... What if you form an alliance for just fighting the aliens? I don't know if you can form alliances with other factions. I think... I don't think you can, um, but I, I can, like that's the, the nature of being, to, of, of, of being the, the puppeteer, right? The Illuminati, right? We're, we're the puppeteers. The nation of this is picking your battles and choosing when to give your opponent strength, right? And I think I should boost humanity first because they don't win unless they eliminate the alien threat, right? So that means they're gonna actively be fighting the aliens. They're gonna actively be at war. They're gonna actively have ships. They're gonna be weakening the servants as much as possible. They're gonna be weakening the aliens as much as possible. And that's that's conducive to my to my my, my needs. I need to kind of limit how strong they are, but I should allow them to be propped up a bit. They're a little weak right now. Resistance is pretty hopeless, but. I could maybe allow them to come in and, and you know, get a little stronger, get some warships. Uh, my only concern is that if I let them have the military might that they want, that they may target my stuff too. So, you know, we'll have to be careful with that. But I don't think I can fight the aliens alone, and I don't want to. I don't want to have all the money going towards... You know, I want the economy. I've got 22 mission control. I can have tons of things in place. I don't need warships in place. I mean, I'm gonna have some, I guess, to maybe protect my my investments, but I don't, I'm not gonna be on the war path like say Humanity First might be. So I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, it's, it's the thing I'm gonna look at. I mean, I might just need you to have this because you're government. And I want it. But I want to give it to the person who's doing all the command stuff. That's Bean. I want to give him more command. I want him to really have a lot of command. For now, though, since we have the extra points available, we should at least get, you know, something out of this. So we'll take some espionage stuff. And... We'll take some more espionage and some more command out of this. I mean, we might as well have something. I can always unequip them. They're really cheap to equip, so. Uh, and then... Chicken can have another one. You can have this. You can have this. I had no idea you were government. Didn't I? I gave you government. Yeah, I did. I gave you government a long time ago. There you go. You can have the U.S. first. I guess it's called the first U.S., right? But still, you can have that. Okay. Lots of command income. Could be better, but still pretty good. And Bluesy Bot? Order is returning. 
Nice! Critical success. Brought it down to peaceful. Down to zero. Looking good. Keeping it stable. Let's increase funding a little bit. And uh, I want to increase... Yeah, mission control funding a little bit. Knowledge should go up a little bit here. Economy is... Actually, honestly, economy is fine. Um, welfare... We could bump a little bit into it, but I'm not really concerned about it as much. And boost income has been very good already. Um, I can go a little bit lighter on that. Just enough to where I can keep that spoils higher. I want to get spoils to 17%. Come on. Really? You suck. It's still it says 17. Thank you. I wonder if there's a way to like reduce the need for spoils. Control Nation mission success. Protectorate now has Afghanistan. That's fine. Afghanistan is meaningless to me. You guys failed to purge Project Exodus. I really would have liked if you'd done that. Because so far, Exodus is probably the one organization I know almost nothing about. <laughs> Need to do something about that. All right. Is there anything to investigate. There is. There is an alien activity to investigate. Uh, do I want you to do it, though? You have other things that you could be doing, like making unrest in the EU. Subversion, man. I'm going to give you a little bit of ops here. It's 21, but I'm going to try it. The people will rise. Chicken, I think I want you to try another hostile takeover. Where to? I need to know whether or not this guy has... If there's any organization at all... Oh shit, look at this. We're not able to take control of that one, though. That would, that's a cool one. Defend interests. Public campaign. Nobody inspires. Nobody inspires. This guy's captured still. Can we just knock him off the board? Can we just assassinate him? Fortunately, my one counselor that's able to detain is now doing something else. Where do you need me? Oh, never mind. Bean can do it. Maybe we'll sabotage the protectorate. Yeah. Well, actually, I need to detain, don't I? Let's keep this guy detained for a bit. Um. Wei Wu? Kind of want to... Where is Wei Wu? Where is she? Germany. When are you being released? 5th of November, of course. How could I forget? Let's so take over... Alright, I'm going to take this from you. Because it's awesome. Uh, so I want to detain you again. We'll grab him. Your orders. Chicken, I want you to you take the stuff from her, please. Targeting their assets. Um, Bluezy, you can steal a project from Ek from pros prospects. Uh, although. I think they are still targeting me and trying to destabilize, but we have time, so. We still haven't protected this yet because I don't care. Uh, actually, wait, what about Kazakhstan's unprotected right now? Phantom. Let's see if. Hmm. I kind of need Kazakhstan to be protected. Please keep I, need, safe. I need to defend that. Maybe I have one turn. I might have a turn. Let 
Let me check Luna again. Um, I want to see if they've developed their base yet. They should have had enough boost to do that by now. Outpost Mining Complex is currently being productive. Okay, so they're making this. They've already spent their boost to make it. So let's go steal it. <laughs> We're going to go steal it. Um, so I want to... Uh, ch I think chicken orders. was the one I was going to do it. Or was it bean? Was it chicken or bean that was doing this? Persuasion stat. Uh, bean. No, it wasn't. It was our sp it's the spy. It's Agent Phantom. Because he has undercover. We have to do it with him. Um, and it's... It counts as to your persuasion skill, which is pretty good. So we're gonna need to convince that crew that's on that hab to join our cause. So to do that, Phantom needs to leave Earth. So Phantom needs to go, Ready to, go. to orbit instead. I'm gonna have you go up to orbit and I'm gonna have you maybe go to Leaf Erickson Station. Uh, maybe Chow. Let's have you go to Chow. We'll go for orbit. So Ready for we're, my mission. we're sending we're sending our Agent Phantom to space. Okay, he's not on Earth anymore. He's gonna go to the station. It cost me a point one boost. Boost. Uh, boost. Then I'm gonna have him transfer to the Luna uh, stations. He's undercover, so I'm gonna have him go undercover to the Protectorate's station on Luna, okay? And we're gonna try to take that before they start mining. They've already spent their boost to build it. I didn't wanna build it. I didn't wanna spend the boost to build it. So I wanted to take their hab. I'll take their hab and then I'll have the good mining spot there and the Protectorate will have nothing. Yay! <laughs> so we'll try anyway. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, then, you know, maybe our agent dies. We'll see but we're gonna try it. I've never tried it before, so I wanna try it. Um, Bluesy, go ahead and stabilize, it's fine. And so we end up What's with a did? detain order on Wei Wu still, um, but we won't be able to take her stuff yet. Yeah, because I've got Caitlyn Ready to go. doing unrest here. I don't know if that's the most important. With a 21% chance, I think I would actually rather you go and defend this so we don't lose it. Securing our interests. I'd rather you do that instead. 21% is nothing. If they crack me down here, I'm screwed. I don't have public support, so I, I don't want to be cracked down there. All right. All right, operations research. This is a repeatable project. Okay, we just got more ops. That's good. Uh, so... Can research alien origin, which is what the thing wants me to do, probably. Strategic lobbying seems cool. I think I like strategic lobbying, to be honest. Because then I can invest in the United States even more and won't have to pay all that influence. I mean, I've got almost 40,000 credits, so 40,000 cash. So. I mean, I can invest in the United States and really boost what they're doing, so. Uh, so it looks to me, we want alien operations. We actually want this. I need this first though. So I'm gonna change strategic lobbying and we need to alien operations. We wanna be able to tech all, everything they're doing, so. Go ahead and do that now. All right, so we're ahead here, barely. Um, I'd really like to see this done soon. Kind of kicking my ass that it's not done. Take that down, bring this up. Target in a secure location. Okay, we we captured her again. Looks like servants are taking over here, so I'm pushing more research into this area. Ah, couldn't acquire the org, it's fine. Look, they're pushing heavily into space research here. They do not want me to do this. Uh, 
Let's go one here, two here. Come on, catch up. 244 to 215. 263 to 228. You can't see theirs, I'm sorry. My camera's in the we way for you seeing theirs. To increase security. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, this isn't you. It's Bluesy Bot. Reduce unrest in Afghanistan? The hell? Why were you trying to do Afghanistan for? I sent you to. I sent you to the United States, bro. Take a wrong turn at Albuquerque or what? Uh, this is okay. We can. Come on, beat them. They're they're actually pulling ahead of me. Sky. I have arrived at Ban Chao Station. Nice. We'll be ready for new orders. Soon. So Phantom is now in orbit. Love it. Phantom is up in the sky. Let's hope he doesn't do anything silly. He's on Ben Chow Station, which actually has a dock. We're gonna be able to use that later? I don't know. But it's got one. That's trippy. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we focus Earth before we speed time up. There we go. Do 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 do. Let me see research now. They are pulling ahead of me. If I want to control that narrative, I need to research faster. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Pull off this and this. I'm going to push into this a little bit more. If I can complete this project, then I can push everything into this. Control point lost in Turkmenistan. That's fine. I didn't want Turkmenistan anyway. So, actually, servants... You know, if you're thinking, hey, I want Turkmenistan, you can have it. I've abandoned it. See? It's already abandoned. So go ahead. Take it. It's yours. Who needs it? I'm going to have the United... I'm going to have everything here. I'm going to take Mexico, too. They can't stop me. Ah, uh, okay. So now I can transfer. Relocate from one hab or fleet to another anywhere in space in the Earth Luna system. Away from Earth, move to any hab or fleet in some orbit or on the same space body uncover undercover trait required to travel to enemy outposts, platforms, and ships. Okay, so I want to transfer to the protectorates. Oh, I wanna to go to Luna. This is Earth Luna system. Wait, I can't do that? Oh, wait, what? Hold on, I don't know how to do this. I've never done this before, so I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, no. It says Earth Luna system. I can't travel to... Luna? In the Earth Luna system? Am I not allowed to do that? Do I have to have a... Or maybe I have to have a station. Maybe I can't transfer directly to a hab. Maybe I have to have a station in orbit first. How does that work? People who play this. If I want Agent Phantom, the goal is to have Agent Phantom come down on this point right here. I want him on this station. I want him here so that he can take it away. Wait, we're in the year 30, 2025. The game actually starts October 1st, 2022. That's the that's the day that you start in game. So I want to I want to take him here. I feel like I'm going to need a station in orbit of Luna in order to do that though, is what it looks like. Because it's only allowing me to transfer to other stations. Maybe I need that. Which is fine. I've got the boost to do it. I'll, I can just do it right now, but kind of need him to deorbit then. Away from Earth, move to any hab or fleet in the same orbit, on the same space body. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. So I would need that. Yeah. 
move to any hub or fleet in some orbit or in the same orbit or on the same space body. So I have to have a station in orbit here, it seems. And once I do that, then I can drop down on the same body. That's what it looks like. So if I found a platform, um, just delivered rocket at the position half this year. I, I, maybe this is it. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to make a platform here and we're going to go interface. Yep. Low, low lunar orbit. And we're going to get this started because that's the whole goal was to steal that station from them. So we're going to take and grab solar collectors, I suppose. Probably a good idea. Build it in space. It's fine. Um, Black controller is about 15 seconds to CSM act. I don't need to think I need a space dock, do I? Basic assembly platform for interplanetary spacecraft. Also functions as a supply depot and launches probes. I mean, I still want to do that, but... Um... Maybe we take... Material science? Yeah, I'm thinking I have to transfer to something in orbit, though. So that's that's what I'm doing right now. I'm setting this up so that I can see if I can do that or not. Um, so we could maybe do... Actually, none of these are useful unless I do... The, the dock is like the only thing that matters here, right? Maybe not the, maybe the materials lab. Why don't we uh, put a dock here, I guess. Get fuel. Columbia, Houston, we're standing by. Over. Hi, Dan. How are you? We'll do a space dock here. It's fine. And then, uh, get another solar collector here because it looks cool. And then if we need anything else, want to add anything else, we do it right there. We'll have extra power at that point. Okay. So this is a lunar station, which I believe I need to transfer to a lunar station in order to do this. Yes. Faxion Station. I want to transfer to Faxion Station. Is that is that the name of it? I didn't I didn't catch the name. What's the name? No, show me Luna. Luna Stations. Faxion Station. Yes, this. I want to transfer here. Transfer to Faxion Station. Go. On my way. Okay, so he'll go there now. Standing by for orders. Then I can drop down on the hab, the deorbit to the hab, and then I can start going undercover and infiltrating and then taking over their hab. That's fine with me. I wanted the station over there anyway. I don't know if it's worth doing science in a station like that. I think I'll probably, since I have a space dock there, I'll probably do like, you know, refueling kind of things like that, but I really don't know. Actually, you know, Space hotel might work pretty well with a with a with a space dock. Probably start doing my tourism thing, even though I know it's probably not worth it. I can still do it. Bean, you have something else to assault. You have alien activity in New Guinea. We also have an assault we could do in Paraguay. All right, I'll give you the ops. Uh, let's give you an eighty-eight percent. We're going in. And Caitlin, I'd like you to go and defend Bean. Uh, no. I'd like you to go and defend Bean. Where do you go? Paraguay. Yep. Go defend Bean. I'll keep them safe. Keep them safe. Your orders. Uh, okay. Chicken Man. Can we take over anything? From our agent here. Does he have, I mean, she's captured November 20th. She's going to be released again. It's annoying. She gets released so fast. It's very annoying. Bluesy. I just want unrest. I want more unrest in the EU. Subversion. It's, we're stuck at subversion. Let's do this. 43%. And that's all I can do because, well, Bluesy can do this, I guess. Not really. 
Can we learn anything about a mysterious, unknown person here? Surveilling target. All right, so we should see that. Uh, On God. Luna. We have a station in orbit now. Luna. That's cool. And we can transfer. If I click that station. Hi. Uh, well, that's not what I want to do. Um, I don't think he's there yet. I think it takes a whole turn. Laying the groundwork. Yeah, he hasn't transferred yet. Okay, never mind. Probably takes like a turn. It's a 19 hour We've trip, got right? Some so. Intel on our target. All right, tell me who this is. Let me know what to do. It's not the right guy. I need, I need that Project Exodus, man. Every time I go and investigate an unknown counselor, it's not Project Exodus. We were unable to instigate an uprising. Ah, so close. Good try. Nuclear freighters is finally done. Okay. Nuclear freighters being done is nice. We're gonna go strategic lobbying for now until I figure out what else I want to do. Um, but I'm going to start pumping research into this. I'm so close. Um, you can't see it. These guys have 586. I'm at 529. So I'm going to go ahead and forego all other research and focus entirely on this and see if I can take that. So we are currently... Uh, what is this? My math skills are terrible. How are we going to catch them? We're 45 away right now. In position. He is now at Faxian Station. Excellent. Good job. 45 away, and now we are 34 away. We're getting there. Catching up. Lucky Strike. Our mining crews at Ibn al Kik. Can I rename my bases? I just want my bases to be something I can pronounce. It's fine. Um, has made an unexpected yet welcome discovery. During a routine excavation, a sudden rockfall exposed previously undetected deposits of valuable materials. A subsequent resurvey uh, by our exogenealogist confirmed the findings. These additional reserves will no doubt be able to sustain our operations in the solar system for decades more. Tell me it's volatiles. Mining of all basic resources already present will increase by 25%. Okay, they have to already be present, but um, that's the wrong base. This is the wrong base to already be present, right? I need the ones uh, Shackleton, Shackleton Crater. Nope, wrong base. Shackleton, hi. Can I rename this? I haven't yet figured out how to rename this. It's annoying that I can't like click this and manage and then, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, I just, it's this tiny little button. I never see it. Um, this is gonna be named after Dan. This is, uh, this is Ruther. Mining site. This is yeah. This is this is Ruther Mining Incorporated. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go with that. All right. You're now a mining base on the moon. Congratulations. I know it's everything you wanted and more. Uh, that's very fortunate. Very fortunate though. Material lab. Not really useful to us. Social science lab, not useful to us. Space dock, not useful to us. No, leave it the way it is. But now I get to finally rename it. So now it's Ruther Mining Incorporated. Good. Good, good, good. By the numbers. Got it. That's useful. Wow, critical failure for you. Sucks to be you. Not that I care. 
You failed too? Darn. Instant failure. Darn. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Agent Phantom. Where to? Where to indeed, Agent Phantom. Look at you, just hanging out on this lunar station. The first of our faction to go to space. Good for you. Now, what is the name of that station that I want to take over? Their station's name is Pedro the Second Base. Pedro Two Base. So you are going to deorbit to Pedro Two Base. Yes. Heading to the surface. <laughs> We're going to their base. Now we'll probably just sit there and wait until the mining base is fully built because. I don't know what happens. Like, do they stop building it if I take over in the mid construction? I don't know. But we will just, just have to see. So, we probably do, sh should put something in this station, but I'm not sure what else to put there. Don't let them find out. Ready right, to Luzi. go. We need the European Union to go into a big old chaotic mess. We need it like, we need the up unrest. Everyone's gonna be upset that they're in the EU. All right, that's what I want. I want everyone to be upset that you're in in the EU. Standing I want them by. to say EU to the EU. <laughs> that's a good dad joke. We can use that later. Um, we can go twenty percent success, but that's not helping. We need more. Support here, I think. And Bluesy, Ready can you? Orders. Yeah, Bluesy, can you help stabilize the United States this time, and not Afghanistan? We'll turn down the heat. And Bean. At your service. Nope, that's Ready. not what I want you to do. Bean. Your orders. I want you to let's go around the horn actually and see if we're defending properly here. Good. Yeah, let's go ahead and defend that. Securing our interests. Now that all the points are unsecured, we're going to do it. Um, the United States becomes unsecured at February 28th. We got a couple of, we got like four turns until that's a problem. And then chicken, we have 12%. I'm going to give you some ops. Go 43%. The people will rise. Let's go. Let's do it. Phantom, I want to see you go to Agent Phantom. I want to see you drop down on that base. Where is it? It's over here, so I'm not Securing here doing that, but control. it's definitely not in the same orbit, but I think you can do it. <laughs> and no one else can do this to me because they don't have orbital platforms. So now that I know that orbital platforms are a requirement to do this, I know that my stuff is safe on the, on the moon until someone else has an orbital platform. Okay. I don't know how to defend it though. We've moved the needle. I don't know how to defend uh, the orbital platforms and stuff. The situation remains chaotic. Wow, unable to sustain it, huh? Okay. The rising is underway. Nicely done. 2.5. We have our first direct sighting of the aliens. Where? Tracked aliens, intel. Where? Columbia. Columbia. Which is partially controlled. Well, it's cracked down, but... Okay. Well, we're going to have to go investigate that, aren't we? Reports of alien sightings in this region. Okay. Okay. They're starting to come in. I'm on solid ground. He's on the Pedro base. He's here. Um, Katito Ngabagi is no longer responding to our messages. Okay, so he's not turned anymore. We can no longer count on him to be our agent for him. He might have died or he's just got his loyalty up and he doesn't want to do it anymore. I don't know. Maybe they turned him back. So this is done building on the 22nd of December. So, 
I am humbled to have been chosen for this once-in-a-lifetime experience. The things they can do up here are simply incredible. Their studies on the long-term effects of microgravity are fascinating, while the strides being made in combustion could revolutionize energy production back on Earth. Chancellor Li Qingzhao comments while visiting the International Space Station. So space research done. I think the next thing to do was do settlement halves for that that uh, extra personnel and also just for that space tourism thing. Or I go industrialization of space, which is a very long, drawn out project that's gonna weigh on me a bit. It eventually needs to happen, but I'm wondering if there's just better things to do in the meantime. Uh, principles of space warfare. I might need to. I might need to look at warfare. Um. But what we want to do is is control this, right? So. The the task that we had for going to space not space tourism. What what what's the thing we just did? What the hell's the thing we just industrialization of space? What what's the thing we just did? Shoot, I'm getting tired. <laughs> I think my brain's fried, guys. I might call it a day today. Uh, I might go take a take a quick nap and then go work on some uh, some of the videos that are posting and stuff. We have this. The independence movements. We want to get to great nations, but that's the that's what this is working on. Great nations, and then finally getting to the other thing. So this that side was was trying to get to it's just not showing up because the full tree's not here it's got to be what it is i wish they would show me the full tree or at least show me the things that are linked to the things i just researched yeah advanced prospecting surveys is what i'm trying to get to over there so now i've got both prerequisites so industrialization of space seems like the next the next step. Just long, drawn out, but it's there. So that is the next step, and we want to hit that hard, and uh, we can control it. Yep, and then put, um, we got 63% of it right now. Good. All right, I want to see what we got here. So we have our agent on this base. We have Sabotage Hab Module, Surveil Location. Signific significantly increases the likelihood enemy counselors and aliens will be detected. They don't have counselors here. Control Space Asset. Persuade a ship or Hab crew to join your faction. Requires we have sufficient mission control to take on the asset. If we do this, there's a 1% chance. Okay. I can give them a lot of influence for a 9. Or maybe if I sabotage it, destroy a selected non-core hab module in your core hab. I could sabotage their solar collector. Then they can have their mining base, but it won't work. Or I can just try this 3%, 5% over and over again until it hits. I wonder if there's any way to get this. Maybe this is just a really hard thing to do, you know? Maybe it's supposed to be very difficult and expensive. But who knows, it might work. If I go 5%, 16 over and over again, we'll turn them to our side. Maybe it'll hit. Know. I try that 20 times, it'll hit once, right? I think I'll sabotage the energy production if this 5% doesn't hit. And then I'll just keep trying it while they try to rebuild that. Because it takes like, what, 30 days to rebuild that, so. I could just hit it over and over again and then I'll never get any resources. 
yeah, no, I'll, I'll hit their energy, and they'll be like, oh shit, I gotta repair my energy, and then I'll hit their mining complex. <laughs> yeah, that's probably fine. And then they'll be like, shit, I gotta get somebody out there to detect him. They don't have an orbital station, so they'll have to put boost in for that, and they have to wait 30 days to build it, and yeah. So it'll, it'll take a while for them to, to catch on to that, I think. Uh, What's okay. Lucy keeps stabilizing. That's probably a better usage of your time, honestly. I'm just running out of ops. Always running out of ops. Find me one of these counselors. We actually have room now to take on Initiating surveillance. another spy, and I would really like it to be Project Exodus. So I can learn about that. We can try to take take Wei Wu again. We'll bring him in. Try to detain her again. Ready for my mission. And then we'll try to take one of her orgs again. She has a lot of orgs. Eh, it's not worth it. Let's um investigate that actually. Yeah, in Colombia, that sighting. I want to investigate that. Chicken. Continue increasing unrest. We're gonna get these guys to revolt. It's only a matter of time. We will bring it down. We're gonna bring the EU down. It'll take all these factions out of here, and then we can start taking over this territory and we can capture the EU. It takes a very long time to do this, right? It's a grand strategy game. But it's gonna take a very long time to unify this entire area and control the EU and somehow managed to nullify Russia's nukes. That's the other thing we have to do, is nullify Russia's nukes. But if this 5% pings, then I don't have to fix anything, right? Like, on the, on the moon base, it's a 5%, but whatever. I can keep chucking influence at that all day long because I make more than that spend. So. Um, if, if it pings every once in a while, like if it just, if it happens to work, have new information. then I have a fully functioning mining base ready to go and set up in a perfect spot, right? The perfect spot. Like they have the better spot than I do. So I want that spot. Somehow they got there first. I don't, I don't know how they did it, but they did. They slipped away. Damn. Wei Wu got away. Vaxian station is set up in ready to rock. Not sure what I'm going to use it for, other than transferring, but yeah, it works. Probably should put in uh, some Long kind of science the there. Now they're in strife. <laughs> now they're in strife. Nice. A little bit more. We can break it. A little bit more. It's really not that functional now. Science output is way down. Science output is way down. Some of their monthly investment points are down too. Aliens just have more and more bases. Enemy crew Agent Phantom detained. What? How? Supporters of Protectorate have detained our counselor, Agent Phantom, at the base. We should be able to secure their release soon, but they will be questioned in the meantime. They do not receive the benefits of their orgs while in detention. So they figured it out. 5% chance. They figured it out. I have to extract our counselor. I failed to inspire an uprising. The powers here on guard for future attempts at a mutiny and I am to be arrested by the protectorate. <laughs> this is the second time he's been captured. Recon complete. I guess they captured him. Okay. You don't need an agent to do that. Apparently 5% chance, you know? So I guess it's, it's really bad at it, I guess. <sighs> well, hopefully they'll give him back to us and we can try again. <laughs> I don't know if it'll let me do that though. Chicken, continue invoking unrest. The government must fall. It will. What's the up? We are going to break Where the EU. Standing We're going by to break the orders. EU. And then, once we're done breaking the EU, 
since we've had our fill, and they've been broken, we'll make our appeal. We will rise as the victor go. from their ashes. Standing by for orders. And this will be good for us. The government must fall. John Bean. What's the up? Can we do a coup here? Not yet. Not a chance in hell. Okay. It's all right. Sabotage project. Yes. Wei Wu, your pro whatever project you're working on will sabotage it. Reaching lab security. Acknowledged. And of course, we can't do anything with our captured phantom agent, who is scheduled to be released on the 11th of February. Why is he detained for so long? <laughs> That's what I don't get. Why is he detained for, like, how come I detain people, they're here for four days? They detain them, they're there for a month. A month and a half. It's not fair. I mean, the first time he was taken, it was like four turns. Like a month before, too, and it was, you know, down here in Mexico, so. Really wild. New project available. Uh, Xenoflora defoliants projects. Our counselors and armies do 25% bonus damage to Xenoforming. Alien attempts to plant Xenoforms in our region suffer a magnitude penalty. That's decent. Um, kind of like, kind of like that. We're doing really well on this one, so I'm gonna pull that, pull that back, and uh, let's pump it into these two projects instead. And then we'll leave this the way it is. They're not really researching this very much. They won't know what hit them. Select a project to sabotage. Okay. So, Defoliants, I think, is probably one to sabotage because they have had more invested in it. And so I can set them back longer by sabotaging that one. We have dealt the Protector with a major setback in their research and have also stolen 50 science for our scientists to use. Sweet. Critical success. Sorry, guys. You'll have to keep going on research Public another way. Sentiment is increasingly with us. They're trying to stabilize the region, but it ain't working. They're trying. They're back to subversion now, unfortunately. The people will be free. Independence for the Baltic states. Wait a minute. The people of the Baltic states have declared independence from the European Union and have joined the fraternity of Earth's nations. And we somehow have control of this now. <laughs> My efforts to increase unrest in the Baltic states by one, we now have some support. Wow, a crit success. You did so well. You did so well putting unrest in the Baltic states that you forced them to break from the EU and join us for both control points and gave us both of the mission control as a result. Cleaning things up. Yeah, you did. You cleaned things up really, really good. They broke away from the EU and joined us. <laughs> okay. 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 That sounds good. I wonder what's gonna happen to my agent. I feel like my, my spy's about to die. I'm not too happy about it, I gotta say. Yeah, oh, this is a problem for our affairs though because we can't really hold all of this stuff, but I like those control points. And if we wanna hold the EU and stuff eventually later, you know, they're gonna have to join that EU. So I kinda wanna keep this. But we'll, we'll keep the unrest going in Paris if we can. The people demand justice. At your service. Reporting Bean. In. Uh, you weren't able to do that. Sabotage their other project? That sounds cool. I'm going in. Just keep sabotaging Ready. their projects. Uh, let's increase. That's going to be low odds of success. Uh, can we crack down at all? Maybe. 26 to crack down European Union spot and take that spot. 
I will give it a shot. Targeting their key people. And then Standing I want Chicken by. to try too. Reporting in. Chicken has. Oh, here. Yeah, twenty-six percent for you too. Eh. It's a lot of influence to spend. Would rather just decrease the unrest. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's time Keep to it going. It They're in strife. Keep it going. Okay, guys, I think after this turn, I'm probably going to call it a day. It's been fun, but, uh, you know. It is what it is. I really wish I would have taken over that. Their security's too tight. Damn. I really wish I would have taken over, taken this over. 1.6 uranium. I want that. The people find no justice today. Damn, we're just having terrible failures here. Their leaders remain in power. Everybody's failing. Targets lost. Really? Really? You critical failed? Jesus Christ, that was a terrible turn. Like, Perfect nothing went right mission. for us that turn. So the moon landing was officially fake now. No, it's real. We landed on the moon. We just got taken, capture. We just got captured while we did. Hey, there's some uh, alien activity here in the EU. Which should be help us with the unrest, but apparently not. 3.5 on the strife. I mean, this woman's hard to break. Uh, who would do I want to do this? Ready. Luzi can go investigate this activity. We'll see what we can find. Caitlin can try to increase the unrest a bit more. Really low odds, but we'll try it. We just had a terrible turn, so maybe we'll get better at it. I'm running out of ops. I'm like completely out of ops right now. This is a bad deal. Yeah, I'm way too out of ops right now. Uh, let's see how the defense goes. Good, good, and good. Okay. Cracking down is going to be tough because they just solidified it again. Still crack down on the control point there. On the executive point. We can break down North Korea again, I guess. Not that I need them. Mm, it's not worth it. Just give me a campaign here. Keep my, keep that orange flowing. I will tell our story. Ready for my mission. I do want to know. Uh, you're going to be released February 11th, so it should be this turn. At the end of this round, you should be released. Which? Oh, there we go. Hey, look at this. Stuff is completing. Habcore's done here. Uh, November of this year, this stuff will be done. Man, that takes forever. And then the mining base will be done in December. So at the end of the year. But the hab is completed now. That's pretty sick. Uh, can I see only Mars really quick? So obviously we're just chilling here. Not doing a whole lot. But if I did the fission pile... I could get more binding on this place too, so why don't we go in and do that really quick? That way it gives me 10. And then I could do the outpost mining here as well. So I'll get that running on Olympus Mons as well, because I can. Um, this is, of course, going to require uranium to function. And that's why we've got the other one going first. And then these guys, they're just simply building their, their fission pile first, so. They didn't go for the solar like I did. But that's cool because my mining base can now be powered without needing to suck down the uh, 
the uranium function. And then this one, we're going to have probably another fission pile here. So we'll probably do two. And then on the back side of the base, we can have a different module, something that might help us in research or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's going to help as much as being around Earth. Uh, it's a little bit weird how they word this stuff. Like life sciences, it doesn't seem like it matters where I build it. Um, but it's still going to give me that 3% bonus regardless. So I'm thinking uh, maybe we try to get... I get the bonus, but I don't get that second dash mark where it says grants 3% bonus to our investments in the military priority. I'm not going to get that. Um, all tech category bonuses from HAB modules are subject to a diminishing returns once above a 50% cumulative bonus. So I can kind of pick and choose which one I want to do here. And um, I think maybe space science. Or life science. I mean, I don't really care. I just do this, I guess. Life science to be here. And then we go in with another fission pile on this side. So we'll have we'll have two things going on, on on Mars. That seems good. And so far, that's it. We're gonna have two full functional bases on Mars. And, uh, and these guys won't even have any mining happening yet. And then you know, around Earth. Yeah, around Earth. We have all these sites. And I think the only one that's really doing anything on it so far. Yeah, these guys just have a solar core. That's no big deal. Um, the Academy is just rocking with a solar core. They're not doing anything yet. Humanity first. Just a core. Solar. Exodus. They have their outpost coming. So they're building theirs as well. Yep. But we've been mining for a while at Shackleton. And now the only other one that is right now currently is Pedro 2 with our captured agent. So hopefully they release him in a timely manner. And they don't turn him. If he wasn't turned before, he might be now. <laughs> Uh, alien operations is complete. Unhelpfully, domestic law enforcement tends to close investigations once apparent abductees return, and thus it has fallen to our local operatives to follow up the many rumors of erratic and apparent uh, behavior amongst the reappeared. Concerningly, their investigations and interviews strongly co corroborate these reports and indeed suggest that the true purpose of alien abductions is something other than mere research and experimentation. We do have some new understandings on alien activities and how humans may resist them. So we want to allow uh, updated codex information with enthralls elites, enthrall public, enthrall unaligned elites. Must be like a unit type. The following projects may unlock for us the research in the future. Global Listening Network. Okay. Uh, executive section reports. Oh. Okay. We have completed the alien research operations objective. We have our we have our breakthrough, and the news is troubling. The countries previously targeted by alien abductions are now displaying sudden and dramatic shifts towards a pro-alien viewpoint, with key figures in public and private spheres disappearing or being fired while pro-alien figures take their place. Most disturbing are the cases where the figures are not being replaced, but are instead undergoing what can only be described as a total shift in personality. Public figures who, are, who in the past have advocated for nationalism, independence, or other ideologies are now suddenly declaring fervent support for the aliens. In several cases, figures who are or were sympathetic to our cause have undergone this, undergone this sudden shift. And in all cases, they have cut off communication immediately and refused to answer our request for information. It is clear that the aliens have some method of influencing or controlling humans that is beyond anything available to us. By our current projections, if they are left to expand their influence unchecked, 
They will come to dominate Earth in a few years at most. The alien method of influence is the key to this conflict, and all of our resources should be devoted towards understanding it. We have activated an alien threat monitor. Uh-oh. It is viewable in the alien tab of the intel screen. So it's like the doomsday counter in XCOM, basically. So, complete means to an end project. We have to set our goals. Now that we have the stakes, now that the stakes in this conflict are clear, we must decide upon our course of action. We face two separate and equally difficult problems, the alien invasion and domestic resistance. Yeah, I mean, domestic resistance I'm handling fine. The aliens have always been like this, you know, elephant in the room where it's like, they're gonna get out of control and I'm not gonna be able to stop them. Uh, okay, so researching their origins and their movements. We now have the beginnings of a long-term strategy. We must understand the alien methods of influence and with a view towards countering them. At a first step towards this, we should develop a tracking network to monitor alien movements on Earth. All right, so that's what we need to do. Now that the stakes are clear, we must decide on our course of action. Right, exactly. Uh, okay, so that's everything, right? Salvage alien technology. Okay, so stop looking at my agent at, and here and start looking here. Okay, so he digs. Uh, I can't unpause because I don't have the research done. So they're making that sound pretty dire. <laughs> Making it sound like the doomsdays, the doom is coming to an end here. Which, I mean, it might be. Later on, it, it might it might be. I think management research is too expensive right now. Augmented learning is too expensive. I want ops. 300 for more. I need it. I don't know if it's the most important thing, but I need it. Alien origin could be a thing. Probably should research that. Probably should research that so that I know what's up. Let me do that. And so far we're way ahead on this project, so I can let that go a little bit longer, but we're pretty much good on that. And here, I think we're starting to fall behind a little bit. I'm going to bump that up. And I want strategic lobbying and alien origin to be the big one. Can he be released now? On the 11th. Public opinion is moving in our direction. Okay, so the EU likes us again. We'll be ready for new orders soon. At least for now. 3.2 on the unrest for the strife, Revolution though. Revolution will not be today. Unfortunately. People find no justice today. Damn. No additional unrest, huh? The European Union is asking its ally, the United States of America, to join in its attack on Suriname. Why? Decline. Project Exodus declared war on Suriname. Suriname? Suriname? Okay, um... You go for it. I mean, once you're out of rest and once the unrest is fulfilled here and I take over, I'm going to end all those wars, so. Recon complete. A little bit more bonus. Back in action, Supreme Leader. They didn't learn anything from me. Yeah. Sure, we didn't. Can I put you right back in there? Like, can I just tell you to go right back into work on this? <laughs> Strategic lobbying is done. That was fast. I kind of want an information science lab. Hmm. Maybe. Augmented learning. <coughs> Excuse me. Institutional outreach. There's just, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm just not sure how to prioritize it. There's so much. I do want the ops though. I really do need those ops. Doomsday is slowly arriving. Yeah, where's the Doomsday counter I was supposedly said we had access to, is it? 
Where is it? Is it Intel? Intel screen? Aliens, maybe? Tracked a a estimated alien threat level is down here. Uh, it just says this panel represents our intelligence, this, our intelligence section's best estimate about the degree in which the aliens regard our faction as a threat. So the aliens do not regard us as a threat right now. Good. It is based on our monitoring of pro alien groups and visible alien activity in the solar system. We believe hostile aliens, hostile actions against the aliens or their proxies on Earth and or a large visible space presence increases their concern about us. And we may expect the aliens to retaliate against our interests on Earth and in space should the alert monitor reach the maximum level. Well, that's, it's just easy. We just let the other factions get bigger. Um, we'll, help the, we'll help humanity first get a little bit bigger. They'll get their military in place. And, you know, they'll go to work on taking out the bases for us. Then they'll be the threat. The aliens will go after them instead. Just make them strong enough to attack, but not strong enough to win. Easy. Victory not yet known to factions. So they don't know their victory condition. Neither do I. I really actually don't know my victory condition. I know the Academy is very popular, though. Yikes. Need to do something about that. Alright, well. I think we can probably just put this guy right back to work. On this base. I think. Sign concerts to missions. Phantom. Now you have a zero percent. They know you. They know who you are. Yeah. yeah. Mission difficulty twelve. Council loyalty two point eight. Hab size three. Difficulty uh, crew size. Defend interest. Ten. Oh, they have defend interest on there. Really? They have defend interest on there. Is that what that means? That little mark right there. Well, there's a zero percent chance we're taking this. So, I mean, it's it's. You might as well just go back to orbit. Back to the station. Well, hang on, wait. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait one second here. Wait one second here. You can sabotage the shit out of that shit. Right? Yes. Outpost mining complex or the solar collector. They're both the same. Um, I bet the mining complex is most likely more expensive to fix. So, you know, we could just kind of sabotage that. If we can't have it, neither can they. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <sighs> All right. I think, I think, guys, um, I'm going to call it a day here on this today. But it's been fun. Um, been a little slow, but I get it. It's cool. It's a long, it's, it's a, it's a grand strategy game. It's, I don't know how it's going to do here. Um, but I've had fun and that's important to me. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. All the VOD viewers and stuff. I love your face too. And, uh, I'm going to stream this tomorrow as well. So I'll see you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to go 11 though, maybe one hour later. Um, cause waking up that early, nah, uh, it doesn't sound early 10 o'clock, but, um, you know, when I'm staying up all night with the baby and stuff, um, 10 o'clock is pretty, her, her sleep cycle is like, go to bed at nine, wake up at 12, go to bed at 12, 30, one o'clock, depending on how fast I can get it. Wake up again at four, uh, probably go to bed around five, wake up again at eight. And so eight is this weird zone where I hand them, I hand her off to my in-laws and then I have to decide, do I want to get more sleep? Cause I can sleep now or do I want to get busy with work? And you know, having that extra couple hours of sleep, I think it would work. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get. I think eventually we're gonna have to have ships to defend our interests. But um, I feel like I kind of want to let humanity first get a little bit of a foothold on what they want to do. Um, once I get my basic stuff, I'm never gonna let go of this one. I will I will do this until I have united United North America for sure. Um, but like I might start you know letting them go through here, letting them go through here, and just sort of you know, let some of these other groups, you see, you see them though, they're, they're trying their best to get there, right? 1700 over here. They just can't compete with the Academy. And so I feel like 
Humanity first just isn't going to win. They don't have the science output. So I'm going to, you know, try to hit the servants as hard as I can. I think that'll probably help a little bit. A lot of it, probably. I need to go anti-servant as much I'm as possible. I still have a counselor there, so I can still see what they're up to. Um, but it's... It's not easy. I need to take this Athens resources, too. That mining output by 9%. I need to take that. Um, which one of my counselors has available spots here? Surprisingly, Caitlyn does not. Interpol is available now. That's cool. Um, I, I don't have any space available for more organizations. Unless, of course, I'm taking an organization that has... Uh, well, I might be able to do this with... If I have, like, a one star that gives me more... Gives me more administration, then maybe that would work. I don't know if any of these are one of those, but it take more from her, I guess. But I really want that one. That Athens resources is pretty good, so um, I think we'll have Caitlyn go and try to take that from her. Yeah, ninety three is is fine. Ninety one, whatever. We're gonna try to take Athens away from her. That way, we can always use it later. And. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of it. This is my turn, and I'll probably, you know, go ahead and execute it. And, uh, and yeah, so if you want to watch some more, if you want to hang out with me some more, come on by tomorrow. I'll be here probably 11 o'clock, and um, we'll continue on our Illuminati-style run here, where we don't have any ships yet, but we're trying to take things from other people and manipulate the board. And we're starting to get a little bit of a loose grasp on that because I'm not able to take that base. I wanted to take that base. I didn't realize it would be that difficult to take the base. Um, it might have helped maybe to send Caitlyn with him to protect him. So have him run it and then have her protect and have him run it and do that over and over again. Um, but I don't know if that would help him in getting captured or not. So, Oh, and Caitlyn actually can't because she can't go undercover. So that probably wouldn't have worked. Anyway, that's it. Um, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Samoka. V-Vibes, Luigi, Dark Dragon, hey man. Uh, we'll see you guys later, okay? Bye-bye.